The legs of the lame are not equal. So is the parable in the mouth of a fool. Which means when we have a preacher who does not have a full understanding of the mysteries of Christ, he is a fool. And the legs that he has, they are not equal. He shall not arrive Amen. into the city of refuge. Yes. Because your lame, your lame preacher is not able to carry you through the speed. Lokati <laughs> Yes. Brother, I'm not sure if you're a good person. 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 i in the city of refuge, amuna munu wenyama. Taura chokwadi. Wakaita sayi shako. Wakabuda. Do baveja akujata. I want to warn you. When you become a child of God, when you believe this gospel, don't go in the gospel and sneak out even when you think nobody is seeing him. Because already outside the parameters of the gospel, the avenger is roaming. The Bible says the devil roars like a lion looking to see whom he might devour. 
The way to devour, no ever go to Kujiwa, Jisina Staira. Kumondera. Kutsagada. Kutswanya. Kutsenga. Kutsika. Kungo Buddha Mukutara with T zero so. Uno did was a good tea. Uno share good tea. Nika yandi of guy say. Was what got a dog to narrow? Ah, Amen. Dog it to narrow, did you go? Dog it to Rako and go shut up in the canoe pin down good. Sakano pin down Sabude. Zabude Zano Zabude Munya Zama Majma wins my bar, caught a majarin, okay. Caught a majarin. Yeah, three dollars. Do you know what? I'm going to see you again. What I did when I avenged. Was avenged. I can't go to the house. 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 When you come into the city of refuge, because he was made a high priest forever, that means your salvation becomes eternal. Once you enter the city of refuge, you are not to leave until the high priest dies. But unfortunately for us, the New Testament believers, our high priest does not die. You know what? The church will never know that you once left the city of refuge. But after the avenger catches you, the church will know. <laughs> When you are in the gospel of Christ, you are in the safest place ever to be.
Good afternoon, brethren. We thank God we are back to the second segment of our Sunday service. Uh, before we go to the message, which I will share with you shortly, it is important that I give you a very short admonition. Uh, which I hope... Some of you will never forget and you are going to realize that there is a call that we must make, that I must make as your preacher and your teacher of the word that you may never forget to join me to fight certain battles that may not be publicly known in the lives of all that call upon the name of the Lord with a pure heart. Mm. The devil seems to have a lot of information about God that we do not have. Mm. <laughs> Of course, there is a revelation concerning Christ that the devil is ignorant about. The mystery of Christ is a mystery even to the devil. Mm -hmm. But concerning God, mm -hmm. the devil knows more 
than we do. Yeah. To assume that after seeing, uh, attending church for one year, mm -hmm. we know more than he does about God is sheer naivety, self-defeating naivety. Mm -hmm. Tell me, how did he know that the birth of Moses mm -hmm. was going to redeem, cause the redemption of the nation of Israel? Mm -hmm. How did he know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. To the extent that most Hebrew sons were killed in Egypt mm -hmm. yes. because yes. Pharaoh had commanded the midwives to kill all yes. the boy children upon birth. Yes. Mm -hmm. And when the midwives, Shipra and Pua, mm -hmm. disobeyed the king's command, yes. Yes. there was a decree made by the king of Egypt yes. Yes. that went throughout all Egypt. Mm -hmm. Any man, any woman of Egypt, yes who notices a Hebrew child, mm -hmm. kill him. Yes. We want to preserve only the daughters. Yes. The devil knew very well mm -hmm. the time of the birth of the savior of the yes. Hebrews. Oh, yes. Yes. How did he know? <laughs> How did he know? Mm. How did he know? What about the birth of our Lord? Yes. Did not Herod mm. commit a genocide yes. and killed all the boys yes. who were under two years old yes. as he sought to stop mm -hmm. the mission of Christ of salvation yes. at birth? Yes. Yes. Before Lazarus was raised from the dead, yes. mm -hmm. the devil already knew mm -hmm. this is the time the Savior should be born. Yes. Tell me, how does the devil know such information? Unoji ziva sei satan kutukwa kuzwarwa chinu chiruda kutukwa basaramu harinacho kwa kuzwarwa munu unofanyiru kwa kuita basaramu hari. Unoji ziva sei satan zi zimwe zamu hari shano ziva yes now, if you go to Genesis 39, Joseph was in Potiphar's house, yes. and Potiphar's wife seduced Joseph to sex. Mm -hmm. It was God's grace and Joseph's resilience yes. that made Joseph not to do it. Mm -hmm. yes. But when he said no, to Potiphar's wife, mm -hmm. it costed him his liberty. Mm -hmm. yes. He was sent to prison. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you are aware that if Joseph had slept with Potiphar's wife, mm -hmm. he would never have gone to prison. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Probably he could have died a faithful servant of Potiphar. <laughs> when the devil yes. wants to stop the work of God, yeah. yes. He can give the people an incentive mm. to stay in the comfort zone. Yes. How do you judge a man who is punished for refusing to be tempted? Mm. How do you judge a man who is sentenced to jail for refusing to defile a man's bed mm. with his wife? Yes. Instead of Potiphar to say to Joseph, you are a prudent man. Thank you for refusing to yield into the seductive attempts of my foolish wife. Mm -hmm. Potiphar sent Joseph to jail. Yes. We find Joseph in jail, having con been convicted of attempted rape, yes. mm -hmm. which never happened. Mm -hmm. It was in jail that the plan of God manifold, manifested and unfolded. Mm -hmm. Yes. He eventually interpreted the Pharaoh's dream mm -hmm. and became the leader that he eventually became. Yes. How did the devil know that Joseph is the redemption of Israel? Mm -hmm. How did mm -hmm. the devil know mm -hmm. yeah. how to target the right man? Yeah. Imagine. Uh, yeah. 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 Imagine. Mm -hmm. 
the temptations that Joseph faced. Mm -hmm. Now we talk about Israel surviving the drought mm -hmm. because Joseph gave them food relief. Mm -hmm. And because of Joseph, the house of Jacob was preserved from starving to death. Mm -hmm. Do we come back to think about the battles that Joseph fought? Mm -hmm. Because the work of Joseph was only going to be successful if he had preserved himself. Mm -hmm. Yes. If he had not gone into a lot of mischief mm -hmm. that could have uh, sabotaged the mission of Christ the mission of God in his life. Mm -hmm. We can say it was the work of God. It's God who preserved Joseph. There's no doubt about that. Mm -hmm. But God used Joseph. He gave Joseph strength, yes. fortitude, yes. resilience, yes. Oh, yes. courage yes. Yes. to resist those temptations. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. When we look at Genesis 39, mm -hmm. We see a woman who can't be satisfied with her husband. Mm -hmm. But when you look into the deeper intricacies of the machinations of the devil, mm -hmm. you realize that the Potiphar wife was simply a servant of the devil. Yes. Mm -hmm. The devil wanted to use Potiphar's wife mm -hmm. to bring the downfall of Joseph. Mm -hmm. She was a spanner mm -hmm. in the hands of evil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It wasn't Potiphar's wife Joseph was fighting against. Mm -hmm. He was fighting against the yes. kingdom of darkness. Amen. Amen. The kingdom of darkness. Mm -hmm. When we talk about the 12 tribes of Israel mm -hmm. and how God blessed Jacob and his sons mm -hmm. to be the nation of God, yes. we sometimes forget mm. how many temptations Isaac found in the land of Canaan, mm -hmm. when he was surrounded by beautiful girls mm -hmm. among the daughters of the Jigashites, mm -hmm. the Hivites, mm -hmm. the Hittites, yes. the Perizzites, yes. the Amorites, yes. the Canaanites. Mm -hmm. How many temptations did Isaac withstand mm -hmm. until Abraham sent Eliezer to Mesopotamia? Mm -hmm. to find Isaac the proper wife. Yes. If Rebekah had not come to Canaan, mm -hmm. Jacob would never have been born. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We can't just talk about Abraham's knowledge mm -hmm. that the women of the Canaanites cannot be married to Isaac. We must look at the resilience of Isaac yes. to listen to his father. Yes. yes. Can you imagine Pastor Chuma having a son, one son, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you tell your son that among all the girls in your country, yes. there is not a suitable wife. Mm -hmm. hey. And your son asks you, so who am I going to marry? Yeah. And you tell your son, I will send our servant to another country mm -hmm. to bring you the right wife. And your son yeah. listens to you. Yeah. Hey, how amazing. Think about it, how many of our children mm -hmm. would listen to us yes. like Isaac did? Mm. Wow. bedroom <laughs> Kajinji ndi wonto zo chaira wa kunyara ni kunuwa ni kuzara kuni kokaita marara achiswa pasipe mbeda to zvakaita veduvana vatiri kuzvara mazuvano mabasta zeda yati nawa what kind of a son was Isaac to his father Abraham you can't have a girlfriend you should wait for your father yes who does not tell you when exactly <laughs> is he going to bring a girlfriend to you? Yes. And look at how Rebecca came. Mm -hmm. Isaac did not have a chance mm -hmm. to date Rebecca. No. 
No. Hey, you must date and get to know mm -hmm. each other. Mm -hmm. no. As Isaac, how many months he dated Rebecca? Rebecca. Ah. Not even one day. day. Zero. Yes. The first yes. day Isaac yes. met Rebecca, Rebecca, she was already his wife. Yes. 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 Rebecca came to Canaan, mm -hmm. not as a girlfriend of Isaac, no. No. but as a wife, a wife. Mm -hmm. of Isaac. Mm -hmm. How many sons among us would listen to us to wait for the right instructions from their parents? Mm -hmm. mm. We must remember that the servants of God, they fight battles that may never be recorded in the history books. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which battles the devil brings to them yes. mm. even before mm -hmm. the assignment of God comes. Yes. Yes. The devil doesn't attack you when you receive the assignment. Mm -hmm. He attacks you more when, before you receive before. the assignment. Oh. He, he wants the assignment to be aborted. a stillbirth, yes. an aborted yes. assignment. Yes. Mm -hmm. Isaac could not become the father of, the, of Israel, mm -hmm. the nation of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He could not listen to his father. Mm -hmm. He got impatient with Abraham. Mm -hmm. Baba, when are you going to find my wife for me? Wait, my son. Yeah. The right time shall come. Yeah. When is the right time? Mm. Pastor Ringu. Nyama ino shikapa ino mboku wawa. Ungo fumaru mezuo, shitidenda mboskwela ni msikana ongu. Ovo warangara uti baba wakati. Dicha kutuwa gira mkazi. Kwa kutuwa gashwe kuita. Kutu ukanga nwe kuwawa kwe nyama. Kozikama zwa wako. Kozikama. Yo vana Abraham vanga vari madzibaba here kuti mangwana mangwana saka ano yari ni saka matimu mutora nini saka makatomwana here mundaridza picture yake Señor Señor kune vanhu vakafamba namwari zvekutukanzwisisa mafambiro avakaita namwari chaunongo gona kutaura ndi chekuti a I am not the right type. Yes. Character Evan Wakar Namata Mungari. Ne character Yakwe has pinjiran. As Fambiran. So there were so many temptations mm -hmm. that Isaac had to face every day mm -hmm. whenever he leaves his father's house to go to the shopping center. Yes. He sees beautiful girls mm. among the daughters of the Hittites, mm. among the daughters of the Hivites, mm. among the daughters of the Canaanites. Mm. But Isaac went back home mm. without proposing love mm -hmm. to not even a single one of them. Mm -hmm. Tell me that the devil was just watching. No. He did not try his usual <laughs> shenanigans no. unless you are a fool. Uh, yeah. There are so many battles that if those battles are not won, there would never be Apostle Chuenga to talk about. Yes. 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 We are coming from sure. very far, my dear. Tiriku vakure. Kutitishike patiri panapu. Amen. Tiriku vakure. Yes. The Apostle of God in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 he spoke about fighting these battles himself. Yes. Yes. I wonder if we are going to remember what he says, verse 32. Yes. If after the manner of men I have fought with beasts at Ephesus, what advantage, advantage is it me if the dead rise not? Let us eat and drink, for tomorrow we die. Mm. So Apostle Paul says he fought with the beasts mm -hmm. at Ephesus. Yes. Mm. And he says, what use was mm -hmm. my fighting with these beasts mm -hmm. if I have no hope mm -hmm. for yes. the resurrection of the dead? Yes. Yes. I had to fight with fortitude. Mm -hmm. I had to fight bravery. Yes. Mm -hmm. I have to fight with boldness. Mm -hmm. yes. With the beasts of Ephesus. Yes. Because I am convinced and convicted yes. that there is a hope mm -hmm. that goes beyond the grave. Mm -hmm. yeah. The dead shall Shall one day rise yes. again. Amen. Yes. Yes. But this is not why I cited verse 32. Mm -hmm. 
I want us to highlight the phrase after the manner of men. Mm. Okay. I want you to tell me what does it mean? Mm. What is the manner of men? Mm. Huh? <laughs> Pastor Juma? Yes, am I? The phrase the manner of men, mm. it means the nature of mm. men. Okay. Mm -hmm. Paul was confessing. Mm -hmm. that there is something in his body mm -hmm. All right. mm -hmm. that made him to be susceptible oh, to the yes. beasts of yes. Ephesus. Oh, okay, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right. In a certain scripture in Acts 14, mm -hmm. the manner of men mm -hmm. was described by Paul as like passions. We can go the manner of men. Yes. Huh? Mm, yes. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I want to prove to you that I am not talking about something spiritual. Mm. Mm. Paul was fighting with something physical. physical. There was something physical happening in his body mm. right. that brought him into temptations mm. with the beasts at <laughs> Ephesus. <Yes. laughs> Other scholars and pathological historians yes. They suggest that Paul was faced with the prostitutes mm, okay. at Ephesus. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Men are of men. Uh. Genesis chapter 18, mm -hmm. verse number 9. Yes. And they it's said great. unto him, Yes. Where, Where is Sarah thy wife? Mm -hmm. Yes. And he said, Behold in the tent. And he said, I will certainly return unto thee according to the time The Lord is speaking to Abraham. Mm -hmm. I will certainly come back to you, Abraham. Yes. According to the time of life. Yes. yes. And lo, Sarah, thy wife, shall have a son. Sarah shall have a son. And Sarah had it in the tent Sarah door, had it in the tent which door. was behind him. What happened in verse 11? Now Abraham and Sarah were old and well stricken in age. What about Sarah? And it ceased to be with Sarah after the manner of women. <laughs> All right. Yes. All right. Menstruation yes. is what, what the phrase manner of, of women, women. <laughs> means. Yes. yes. Okay. It simply means Sarah had already passed through mm -hmm. the menopause. Yes. 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 She no longer had a cycle. Mm -hmm. That was evidence mm -hmm. that Sarah could not have a child yes. mm -hmm. because she could not have a functional uterus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When a woman is seeing a period, mm -hmm. it simply means she can still have a baby. Yes. And when that stops, mm -hmm. it means a uterus is no longer functional. Yes. Yes. Now, we wanted to understand what, what does the phrase mean? manner of mm -hmm. men mean? Mm -hmm. So we looked at the men of women. Amen. Yes. <laughs> the natural function yes. of the body. Mm -hmm. Yes. Huh? Yes. Pastor. Am I? The natural function, function of, of the, the body. body. The natural function of the, the body. Mukanzwaju chinzi, men of men or men of women. Parutawa biology. If biology nge jitawa. Apana chili spiritual. Yes. Now let's go back to 1 Corinthians 15 mm -hmm. and understand what kind of beasts <laughs> did Paul fight it, it, at Ephesus. Ephesus. Yes. yes. Be not deceived. Verse 32. If after the men of men I have if fought with the beasts. after the men of men yes. I have fought with the beasts yes. at, at Ephesus. Ephesus. Yes. Huh? Yes. <laughs> Pastor Chuma. <laughs> yes. Am I? Give us your understanding now. <laughs> Am I not opening your mind? <laughs> what did he fight with, with at Ephesus? So he, he fought with the, with the men of Ephesus. With the, those are the beasts because the men, men of the men is the, is the natural man, is the, is the son of Adam, sons of Adam. All right. <laughs> All right. Pastor the language. Yes. The men of men is right. the natural function. If we apply, Pastor Chuma, yes. if mm. we apply our understanding of Genesis 18, 11, mm -hmm. right. the manner of women, women. Yes. is the biological functionalities of, 
of the human body. Mm -hmm. right. In this case, menstruation. Yes. Right. Sarah was not experiencing a spiritual issue. No. Mm -hmm. It was a biological, biological issue. Biological, yes. You understand? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's the men of women. Yes. Okay. The biological functions of the body. The body. Mm -hmm. Paul says, through the biological functions <laughs> of my, <laughs> my body, my body. Mm -hmm. I fought, fought with the beasts <laughs> at Ephesus. <laughs> Pastor Yereng, what do you want to say? <laughs> no, he, he was fighting against the um, prostitutes. He fought his flesh. Yes. All right. The yeah, natural that's... functions of his body. The <laughs> men of says, men. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so that is the, the last of the flesh. Yes. Not necessarily the, the last, last of the flesh. All right, the Pastor Shuma. Yes. Pastor Shuma, let, yes. let me clarify this. Yes, please. When you are hungry and you are asking Pastor Erengui to prepare a meal for you, yes. Mm -hmm. Are you lasting after food? No. Mm -hmm. Why is that not last? Naturally, you, you are hungry. You are not lasting, you are hungry. <laughs> <laughs> you have contradicted yourself. <laughs> Case dismissed. <laughs> we go to the case will be dismissed. Yes. <laughs> Do you the, understand it, Pastor? Yes, I understand it. I? Paul was <laughs> not married. married. Yes. Yeah, he was. The and that affection. does not mean that his flesh did not bother him mm -hmm. with yeah. his the biological functions, functions. of, the of his sexuality. Yes. Yes. Okay. It wasn't damaged. Mm -hmm. yeah. He wasn't sick. Yeah. Yes. There are people who, is, who have written so many books mm -hmm. suggesting that Paul could not have children. Mm -hmm. okay. He was important. Mm -hmm. That is a That's very absurd argument. Yeah. Uh, because right. a man who has never married a woman mm -hmm. can never be judged to be important. <laughs> How could you prove yeah, that Paul was important, important yes. if he never married a woman yes. and he tried yes. to have yes. children? Yes. Mm -hmm. That was not the point. Yes. Mm. You see, so there <laughs> right. is also, Pastor, yes. a, 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 a stereotyping of the sexual functions of the body okay. mm -hmm. in the negative. Mm -hmm. okay. When a person has committed adultery, mm -hmm. he usually then blames it to last. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I, are you following? Yes. Uh, this is not, it's another munition. It should be very short. Mm -hmm. Last is not always the reason. Mm -hmm. I asked you about food. Yes. Yeah. I said, when, Do, when John says to his friend or mm -hmm. to his wife, mm -hmm. please, darling, prepare a meal for me, mm -hmm. is John lasting after food? No. John it's is not, not lasting after yes, food. Yes. He's, He's angry. angry. Yes. His it's stomach natural. is empty. That's yes. true. And it's natural. Mm -hmm. is, is there a demon involved? No. no. Is Satan involved? No. no. <laughs> the body was designed to survive on food. Yes. And when I feel hungry, mm -hmm. it's not the devil. Yes. No. Why do people think that when they feel they desire to be intimate, mm -hmm. it's the devil? It's the devil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's wrong. It's Why did you commit a doubter, brother John? It's last. Mm. It's the devil. devil. You understand? Yeah. Mm. Sometimes the only problem that happens is you don't understand that desire to be intimate is not evil. Mm -hmm. It's the natural function of the body. Yeah. Yes. When you start to realize that this desire is growing, mm -hmm. it's a call for food. Mm -hmm. right. Get married. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. What yes. should you do, Pastor? Get, Get married. married. Get married. Get yes. Married. Mm -hmm. There is no devil involved. Mm -hmm. So when you say, I'm going back to my wife, yeah. mm -hmm. you are hungry for a different type of food. Mm -hmm. Yes. There is yes. no devil involved. Mm -hmm. And so a married man goes to his wife to be intimate. He's yes. angry. Yes. People do not blame the devil. No. No. The wife doesn't say, it's the devil no. that brought you to me. <laughs> you are full of lust. Uh, uh, no. why, why do you come back from work and ask for intimacy? Is this not the devil? <laughs> the devil. Are you not tempted? 
Yeah. It's not a temptation. Yeah. Yes. It's not lust. It's no. not. Everybody knows that it, people do that every day. Yes. Mm. Yes. Mm. But when it happens no. to someone who is not married, yes. right. suddenly the devil is involved. involved. People say it's mm. the devil. <laughs> it's not the devil. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that you have decided to fast mm -hmm. does not mean your stomach must not feel hungry. No. You can say, I'm yes. not going to eat for oh, the next yeah. two days. Oh, yes. yeah. You will feel hungry, oh, yeah. but you are yeah. going to resist, resist. the anger, anger. Yeah. and continue with the fast. Yes. Yes. That's what Paul did. Yes. Okay. He decided mm -hmm. to fast on his sexuality. Mm -hmm for yeah. the rest of his life. Yeah. It's a lifetime of fasting. Yes. Mm -hmm. He wasn't fasting from food. Mm -hmm. He was fasting from sexual mm -hmm. desire. Mm -hmm. It does not mean he Lust. was never feeling the hunger mm -hmm. throughout a celibate life. Mm -hmm. There was a time when his body demanded mm -hmm. that he should do something, something. Yes. about it. Yes. This is when the Ephesus beast caught him. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. All right. And you don't understand how it is connected to the doctrine of the resurrection of the dead. dead. <laughs> <laughs> but it is. Of course, I won't delve into that. I don't have the time. But Paul talked about his sexual desires mm -hmm. so many times. Yes. First okay. Corinthians yes. chapter 9. Mm -hmm. Right. Take note of these scriptures. Usas what vakas wana kup power anak bevirakans wakuda mukazi. Sanye peywe. Akuna kunye pezira kuita mchene. No, ye not that they which run in a race run all, yes. but one receive the prize. Yes. So run that you may obtain. Mm -hmm. Yes. And every man that striveth for the mastery yes. is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible. Yes. I therefore so run. You run. Not as uncertain. You don't run as one who doesn't know the prize. So fight you I. You are fighting. Not as one that beateth the air. What are you fighting for? But I keep under my body. Again. But I keep under, under my body. Again. But I keep under my body. Why are you keeping your body under and how are you doing it? And bring it into subjection. Was he keeping under his spirit? No. no. Bring Why? it into subjection. Yes. Lest that by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. Was he keeping wow. his body under subjection? Wow. wow. Yes. From his what? From what was he keeping his body under? From the manner Four. of men. <laughs> From the manner of yes. men. Yes. 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 Is that not the scripture, that Pastor? Is the scripture. That is, is he the not scripture. keeping his body under? Under subjection. Yes. He body guy. He body. Yes. In a tanga Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Satan has told his ziva. Now tell me, believers, what do we do with these battles? If the man of God can't tell you these battles, mm -hmm. which he fights, mm -hmm. how can you help in these battles? Hey. Do you know that this is the most complicated aspect of being a servant of God? Mm -hmm. Right. Because the devil knows that in order for him to stop you from growing in your faith, mm -hmm. he simply needs to stop me from preaching. Wow. And so when the devil wants to, to, to subvert all of your faith, all yes. of you, your faith, yes. mm -hmm. he just targets one person. Yes. Mm. Yes. Yes. When the devil wants Pastor Rengue to fall from the faith, mm. he targets me. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because she is going to say, How can I worship God anymore? I'm embarrassed by what Apostle Chuenga has done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These are the battles that we fight. Yes. yes. When we say yes. we thank God for the revelation mm -hmm. that Paul revealed in the in his letters. Yes. yes. He, he, he brought out those mysteries of Christ mm -hmm. 
with a lot of battles on his back. Mm. He fought so many battles Amen. to remain standing. Mm. Yes. How many beasts did he fight at Ephesus? Mm -hmm. He didn't fight them spiritually mm -hmm. after the men of, of men. men. Nenzira e nyama. Ndakar kwa nezikara, zipa Efeso, nenzira e nyama. Hai, nyama yanga ni kurra pa Efeso. Yes, yes, yes. And this was nature taking its course. Yes. It's not yeah, 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 yeah. Hey. And yeah. the devil knows what, yeah. how to come. Mm. Mm. So, what exactly should we do as the church mm. to help the men of God mm -hmm. when the devil attacks the work of the gospel by attacking the personal life mm -hmm. of the men of mm. God? Yes. yes. Have you ever asked yourself if, if his personal life really matters to you? Mm. Hey. Have you ever prayed once? Lord, I'm praying for your servant. I know the devil targets him all day round. Mm -hmm. Yes. The battles that he is fighting himself, the man of God must be spiritually fervent yes. at all times. All times. Yes. For him to fight. Amen. Mm -hmm. If the man of God is found one moment in his weakness, mm -hmm. he is not strong enough mm -hmm. to fight this battle. Yeah. The man of God will fall. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like the Shechem scheme. Yes. yes. Simeon and Levi mm -hmm. attacked the men of Shechem mm -hmm. when they were weak. Yes. yes. The devil knows yes. when the man of God is weak. Mm -hmm. yes. You understand? Yes. yes. And this is why. These beasts were not in every place. They were only at Ephesus. At Ephesus. We don't know why Paul was weak in Ephesus. Yes. And, and the devil thought that he was vulnerable. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. yes. Pastor, do you know that if I'm going to make a mistake today, mm -hmm. I want you to listen to me carefully, believers. This is an, a, a call for you to pray for me. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm asking you to pray for me all the time. Yes. yes. Find a spare moment. You don't have to do it the whole hour. Mm -hmm. The devil can attack me through so many means. Yes. yes. And the prayer is important mm -hmm. to keep the men of God standing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. I want you to consider this. I have been preaching right now for 11 years. Okay. Mm -hmm. You may never had, had committed to pray for me even once mm -hmm. to consider the battles that I fight every day mm -hmm. to come here and preach to you. Yes. Some of the battles that I fight, they come to me through the very people that are close to me. Yes. Mm. Yes. Do you know the devil can use Pastor Irengui mm -hmm. yes. to cause me to fall from yes. the faith? Yes. yes. The devil can use Pastor Baloy yes. to cause me to fall from the faith. Yes. Yes. The devil can use even the stewards, mm. the deacons, the elders, oh, or yes. the overseers. Oh, yes. The devil can use any leader in the church. Yes. Yes. The devil can use people that are in my personal family, oh, mm. yes. brothers and sisters. Yes. Mm -hmm. A child can cause the downfall of his parent. Yes. Mm -hmm. A wife or a husband mm. can cause you to fall. Yes. So when we say pray for me, mm -hmm. do not think that the devil is going to use enemies from outside. No. no. He can actually use some of you. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying this to say some of you are evil. Mm -hmm. No. You don't have to be evil yes. for the devil to use you. <laughs> you simply need to be available. Hey. Yes. Hey. You don't have to be wicked mm -hmm. no. for the devil to use you. Use you. Mm -hmm. you simply need to be a little bit too relaxed mm -hmm. from your spiritual obligations. Yes. Yes. A little bit colder mm -hmm. than your usual spiritual fervents. Mm -hmm. yes. You are now an instrument mm -hmm. in the end of the devil. Mm -hmm. So those who have been used by the devil... They are not wicked. Yes. Yes. They were simply vulnerable. Amen. Amen. We don't hate them mm -hmm. for that. Mm -hmm. 
But think about it. Mm. You have never prayed for me once in your life. My personal life is not important to you. Mm. You don't care whether I'm well or I'm not well. Mm. You don't care whether my body is fit or it's not fit. Mm. But you thank God every time that I preach the gospel. Yeah. You don't know that for me to preach, I have to be well. Yes. My body should be not in pain. Mm -hmm. My mind should be stable. I shouldn't be stressed or depressed or worried yes. in my mind yes. for me to preach. Mm -hmm. But you also have never considered how each battle mm. leaves me. Yeah. Because whenever you fight a battle, even after winning, mm -hmm. those who win fights also sustain wounds and bruises. Yes. Mm -hmm. The fact that Mike Tyson won the boxing match mm -hmm. does not mean that he doesn't need to see the doctor. Mm -hmm. The following morning, Mike Tyson goes to the doctor mm -hmm. to receive treatment mm -hmm. from the wounds he sustained in the previous match, mm -hmm. despite his victory yeah. in that match. Uno wina pastor. Zimengua uno wina, uini mawanga. Ushito bandage, ushito sodu nga so, ma stitches. Banu vajiti makoro koto. And so people do not know that when you say, I have fought a good fight, it doesn't mean that you are not injured. No. Was not Paul injured, the pastor? He was. How he many was. times did they stone him? Mm. How many times did they beat, beat him, him up? Yes. And still he had said, I he have fought, fought a good fight. fight. In Shona Tinetsume, Guti, Buru Rinor, Warno Nukwanimavanga. Yes. How mm -hmm. good in the Norwa? The Norwa, in it? We in a gander is smooth to get a much. Huh? Quit on no gaze and Mukaga, which is Zora Yoga. In Zwaimi, it's very fashionable. It's very fashionable mm -hmm. for you to say when something happens, mm -hmm. maybe the man of God has been attacked. And the attack came when he was not prepared. And he then makes a mistake. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, a mistake that he will finally talk about. Mm -hmm. I've made a mistake. Mm -hmm. Or a mistake that you realize, you discover that he has made a mistake. Mm -hmm. In the process, you, the believers, are the first people to condemn mm -hmm. yes. the men of God. Mm -hmm. But you are forgetting that the mistake that the men of God may have committed after eight years of preaching the gospel without making one mistake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He was fighting battles every day yes. for eight years. Yes. Yes. And what happens with the fighting is if you fight, mm -hmm. you need the time to recover from the previous battle yes. mm -hmm. for you to fight the next battle. Yes. Sometimes the devil after losing a battle to you, mm -hmm. he brings a, an, a, an another battle without giving you time to recover, to recover. Mm -hmm. from the from injuries the, of the last yes. fight. Mm -hmm. yes. That's why when Mike Tyson was fighting in the boxing uh, uh, competition, mm -hmm. he would not fight a match on Monday, another match on Tuesday, yeah, no. another match on Wednesday. No. Some matches were two weeks apart. Mm -hmm. Some matches were one month apart. Yes. Why do they spread those matches mm -hmm. to give him time yeah. To recover. Yeah. Go and watch soccer right now. Mm -hmm. Manchester United and Liverpool mm -hmm. don't play against each other every day. Mm -hmm. no. Manchester United plays a match on Saturday. Mm -hmm. They play another one the next Saturday. Mm -hmm. they, they don't play matches every day. No. They want to give the players time to recover. Yes. So a man of God may fight with the beast on Monday mm -hmm. and win with resounding victory. Yes. But the That's devil... Right does not retire. He, he says on Tuesday, he, he won't did. be recovered. Yeah. I'll bring another match. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And so because of incessant battles, yes. the man of God grows weak mm -hmm. over time. Yes. Mm -hmm. From the first day you start to preach, you are so exuberant and energetic yes. mm -hmm. and battles begin to come. Okay. Mm -hmm. The first year, there's no incident. Mm -hmm. The second year, there's no incident. Mm -hmm. The third year, there's no incident. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The devil will know. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. This man has no support. Mm. There is no no one who is helping him mm. to okay. support him mm. with the prayers. Yeah. He's alone. Yeah. He's fighting alone. Yeah. Mm. One day he will bring a battle when he is not ready yes. mm. and he will fall. Yes. Mm. The people who were not helping you in prayer, mm. who never said your personal life matters, mm. <laughs> the <laughs> day the man of God makes a mistake, oh, suddenly yes. oh. his personal life will matter to them. Oh. Mm. When the man of God was sick, mm. his sickness did not, not matter, matter to you. Mm. When the man of God was grieving, mm. his sorrows were, did not matter to you. Yes. Let the man of God find himself in a mistake. Mm. Oh, that has true. come because of all these battles yes. he was fighting alone. Mm. Suddenly his personal life matters to you. <laughs> All I care is whether he can preach to me. I just want to hear the word of God. <laughs> his personal life is not important to me. Mm. Let's mm. wait and see whether you say the same. Yes. The day you hear that the man of God has made a mistake mm. in his personal, personal life. life. For the first time, mm. his personal life shall, be, shall matter to you. Mm. Does my personal life matter to you? Mm. When does it matter to you? Huh? Pastor Shuma? Yes, my mind. it matter to you, life young green. Takakami na kwema kwemwe zimingani. Haunaka na zvaro wakati. Ndoda kukuba tira ya kusimuka. Murukukami na magakuba. Kukuba rai kuoko painyama. Kwa iwone kwa ni maziso. Yes. Kwa mukati manga maga kuwara shakati. All oh, right. Mm. Yeah. So when the devil sees a wounded warrior, mm -hmm. oh, he celebrates. Yeah. No, yes. He knows he's vulnerable. Mm -hmm. I'll attack him until he falls yes. again. Mm -hmm. yes. And now we ask, was he not involved in the first injuries, the devil? What do you oh. think the devil benefits <laughs> if the man of God is injured? Mm -hmm. The devil knows that with those injuries, there's going to be emotional trauma. Mm -hmm. There's going to be emotional pain. Mm -hmm. And that renders the man of God vulnerable. vulnerable. During that suffering, mm -hmm. true believers do not know what to do. Yes. They watch. They say, wait, let's wait for him to come back. Mm -hmm. He will preach to us when he comes back. Mm. Wow. When they see the men of God back on the pulpit, they mm. say, we thank God. Yes. <laughs> they do not know that his coming, coming back is not a sign that he's strong again. No. no. He has just decided not to be on the bed anymore. Yeah. Mm. I will heal as I go. Mm. Some soldiers do not remain lying on the ground. Mm. No. They start to limp. Yes. to get themselves in a better position mm -hmm. to resume the fight. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. There are so many battles, my dear, that I fought even before I became an apostle. Yes. It is the hindsight that I, I look into mm -hmm. that I realize, oh, so when I fought that battle, the devil was trying to cause this mission, this apostolic assignment, to, to be, be aborted. aborted. Yes. Mm -hmm. What the devil was fighting was not me. Mm. He was fighting the assignment before it started. Mm -hmm. The devil started fighting J J J Joseph before he became a prime minister. He had already fought battles. Oh, yes, yes. 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 Ignore Joseph's dreams. Why should we hate Joseph? For his dreams. That was a battle. Yes. The devil knew yes. this man carries an assignment from God. Yes. What if I start bringing trouble to him? Mm to cause this mission, mission to never take place. Da komita rombe zvo kuti mwari pano zomona no tai tada kushandisa but ndo shandisa chima chasara wa parara ushandisike. Izo mwari aninga achita ha hapana no zombo parara zvokushandisika kana ndichida hangu kumushandisa tinogona kuti mupa chizvaro chemhandara iye sara kwegura.
Mm. It had ceased to be with the Sarah, Sarah with the, the men, men of women. women. Yes. And yet she still gave birth yes. to a healthy baby boy. Amen. His name is Isaac. Amen. Yes. Amen. The father of Israel. Yes. The blessed nation of God. Mm. So when you talk about the personal life of the man of God, mm -hmm. because you think you have something that you know about him, and yet you are a beneficiary of the servant of God's yes. ministry. Yes. The pains that the man of God carry in his body. Mm -hmm. And he preaches to you while he is reading in those pains. Mm -hmm. You are committing a sin against God. Mm -hmm. You are behaving in an unseemly manner. Yes. You are not behaving with a kingdom mind understanding, a kingdom mindset. Mm -hmm. Yes. The children of Israel were fighting a battle with Joshua. Mm -hmm. Aaron and he were with Moses in the mountain. Yes. When Moses could not lift up his hands like this, mm -hmm. they held Moses' hands yes. Yes. for Aaron, for, Moses, for Joshua to win the battle. Yes. Yes. Joshua was in the battlefront. Mm -hmm. yes. Moses was in the mountain. Yes. Yes. But the Bible says as much as Moses' hands were up, mm -hmm. Israel was winning. Mm -hmm. yes. And as, as soon as Moses' hands came down, mm -hmm. Israel started losing. losing. Let's go into Exodus chapter 18. This is where the matter is. Mm -hmm. uh, it's chapter 17, yes. verse 8. Then came Amalek and fought with Israel in Rephidim. And Moses said unto Joshua, Choose us out men mm -hmm. and go out, fight with Amalek. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow I will stand on the top of the hill with the rod of God in my hand. Mm -hmm. So Joshua did as Moses had said to him and fought with Amalek. And Moses, Aaron, and Hare went up to the top of the hill. Yes. And it came to pass when Moses held up his hand that Israel prevailed. Whenever Moses' hands were up, yep. Israel prevailed. Yes. And when he let down his hand, mm -hmm. Amalek prevailed. Mm -hmm. So, but Moses' hands were heavy. Moses got tired. Mm -hmm. Did and, you hear that? Yes. 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 The Bible begins by telling us that as soon as Moses lifted up his hands, mm -hmm. Amalek lost. Mm -hmm. Israel was winning. Mm -hmm. Yes. But verse 12 said, but Moses' hands, hands were heavy. heavy. Mm -hmm. The men of God can also get tired. Yes. yes. Pastor Rengu. Yes, yes, am I. Do you hear that? Yes. Mm -hmm. So Moses did not start with the feeling heavy hands. Mm -mm. He had the energy at first. Mm -hmm. Go and fight. I'll be here. Mm -hmm. I'll be lifting up my hands yes. like this. Mm -hmm. But over time, mm -hmm. over what? Over, over time. time. Over time, the yes. hands of the men of God mm -hmm. will become heavy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hmm. What happened when he was now a, a, a tired of lifting up his hands? And they took a stone. They took a stone. And put it under him. And he sat there on. And Aaron and her stayed up his hands. Yes. The so, one on so the one side. The one on that side. On the other side. And yes. the other on, the, on this side. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And his hands were steady until the going down of the sun. Mm -hmm. Now, I want you to, to come here, Pastor Chumen, Pastor Rengui. Mm -hmm. Let us demonstrate this. Yes. Let, let us demonstrate this. They, the Bible says they took a stone. Mm -hmm. Yes. Pastor Rengui. Yes. The Bible does not say he took a stone. No. Moses was too tired. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Moses was too tired to, yes. to take any yes. stone. <laughs> he needed some people yes. to take a stone. Yes. You see? Yes. yes. So they gave Moses to a, a stone to sit on. Mm -hmm. Yes. And Aaron mm -hmm. was on this side. Yes. And the hair yes. was on this side. Yes. And they held Moses' hands. Yes. yes. Hold my hands. Yes. This is what happened. <laughs> Throughout the, the war, war. Yeah. the Bible says. His hands were steady yes. until the going down, down of the sun. of the sun. Yes. Yes. <laughs> These are not God's yes. hands yes. that are tired. Mm -hmm. yes. God will never get tired. No. Yes. But the men of God will get tired. Yes. Yes. This is not a spiritual tiredness. No. Mm -hmm. Physical. It's this physical. is not physical tiredness. Mm -hmm. It is spiritual mm -hmm. tiredness. Hey. Yeah. Hey. 
Amen. The man of God can become spiritually, spiritually tired, tired. Amen. because yes. of spiritual responsibilities. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Pastor Yerengu and Pastor Chuma, yes, tell me, what will you do yourselves if you are also tired, tired of holding my hands? Hey. Oh. <laughs> the falling of us needs the fall of the men of God. <laughs> yes, that's right. Pastor, answer my question. <laughs> yes. You are now tired of standing up <laughs> yes. and tired of holding my hand. Mm -hmm. What will you do to Ziklag? Oh. Tell them they are looking at you right now. Yes. <laughs> Ziklag will fall. <laughs> Ziklag will fall. No, no. You are not answering my question. Yes. My question is what will you do mm -hmm. when you start feeling that you yourself yes. are tired of holding my hand? Mm -hmm. What will you do? I will leave your hands and you will fall. You <laughs> just leave me. I'll call on somebody else you. <laughs> to take over. Pastor Juma, what will you do? I'll call on somebody else to, to take over. My Is there somebody called somebody else? <laughs> <laughs> Tell us who you call. Mm. I'll, I'll call on, 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 on Pastor Palawi, Pastor Zimba, Evangelist Mafolo, uh, or, or the stewards to come and take over where I'm standing and lift up your hands. But you are forgetting that the scripture says, uh, it says Moses, Aaron, and A went way. up mm -hmm. to the top of the hill. So, so those people you are three. talking about, when well, they also in the are mountain. They're they not there. Oh. <laughs> you can take your seats. Are they also in the mountain? They're not there. They're not there. They're not anywhere near. Take the three, Gomu. They are not anywhere near. Hey. You can't call someone who is not available. No. Ah, oh, dear. So there are people who say, the men of God can't get tired. Mm. We are there to support you. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> we are not there. We are not there. Huh? <laughs> uh, How many people are in the mountain with Moses? The two. two more people. So there's three all, the, all, three of of, all together. Mm. What if the two who are supporting Moses mm -hmm. get tired, tired. themselves? Ah, uh, the battle is lost. <laughs> all right. Believers, this is the illustration. What you do not understand, pastors, mm -hmm. with me here, mm -hmm. what you do not understand is the consequences of Moses' tiredness mm -hmm. at the battlefront. Mm -hmm. In the mountain, it's a simple issue. Mm -hmm. Moses is tired. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's give him some time to, to eat something. Mm -hmm. You see, give Moses, a plate of food. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Moses must put down his hands yes. and receive a plate of food yes. and eat. It's lunch time mm. for Moses. Mm. <laughs> what <laughs> happens the at the battlefront? <laughs> they are losing. Are losing. Joshua is losing the battle <laughs> because Amalek is prevailing. Yes. That's correct, but you have missed out something. What else is happening at the battlefront? The war is still continuing. There's no lunch there. Yes, there's no lunch. There's something else you're missing. What else happens mm -hmm. when Moses pulls his hands down? Amalek is they, prevailing. They yes, that's correct. What else? <laughs> the people die. Oh, ah, yes. 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 The phrase, people the people will lose, lose. Mm -hmm. it actually means people will die. die. Mm -hmm. Yes. Vana. Vana va Israel. Vana ofa. Vana ofa. Kubeto frandu. Kuna tori nemu zitu na Yes. The reason is Moses is dead. <laughs> How does it happen, Pastor? Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. You understand? Mm. Yes. That's why the Lord gave a parable and said, the parable shall be fulfilled, which says, I take the shepherd away and the sheep shall be scattered. scattered. He was talking about the three days and three nights. Mm -hmm. He was not going to be around. Yes. Yeah. The pastor is a shepherd. Mm -hmm. Every time the shepherd is unwell, mm -hmm. the enemy celebrates. Yes. Yes. The sheep are the vulnerable. vulnerable. Yes. So people who see grown-up men holding the hands of a lousy, lazy man. Mm -hmm. You know, there are people who are passing by. Mm -hmm. They see Aaron and the hair holding Moses' hands, and they say, What am I saying? I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Because I'm full of an idea. Kutu kubeto frandi chaka chuka, chiri kumvira, chaka putika. Kuru kubaya anwa. Yes. So do not mind passers-by. Mm. 
They yeah. don't know the battles we are fighting. Yes. That's right. When they hear you praying for the man of God, yes. they think you are spoiling him. Yes. yes. They do not understand the spiritual battles yes. that Israel yes. fights yes. on a daily yes. basis. Yes. Yes. Do not allow the man of God's hands mm. to go down. Mm. May the man of God not get too tired mm -hmm. to stand Thanks. up. Amen. Amen. This is why Paul said in Acts 26, 22, mm -hmm. having obtained Ten, the help from, from God, God. Yes. I, I continue, continue. Mm -hmm. unto this day. Yes. yes. How did Paul continue? He obtained the help from, from, God. from God. God. Yes. yes. Paul does not have the capacity to continue by himself. By himself. Yes. He needs the help. Mm -hmm. And this is why we ask you to pray. Mm -hmm. Pray for the man of God. Yes. For God to help him. Yes. For him to continue mm -hmm. to yes. this day. Yes. yes. The battles that we fight, mm -hmm. some of them are too heavy. Yes. 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 That after one battle, mm -hmm. you will need time to recover. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sometimes the man of God needs time to recover by taking a vacation. Mm. You don't know what he's fighting. Yes. You don't know what he's fighting. 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 Men of God, I don't see him, but with a prayer retreat. I am on one more, I don't need a retreat. The man of God needs a vacation. Yes. The question is, if the recuperation of the man of God yes. requires a vacation, mm -hmm. does he have the resources to do the vacation? Mm. He doesn't have the money. Nah, nah. So he must just come back to work. <laughs> oh, dear. So the man of God is too tired to work. Mm -hmm. yeah. He must rest. But he doesn't have the capacity to rest. rest. Did you know, Pastor, that mm -hmm. in order for you to rest, mm -hmm. you need the capacity. Mm -hmm. You need yes. to have the capacity. For example, if you are hungry, you can't rest. <laughs> no. When your, 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 your bowels are grinding mm -hmm. and asking for food, mm -hmm. you can't even find sleep. Yes. Yes. So, this is an admonition. Uh, you may say, uh, we thank God for Aaron and the mm. who were with Moses in the, in the mountain. Yes. But you must remember that Aaron and the were people with a special grace mm -hmm. to understand the work that Moses was doing. Yes. And they were available mm -hmm. when Moses needed yeah. their help. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes we have people who are capable mm -hmm. to stand with the men of God. Mm -hmm. yes. The only problem is they are not available. Either they don't have the time, mm -hmm. or maybe they don't have the resources, yes. or maybe they don't have the strength. Yes. You understand? Yes. 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 So as you pray for me as well and other ministers, mm. pray also for those who stand with the men of God. Amen. Yes. Pray Amen. for Aaron and Eh. Yes. yes. Those who are with him mm. in those dire situations. Yes. Yes. Pray for them. Yes. Mm -hmm. Imagine while Aaron and he are standing up holding Moses' hands mm. and they are attacked with the diarrhea. Mm -hmm. Wow. They said to Moses, man of God, man of God, we are very sorry to say this, but we need to use the loo. <laughs> and Aaron, Moses will say, I have no option. Please run. <laughs> As soon as they come back again, we are so men of God. You have to go back again. I think it's a running stomach. Kutimusova the Jesus, 
Mas vai dizer, a Aristeu, a Gajija, Mudumbu, Mudumbu. This is a very dire consequences It yes. is, of getting too comfortable. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, the man of God must be wise also to delegate certain responsibilities to other people yes. mm -hmm. in the house of God. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because the man of God, if he becomes so busy mm -hmm. with, for example, admin work, mm -hmm. yes. I come out of the studio, mm -hmm. I go into the office, mm -hmm. out of the studio, into the office, mm -hmm. I barely find the time mm -hmm. to pray myself, mm -hmm. to pray for you, to mm -hmm. pray for the believers, to mm -hmm. pray for the work of the gospel, yes. to pray for the ministers. Yes. Mm -hmm. That the man of God is not prayerful mm -hmm. becomes a very big wall. Mm -hmm. on the security wall mm -hmm. of the church. Yes. It doesn't matter how many people are praying in the church. Mm -hmm. I have a responsibility to pray for every one of you. Oh, yes. And the effect of my prayer for you mm -hmm. is different for, from the effect of your, your prayer, prayer to me. Mm -hmm. Yes. Or prayer for me. Mm -hmm. Yes. Different. Mm. There are certain issues that God wants only me mm -hmm. to pray for. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. yes. So those who are helping with admin, they should do it perfectly. Yes. So that every time they do their work, mm -hmm. they don't have to leave me worried. Mm -hmm. Why can't they do the proper job? Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. Mm -hmm. Because if they don't do the work properly, then I have to go back yes. to that work mm -hmm. to review it, mm -hmm. to correct their mistakes. Mm -hmm. In the long run, I don't have time to pray. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. Yes. Yes, 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 wow. yes. And I will come to you with a certain understanding that is also controversial mm -hmm. okay. regarding the life of the minister of the gospel. Mm -hmm. One of the things that a true minister must do mm -hmm. every now and again mm -hmm. is to withdraw from the people. Mm -hmm. right. The man of God must be must quarantine himself every now and again. Mm -hmm. okay. He must be somewhere where he's facing God only. Mm -hmm. If you are a married preacher, yes. there's also time for you to leave your wife mm -hmm. or your husband, to be alone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. It's very important. Wow. It was the Sangana next week. Garai Koko. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. You will understand that as much as marriage is good, yes. mm -hmm. a true servant of God need to every now and again separate himself okay. from a woman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ukanga wari muruma singa gwe neku paradzana ne mukadzi uchingo tuka gara gara kuti mukadzi wangu ari kupi Umwari wako uno uno kanganisika Eh uno kanganisika Uno tombeta zvimwe zvimazwa zvaono mbo tama ku bedroom Umbo gara zvako kune ime room uchina mata iko Ozodzoka o Unoko na kupezi sila mwari ane godo ni mkazi wako. Kuti ina nisisi na nguwa newe wako. Mungo sikuro shitezara ni mkazi wako nga angaiwa. Matone problem na mwari. Because the intimacy that your wife gives you is a figure of the intimacy that God wants to have with you. Yes. Make sure you don't bring competition and rivalry with these two levels of intimacy. <laughs> Amen, no, no, Amen. <laughs> Amen. Yes. <laughs> so when David came to Ahimelech, mm -hmm. he wanted food. Yes. Ahimelech said to David, mm -hmm. I don't have common bread. Yes. Mm -hmm. I only have holy bread. Holy, holy, holy bread. Holy mm -hmm. bread. But the problem with holy bread is if you have been with a woman, mm -hmm. you yeah. can't eat it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Huh? Yes. 
Chapter 21. Verse 4. Yes. And the priest answered David and said, There is no common bread under my hand, but there is hallowed bread. There is holy bread. If the young men have kept themselves at least from women. Mm. <laughs> the least, the least requirement. Yes. Hey. Now, these are not girlfriends. Mm -mm. They were their wives. Their wives. Amen. <laughs> Zawuchaona kuti zvino kubatsira kuve intimate na mwari. Amen. Ya pane ka mystery karipo karoda kuti kanzwisiswe. Kana uri married kusukira kumurume sterek nekusukira nemukadzi sterek. Singa vekoko kuno tapu za something mm. pauri pakuve pakuve intimate kwako na mwari. Yes. Mara ana kuvenga intimacy pakati pemurume nemukadzi yes. as intimacy nemukadzi aisi chinhu chiri spiritual steric mm. <laughs> <laughs> Asina kushata kuzviita asi ukanga wakudzidza vhangiri wakadzikama uchaona magwara asingaite Jokuti mu Bible muno tori netsamba yekuti kana ma kuita bonde musazo mm. kanga nwa kunyengetera yes. mm. mara chitoti hey hey yes. hey hey <laughs> hey chimbo mira imna mate na <laughs> imaranga chifunga kuti kuita bonde kunyengetera zaka fana na engo di kana ma tui tama nyengetera mm. muno zozo na manguan akati muno fana waku zisira mukana. Mm. We mm. mm. It's a very carnal activity yes. that yes. a man of God must be careful about. Mm. Yes. First Corinthians chapter 7, verse 3. Yes, let the husband render unto the wife due benevolence. Yes. And likewise also the wife unto the husband. Yes. The wife has no power of her own body, but the husband. Yes. And likewise also the husband has not power of his own body, but the wife. Five. Defraud ye not one another. Whenever he wants it, give him. Yes, except it be with consent for a time. Why? That you may give yourselves to fasting and prayer and come together again, that Satan tempt you not for your incontinence. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine that God is warning yes. that you must control your sexual ages? Even towards your husband mm -hmm. or towards your, your wife. wife. Yes. Yeah. Incontinency mm -hmm. is when you can't control your body. Yes. Mm -hmm. We have a sickness where people you pee on themselves. Mm -hmm. When you become oh. incontinent in terms of urinating, yes. mm -hmm. you are no longer in control of your bladder. Mm -hmm. So urine comes out anytime. Mm -hmm. It's called incontinence. Mm -hmm. It also happens with number two. Mm -hmm. But we are talking about sexual incontinence. incontinence. Yes. Mm -hmm. You can't control yourself. Yeah. You want to do it anytime. Mm -hmm. God says, don't do it all the time. Mm -hmm. Do it with consent mm -hmm. for a time mm -hmm. yes. that you may give yourself to fasting mm -hmm. and yes. prayer yes. so that the devil mm -hmm. may not mm -hmm. tempt you mm -hmm. for your incontinence. Mm -hmm. Can you see what I was talking about? Yes. Yes. I know people don't like me, mm -hmm. but at least acknowledge oh, when yes. I show you things <laughs> based on the scripture. Truth. That's yes. right. It's truth. <laughs> so Ahimelech like, says to David, mm -hmm. I can give you this bread mm -hmm. on one condition. Mm -hmm. You have not slept with your wife in the past three days. <laughs> yes. Right. Let's hear what David says in verse four, verse 5. Yes. And David answered the priest and said unto him, mm. Of a truth, women have been kept from us about these three days huh? since I came out. Did he, what did he say? <laughs> he was kept away from women. Of a truth, women yes. have been kept yes. from us mm -hmm. about well, these, these three, three days. days. Yes. Pastor, Am I? I know you are a lady. Yes. And we love ladies. All of the ladies, we thank God for you. Amen. <laughs> 
But what do you say about these scriptures <laughs> where men mm -hmm. are required to be kept away mm -hmm. from you for yes. them to get spiritual bread? Mm. Hey. Yeah. Chingwa ichi chiri papa ichi. Dogunge manga musini pa duze never kanzi for these three. past three, three. days. Mm -hmm. Kureva kaka kuti David ito jizi, vaka kuti karanji. Daku no shika kuna aimele ku. Ani ngo muka makuse, daku ten daku na aimele. Doto mbeita mazwa ma tatu, jitu kumkazi. Rara kwa kwe genji, rara kwa ngudegas. In three days time, I will meet the men of God. Yes. Ha? Pastor? Amai. Mwiwe. Mwiwe nzu amai. And it's not in that way. As you were explaining, chitaura, intimacy between men. And then you giving it to a spiritual uh, interpretation or say significance of that intimacy between you and God. Yes. But we find that the intimacy of men to men. Men, men with a woman. Men with Clarify a woman. Clarify that one. We have got Pan a problem. If you say men. men to men, people <laughs> think you are talking about <laughs> same sex issues. Ah no, thank you. I'm intimacy between a man and, and his wife. And his wife. Yes. Iyo. Ine kushiba mkati kwa ina kwa mkati kwa ina. Ipapo manji, makutora sika manji. Because, wanu wacha enda kumbaba jiti, bonde naka shiba. Ayo. Kutaza kushitana ngura ya mai, asindu kuda kubiri safu nguwa ya kuti. Kana muruma ya chinti, asu itzaure kumkazu wake. Yes. Panisha ashiru kurewa kuti, pakusangana kwa unguwa ni nguwa. Kunashe, she no rebe. She no, she no. Pastor Chuma. Yes, am I. Say this in your own words. Because if you fail to bring this one out, we are doomed. You are representing the whole church. How can the whole church understand it properly if you can't do that right now? If you meet a believer and who says, what was the apostle saying about intimacy? What would you say? Yes, uh, 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 thank you, Amai. This intimacy between a husband and a wife was designed by God, and it is right. There's nothing wrong with it. However, there is a time that this kind of intimacy must be put aside for the men to concentrate on spiritual things. That is the reason why David had to abstain from this intimacy from Bonde for those three days with his men before they went to see the men of God. That is the requirement that they found when, uh, when they saw Ahimelech. He demanded, he said, yes, the bread is here, his holy bread. You can only have it on condition that you haven't had women for three days. So there is a time that, uh, that, uh, that should be set aside for, for spiritual things. Yes, yes. Um, thank you, Pastor. You, you got it right. Pastor Rengu, come in. We want to hear you. You are the most important <laughs> panelist today in this manner, in this matter as well. Do not end up where am I? Um... And the ones we see, so good. Ishe, one or two, good. You come away, do not have. Unge uchita, se u come away. Waga tiba mfana ni jo we marriage. Good. Tinge tini intimate relationship. Paka pemuru mene mzima. Paka ehe. It's like an intimate relationship. Iri paka pemuru mene mukadi. Duhe iri kuda tiba mfana ni jo we intimate relationship. Relationship yet no fana kuita nashi. Right. Saka David haru kudio haru da chingwa. David haru da chingwa. Uka manashi. Yes. O haru kuda kuita na. O vans na ayimeleki. Are you clean? Yes. O vat minus my wife. I am clean. I am clean. David said, I am subtracted my wife for the past three days. Yes. Kurewa kuti. Yes. And pastor, 
Mm. David was not talking about separating himself from prostitutes. Ah, no. No. He was a from married his man. Wives. Yes. Mm. yes. Mm. You understand? Mm. Yes. He yes. had two wives. Yes. Actually. Yes. But of course, later he then married the mm. other woman. Yeah. At this time, he only had Ainoam. Okay. Ainoam, the Jezreelite. Mm. All right. Mm -hmm. And also. Uh, Mikau. Mikau. All right. okay. But um, at this point, he had left Mikau with mm -hmm. a father, so, so at yeah. the mm -hmm. palace. All right. mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. And that it is in chapter 25 mm -hmm. that he then marries uh, Abigail, Abigail, the wife, of the of former Nabal. wife of Nabal. Mm -hmm. It happened in chapter 25. Mm -hmm. At this point, he has two wives. Mm -hmm. and, and, and he is within moral rights right. yes. to be intimate with his wife. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's not a sin. No. Yes. We are not saying being intimate with your wife or with your husband is a sin. No. no. But there is a level mm -hmm. of intimacy between you and God, God. Mm -hmm. that requires you to separate, to separate yourself mm -hmm. from your spouse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Abstain. Mm -hmm. Abstain. Mm -hmm. Yes. Not for the whole year, not mm -hmm. for the whole month. Yes. No. For a few days. Yes. That's right. Mm -hmm. Now, if you are a man who can't hold it, mm -hmm. when your wife says, I have committed some days to be intimate with God. Mm -hmm. I'm seeking to understand more of God. Mm -hmm. Could you allow me to have some three days of my bedroom activities? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You are not a good man mm. because you are now a stumbling block to the spiritual life of your wife. Okay, nice. God will take you as an enemy of righteousness mm. Mm. because mm. the wife cannot just wake up one day and say, I'm leaving the bedroom. I'm, I, I've got some two days. A, a wife must ask for permission. Yes, yes. That's yes. what we are going to be looking at today. Yes, yes. And then the, the husband doesn't need his wife's permission. Mm -hmm. He can just wake up and say, I'm going to be doing something mm -hmm. which does not require me to touch you. Yes. Leave me alone mm -hmm. for the next three days. Mm -hmm. So what I find amazing mm -hmm. is that David yes. arrived at Nob mm -hmm. to meet Ahimelech. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ahimelech says to David, mm -hmm. you, we, you want bread. Mm -hmm. I don't have common bread. Yes. I don't have lobules or proton bread. Mm -hmm. The bread I have is holy. holy. Yes. Mm -hmm. And David says, we are holy. Mm -hmm. We have separated ourselves from women mm -hmm. for the past three, three days. days. Yes. Which means Ahimelech is not instructing David mm -hmm. to separate himself no. from no. his wives. Mm -mm. No. David, David has already, already done it. Done it. Done it. Yes. What does he understand yes. that we don't? Hey. <laughs> hey. It wasn't something strange to David. No. Ahimelech, what are you talking about? No. I thought God blessed our marriage. Mm. If God blessed our marriage, so what is wrong so, with problem. coming to God after having mm. been intimate? Magzena ano chayo. Tatombo it and adz You see, mm. David understood it. Yes. David said, I understand it, man of God. Mm. Mm. I've already committed mm. myself so, to this separation yes. for the past three days. Please. Madzimai achuna iziva omwari hapana akafonyera atete vake ndo suspect that David and a girlfriend kwete because can now re joke jese zvinongo enda ku joke chete yes uno kuza matambira waimbeta mazongo chiri general ikoko saka muruma kati ndiraumbo nyengetera uno bvwa funga kuti kwa ane girlfriend those are attacked at our memes are already my jokey. One a patash capana. One go a car or a jokey. I know Vatican or dog window into my prayers. I went and my prayers. In a drip a corner, but she monitored our number phone goes all with all Pacona. God forgot me, taste it in a mad. I want to have my private prayers with God. Mm. I don't want you to, of course, we can pray together as husband and wife yes. Yes. at other times. Yes. This is my special time mm -hmm. with my God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The women in the days of David never gave their husbands a hard time mm -hmm. with these matters. No. We thank God, uh, Pastor. Yes. Uh, we hope our men will not go to girlfriends yes, yes. and send messages to their wives. I have separated myself 
don't commit a sin and use the name of God as a cover. You take an immediate case. Yes. Don't use Jesus to cover your, your shenanigans, mm -hmm. your tricks, and your debauchery. No. Don't use the name of God. Mm -hmm. You attract a generational case. Yes. Never do that. Mm -hmm. Pastor, Am I? are you going to help our women to understand this? Yes, yes. I know God will help us women out there. We are going to understand it more. Mm. We also need the men to understand it. The men should understand it. Yes. But especially the men of God. Mm -hmm. If you want to grow in your spiritual life as a man of God, yes. you need some time alone mm -hmm. from your wife. And it is. Which is in much meditator. Uri kure. Yes. Uri kure ni mkazi, ozo zoka. Yes. Unomu wanari kwa hama, naku wano mbenda. Yeah, Kanari munu mm. chaya kasu, wari kwa shaka naka. Yes. Ah, mboti nda hakuenda. Unomu wanari mm. po. Mm. Ukanyanya kusukwela paduzi ni mkazi. Uno, uno suruka. Unaito wange mtuvi, amzisi naka na mkaka kana wana. Kwa mgo sara sawa wata. Ukarambo, chungo ndendele zana nae, uno suruka. Mm. Hey. Kutompa msi ya kunga asipu, iwo chita shinjwa mngari. Shaka kusha iso. Yes. Dato kuza ime anse, kutisee muna mngari, tisinga wone, shwa muna wona, tisinga anse, maa, jizaru kwa muna wona, wona anse, do ime chikonzo le chache ejo jiji. Yes. Yes. And it, eh, tunotenda mngari. This is the admonition, it is titled, Aaron and he. This is the title of the admonition. There needs to be men, who support the men of God Amen. whenever our spiritual life is on the mountain, mm -hmm. the nation of Israel finds a victory at the battlefront. Yes. yes. Do not abandon Moses. Mm -hmm. He is a man of God. Yes. Humanity can also affect him. Mm -hmm. yes. Look at the scripture. Yes. Moses got tired. Yes. He needed help. Mm -hmm. We now have a problem with a situation where church members do not care about Moses, mm. but when he puts his hands down yes. and the nation is devoured, mm. you start to hear them. Mm. They are the first That's to so complain. Mm. They are the first to gossip. They are the first to labor him. Yes. An evil man, yes. a wicked man, yes. a man who does not know how to control himself. Mm. They don't know that he fought so many battles, yes. but because he has a body, mm. He got tired. Yes. There was no one to lift his hands up. Mm. He was attacked. Yes. This is an attack. Mm. But you see, it is a mischief. Mm. How painful it is. Yeah. Mm. Imagine when a man of God is attacked by the devil, mm -hmm. but the people that are the reason for that attack, mm. they don't see it as an attack. Yes. Yes. They see it as a mischief. Mm. Yes. Do you know how many battles this man has fought? Hey. which are not recorded in the scriptures mm -hmm. day and night. Yes. How many Ephesus beasts yes. has he fought so yes. far? Yes. For you yes. to say, we thank God yes. for the revelation that hey. he had hey. of the gospel. Yes. How many battles did he fight hey. after the manner of men? Yes. Let's praise God in a song and come back to the message.
Yes, we thank God. Um, I saw on the live chat a believer posted this scripture on Exodus 19. And I found it also very useful to the uh, last aspect I shared with you about sanctification yes. of the man of God for an intimate encounter with God. Mm -hmm. um, it's from verse 10 to 15. Yes. And, and the Lord said unto Moses, Go unto the people and sanctify them today and tomorrow, and let them wash their clothes, and be ready against the third day. Why should we be ready against the third day? For the third day the Lord will come down in the sight of all the people upon Mount Sinai. So, mm -hmm. Pastor, yes. people were making ready mm -hmm. to meet with, with the, the Lord. Lord. Yes. yes. Be ready. Mm -hmm. Yes. For the third day, the Lord will come down mm -hmm. in the sight of all the people yes. upon Mount Sinai. Yes. And I hope to God that our men do not start to despise their wives. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a very, very controversial message. I'll bring it one day, but let's, let's not do that. They were preparing to meet with the Lord. Yes. The yes. Lord himself mm. is coming down yes. in the sight of all the people yes. upon Mount Sinai. Mm. Yes. yes. And thou shalt set bounds unto the people round about, saying... Take heed to yourselves that you go not up into the mount. Don't go up into Mount Sinai. Or touch the border of Don't it. touch the, the boundary of the mountain. Whosoever toucheth the mount shall be surely put to death. Yes. There shall not an hand touch it, but he shall surely be stoned or shot through. Whether it be beast or man, it shall not live. When the trumpet soundeth long, they shall come up to the mount. Yes. And Moses went down from the mount unto the people. Moses came down from the mountain to sanctify the people. Mm -hmm. Yes, and they washed their clothes. The people washed their clothes and their bodies. And he said unto the people. And Moses said to the people, Be ready against the third day. Come not at your wives. Do not touch your wives. Mm -hmm. Don't touch your wives for the next three days. Yes. And it came to pass on the third day in the morning that there were thunders and lightnings and a thick cloud upon the mount and the voice of the trumpet exceeding loud so that all the people that was in the camp trembled. Let's, let's, let's not go in. But if you read verse 18, it says, The Lord descended upon it with the fire, mm -hmm. yes. and the smoke thereof ascended as the smoke of a furnace. Yes. And the whole mount quaked greatly. Mm -hmm. the, the scripture says the Lord descended mm -hmm. upon Mount Sinai. Yes. The Lord had promised that he is coming to meet with the people in verse 11. Mm -hmm. yes. And verse 18 says he did it. Yes. Mm -hmm. The Lord came down yes. into the mountain. Yes. Mm -hmm. And there was so much thundering and lightnings and smoke. Yes. Mm -hmm. But the people had to make themselves ready. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they made ready, among other things, by separating themselves from their wives. Yes. Yes. Okay, let's leave this one. I, I thought it was exciting. Uh, thank you, believer, for citing this scripture. It shows that you are also studying scriptures. Yes. yes. There are so many scriptures that bring out the same matter. Mm -hmm. We won't read all of them. Yes. But thank you anyway for citing it. It also shows that what we are teaching you is not our intellect, mm -hmm. yes. our philosophy, mm -hmm. our ideology. Mm -hmm. yes. We preach to you that which is sound doctrine Amen. from the mouth of the Lord himself. Yes. And those who would say, well, it, 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 it ended with the law. That's where we read 1 Corinthians chapter 7. Seven. Yes. This issue is not ending. No. Mm -hmm. We need to understand yes. how to separate ourselves from the issues of this life yes. mm -hmm. to find intimate time yes. 
yes. with our God. Mm -hmm. Both men and women yes. should do that. Yes. But if you are a married woman and your husband is not a believer, mm -hmm. you will have to persuade him. Yes. Yes. You yes. can't say, and this kuda mata nini. Yes. Um, let, let me let me pray before we go into the message. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Savior. We do not understand how much we should say we thank you on account of the depth of the wealth of the word which we have received. We thank you, Lord, for making us a sober generation. Thank you, Lord, for making us your children. You speak to us in Hebrews chapter 2, where you said, you are not ashamed to call us your brethren. Mm. Something we never knew before, that it is not blasphemous to say Jesus Christ is our brother. You are not ashamed to call us your brothers on account of the sacrifice you made on the cross to redeem us from sin. We thank you, Lord, for nourishing us. We thank you, Lord, for healing our souls from all this corruption. We thank you, Lord, for giving us the light of the gospel. We thank you, Lord, for transforming us from children of darkness, children of condemnation, filthy and abominable. You have made us children of light. You have made us partakers of your divine nature. We thank you, Lord, for distributing the inheritance of God among us as fellow sons of God, co-heirs together with you of the heavenly inheritance. As we sit here to learn this message, may you sweep our hearts that we may find food and nourishment from this teaching. May we find this message a stepping stone to a higher dimension of relating with you. We want to move away from religion that taught us theories and, and, and rhetoric and philosophies about God. We are learning the reality of the true God who is alive forevermore. We are learning how to relate with him. We are relating, we are learning how to function as his children. We thank you, Jesus, for such a very, very important, indispensable teaching that shall shape everything to do with our practical life in the faith. Amen. Amen. Like I said, the message is titled Dedicated Service, Part 1. Dedicated Service, Part 1. I want to warn believers and all that are going to listen to this message. This message is not normal. Mm. This message is not usual. Mm -hmm. This message is a paradigm shift. Mm. We are going to rearrange the furniture mm -hmm. in our church. Mm. We are going to rearrange the lawn in our church premises mm. because of this message. It's a message, if we are going to use an, an allegory of a physical system, we could say the president has announced a cabinet reshuffle. Right. Our way of worship is going to be shuffled, mm. reshuffled by this message. It's a warning. I warn you that you have never heard this message before. And so many people are not going to like this message. Mm -hmm. But the true believers are going to jubilate. Mm -hmm. It's a message that is going to show you the practicality of a spiritual life mm. in the true church. Amen. There is a doctrine in the Old Testament, the doctrine of the vow. Mm -hmm. okay. The doctrine of the vow. Oh, yes. 
We are going to explore the doctrine of the vow mm -hmm. with all its paraphernalia mm -hmm. circumstances mm -hmm. for us to understand how it happened. Mm -hmm. And that is the foundation of the dedicated service mm -hmm. in the New Testament. Yes. I've never heard it myself since I was a Christian. <laughs> in my Christian days, I've, mm -hmm. I never heard anyone talking about it. Mm -hmm. I saw attempts here and there in different cultic uh, practices, but they are not anywhere near what is recorded in Scripture. Mm -hmm. Let's look at Numbers chapter 30 which is the scripture that governs the doctrine of the vow within the parameters of the Old Testament uh, order. Mm -hmm. Those who were in the law, mm -hmm. they knew about the vow. Mm -hmm. And we don't have to do the vow. The vow was replaced with the dedicated service. Yes. But nobody knows about this. Mm -hmm. We are going to look into Numbers chapter 30. We will read the whole scripture up to verse number 16. And then I will summarize it. Mm -hmm. And then we go into where it was practiced in the law of Moses. Mm -hmm. Is there anyone who took a vow during the time of the law? Yes. And then, of course we will come to the dedicated service. Mm. It's a long flight. We are likely going to be cruising at 55,000 feet mm -hmm. above sea level. Yes. <laughs> we want you to relax. <laughs> relax, 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 relax. <laughs> I hoped that I was going to leave to preach this message. Mm -hmm. I hoped that I should take my flight before I teach this message. Wow. <laughs> and I'm so happy. Oh, yes. Even if I don't live to preach part two of this message, mm -hmm. after this message, yes. I'm going to be much happier than I was before. Oh, yes. Thank God. <laughs> because it's something that the Lord said, no church can ever hope to go to heaven mm -hmm. without understanding this message. Mm -hmm. Yes. Numbers 30. And Moses spake unto the heads of the tribes concerning the children of Israel, saying, This is the thing which the Lord has commanded. If a man vow a vow unto the Lord, or swear an oath to bind his soul with a bond, he shall not break his word. He shall do according to all that proceeds out of his mouth. Again, Pastor Chuma, read verse 1 to 2. And Moses spake unto the heads of the tribes concerning the children of Israel, saying, this is the thing which the Lord has commanded. So, you may not like uh, the word of God. Mm -hmm. It's good for you to say, I don't like the word of God. Mm -hmm. Don't hide behind my name and say, mm -hmm. I don't like what Chuenga preaches. Okay. Chuenga preaches what is in the scripture. Mm -hmm. So, if you don't like my message, it means you don't love God. Yes. Because who, he, he who loves God, mm -hmm. he is God's words. Amen. Yes. John 8 says, he who is of God, yes. he has God's words. Yes. You do not hear God's words because you are not of God. That's mm -hmm. verse 47. Yes. He that is of God, he has God's words. Uri wa mangari, unonzi wa mashoku wa mangari. You therefore hear them not because you are not of God. Uri wa mangari, unonzi wa mashoku wa mangari. Yes. Imi ya munzu kwe mashoku wa mngari. Nekuta musi wa mngari. And there's no need to fight. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. Jesus did not say, please hear God's words. No. He simply said, if you truly belong to God, God. Yes. you will hear God's words. Mm -hmm. And this is the beauty of preaching the word of God. Yes. <laughs> Especially after rebuting mm -hmm and rubbishing the free will, a foolish doctrine. Yes. yes. We preach the doctrine of election by grace mm -hmm. based on the doctrine of predestination. Yes. God knew his people before the mm -hmm. creation of the world. Mm -hmm. These are the people that he chose, mm -hmm. he elected yes. to give salvation. Mm -hmm. So when we preach the word, 
We are not begging for people to say amen no. to our message. No. We are depending on the elect yes. to say amen to the word. Yes. God already knows these people. Amen. Remember, the foundation of God stands sure, sure. Yes. having this is seal. Yes. The Lord knows them that yes. are his. Yes. If there is anyone who names the name of the Lord, mm -hmm. he must depart from iniquity. Mm -hmm. The Lord knows them that are his. Amen. It's a seal. Yes. How does the Lord know his people? Mm -hmm. By looking at who he is, his words. Mm -hmm. You see? Mm -hmm. So it's a commandment from the Lord, Pastor Chuma. Yes. This is the thing which the Lord has commanded. Yes. yes. What does he say? If a man vow a vow unto the Lord. If a man vows a vow unto the Lord. Or say an oath to bind his soul with a bond. And swear or swear an oath. Mm -hmm. To bind his soul with a bond. He shall not break his word. He shall do according to all that proceeded out of his mouth. Yes, 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 yes. So you might take a vow mm -hmm. or swear an oath. Mm -hmm. It means the same. Mm -hmm. yes. What is a vow, Apostle Chwenga? Mm -hmm. A vow is an oath that binds the soul. Hey. Hmm. You know, the difference between a promise mm -hmm. and a yeah. vow mm. is that a promise makes you personally liable. Mm -hmm. okay. I promise to pay Pastor Chuma back his money on Friday. Mm -hmm. yes. If I don't, Pastor Chuma may sue me to the civil court mm. to claim his money. Mm -hmm. yes. You understand? Yes. yes. People make promises to each other. Mm -hmm. But the people would come to the temple and bind their souls with an oath unto God. Mm -hmm. The difference between a promise and a vow mm -hmm. in regards to this principle or the doctrine of the vow mm -hmm. is that when you make a vow, it's not your body mm -hmm. that is answerable okay. if you default. Mm -hmm. It's your soul. Hey. <laughs> a, a, a vow is a bond to the soul. Mm -hmm. You know what you do when you take a loan? Mm -hmm. You give the bank uh, the title deeds. Yes. Yes. And they keep the title deeds mm -hmm. as a bond. Yes. Mm -hmm. So they bond you mm -hmm. until you feel you, 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 you pay the, the debt in full. Mm -hmm. This is what happens. Yes. When you make a vow in accordance with the law, mm -hmm. your soul is under a bond yes. until you fulfill that vow. Mm -hmm. yes. So the word bond, it actually means, uh, number one, indebted to God. Mm -hmm. okay. When you make this vow, mm -hmm. it's your soul that is in debt to God. Mm -hmm. Number two, it also means your soul is in the custody of God mm -hmm. who must do whatever he pleases with your soul mm -hmm. if you do not make good on your vow. Right. Right. If this vow is not fulfilled, mm -hmm. God will punish your soul. Mm -hmm. So if your title deeds are under a bond system, mm -hmm. you can't sell your house you can't. because the title deeds are not in your custody. Mm -hmm. That's right. You have to come to the bank and agree with the bank. Mm -hmm. I'm selling the house. When the buyer pays the money, mm -hmm. take my whatever I owe you mm -hmm. what is left mm -hmm. yes. and release the, the title deeds yes. to yes. the new buyer. Yes. You have to agree mm -hmm. with the one holding yes. the bond. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So anyone who has a vow to God was limited mm -hmm. on what you can do because your soul is in a bond. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. yes. I hope you are following. I'm trying to be slow. Yes. One of the things that you could not do when you have taken a vow was to get married. Right. Okay. 
Mm. You mm. couldn't get married. A boy who has made a vow to God mm -hmm. cannot enter into a marriage Before. until he concludes his vow. Yes. Ah, this is the reason why Samson never had a stable marriage. Mm. He was a bonded son. <laughs> he never knew mm -hmm. that he was a bonded son. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm going to be orderly today in this message. I prefer to, to do this because it is easier to understand than to read the whole chapter and then come back again. Mm -hmm. Chapter 13, the book of Judges. Yes. Chapter 13, verse 1. And the children the of Israel did yes. evil again in the sight of the Lord. And the Lord delivered them into the end of the Philistines forty years. And there was a certain man of Zorah, of the family of the Danites, whose name was Manoah, and his wife was barren and bare not. Yes. And so the angel Manoah and his and his wife mm -hmm. were barren. Yes. She could not conceive. Yes. But Israel is under distress. <laughs> Mm -hmm. They are being abused by the Philistines yes. because of their evil deeds mm -hmm. towards God. Mm -hmm. What happened? And the angel of the Lord appeared unto the woman. The angel of the Lord appeared unto Manoah's wife. And said unto her, Behold now, thou art barren and bearest not, but thou shalt conceive and bear a son. So I will show you mm -hmm. that Samson was a bonded, bonded. soul. Mm -hmm. For the rest of his life. Yes. Okay. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yes. There are different kinds of bonds. Mm -hmm. You should write this in your notes. Yes. You can't talk about a vow mm -hmm. without talking about a bond. bond. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because the effect of a vow is, is that it puts a soul under, bond. under a bond. Under a bond. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when you are under a bond, you are not free. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me simplify the word free. Yes. You are not available. Mm -hmm. yeah. When people organize their parties, they don't include you. <laughs> you are unavailable to everyone mm -hmm. but God. <laughs> a bond mm -hmm. makes a person mm -hmm. only available to God. To God. To God. Hey. Every other social activity mm -hmm. is actually secondary, mm -hmm. trivial, mm -hmm. extracurricular. Mm -hmm. Your primary uh, uh, agenda of existing and life, as much as and as far as the tenure of the bond is concerned, right. is God. Yes. I live for God. Mm -hmm. I dedicate myself to God. To God. Mm -hmm. So you are going to discover that you are going to discover that you are going to discover that there is a mystery of the vow that is not discussed openly in the scriptures of the law. Mm -hmm. okay. That a man cannot take a bond mm -hmm. that lasts a lifetime. All right. All right. There is no provision for Pastor Chuma to make a vow mm -hmm. that lasts a lifetime. Mm -hmm. But there are lifetime vows mm -hmm. in the scriptures. All right. mm -hmm. Lifetime bonds or lifetime vows mm -hmm. were made by two people. Mm -hmm. Number one, God himself. Mm -hmm. God could bring a person mm -hmm. and say, I've dedicated this person to a lifetime of saving me is not available to humanity. Mm -hmm. He's under a lifetime bond. Mm -hmm. okay. Or oh, the parents of a child yes. can give that child into a lifetime bond. Mm -hmm. right. Don't panic, children. You are safe. <laughs> a parent cannot decide maybe two years after the child is born, mm -hmm. to put him under a lifetime bond. Mm -hmm. A lifetime bond 
is done before the child is born. Mm -hmm. Because if he is born before the lifetime bond, mm -hmm. it already is dysfunctional. Mm -hmm. Because a child who goes into a lifetime bond, the day he is born, mm -hmm. there are certain procedures mm -hmm. that must be done even in the process of winning him. Yes. He is not breastfed mm -hmm. for the normal duration mm -hmm. of time. Mm -hmm. Mwana ano pinda pa lifetime of bond ayamwe mm -hmm. more than 12 months. Yes. Right. Ano rumuru wa eti wani ye. Mm -hmm. Obato ye nda kuna mngari. Mm -hmm. Wedu ano zoshika pa kubizu kwa pampa <laughs> kamira uyu. Achiti muromori muzi uku ya mazamura mai. Ukuchiru kwe nyamzana mai varu kubiza pampa chaka mira. Acha tombo pinda mlifetime of bond. <laughs> Ajita. Kuwa eden to zivere. To zikama ezenyu wa eden to zise imari. A parent can put his child to a lifetime of bondage. Mm -hmm. You are a, under a lifetime bond mm -hmm. towards God. Yes. That commitment, that vow mm -hmm. must be taken before the child is born. Mm -hmm. So that, number one, what the mother eats during her pregnancy mm -hmm. is now under control. Yes. She can't eat anything. Yes. If she eats the wrong meal during that pregnancy, mm -hmm. the child is no longer uh -huh. into that bond. Mm -hmm. The people who are midwives to receive this woman's child at birth, they are supposed to be holy women. Street women cannot receive that child yes. into this world. Mm -hmm. Which means if we are going to have dedicated children right now, mm -hmm. born among us, mm -hmm. the hospital is no longer in the question. All right. mm -hmm. A woman can't take a, a self to, to hospital mm -hmm. to deliver a child, mm -hmm. come back from the hospital and, and the dedicate that child to a lifetime of, of bond. It, 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 it becomes void. Mm -hmm. Void in ab, ab initial, initial. <laughs> void from, from the, the beginning. beginning. Yes. You understand? Yes. The children who are born into a lifetime of a bond mm -hmm. are received by holy midwives mm -hmm. who are trained to receive children in a godly way. Yes. We are not planning to have that program, so relax. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, among the Gentiles, yes. we are not going to have Children who are born into a lifetime of a bond, bond. a lifetime bond, mm -hmm. a, such a situation is no longer uh, available. Mm -hmm. But this is what happened to Samson. <clears throat> so only when a parent dedicates a child to a lifetime bond mm -hmm. before she is pregnant, mm -hmm. she is the only person, the parents are the only ones who can say, I give my child to God. Good. He doesn't come back home. Mm -hmm. Like I said to you, a vow is when you are unavailable to men. You are only available to God. So if you are given to God as a bond, mm -hmm. a bond child, mm -hmm. you are not available even to your parents. Mm -hmm. They can't send you to the grinding mill. Yes. So, mm -hmm. they can't send you to anything. No. Yeah. And so the church is a very important institution today mm -hmm. because this is where the only place, this is the only place that people can have a valid bond at. Mm -hmm. If it was an affidavit, every time people sign the bond papers, Mm -hmm. The venue should always be the church of the living God. Mm -hmm. There is no person who can yes. take a vow elsewhere. Mm -hmm. A vow is only taken at the temple of God. Yes. You understand? Yes. Mm -hmm. If you decide to work for the nation, mm -hmm. it's not a vow. Yes. It's called patriotism. Mm -hmm. We will bury you at the National Heroes Acre. Yes. Maybe we'll name a street after you. Mm -hmm. That's the most you will get. Mm -hmm. Don't confuse yourself. These are not patriotic acts. Mm -hmm. These are holy, uh, holy ordinances. Yes. It's an ordinance. 
Pastor Chuma. Yes. It's what? It's an ordinance. It's an ordinance. So parents, the father and the mother, mm. can decide we are offering a vow unto God. Mm -hmm. We are taking a vow and offering our child into a lifetime bond mm. to the service of God. Mm. The parents could do that. Yes. Or God could do that himself yes. without yes. the parents. Yes. Yes. How would God do that? God would come to a couple mm -hmm. and announce to that couple, yes. you are going to receive a child, <laughs> but he's my servant. Mm -hmm. There's nothing you can do to this child. Mm -hmm. He is not available to you. Yes. And Israel would not grumble. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. But then please slow down. Let's slow down. <laughs> so in the book of Judges, chapter 13, yes. we see an example of a bond child. Mm -hmm. Yes. A bond child is a child who is born into a vow mm -hmm. that was done before he's born. Yes. And he serves God for the rest of his life. Yeah. You understand? Yes. yes. And Samson mm -hmm. is the bond child mm -hmm. we are talking about. Yes. Mm -hmm. The parents did not take a vow. It was a bond, bond. announced by God. Mm -hmm. God can announce a bond. Mm -hmm. The condition is the bond must be announced before you get pregnant. All right. All right. You are going to realize why. Why right now you can't say, Apostle, persuade to your message, I've brought my child. I've put him under a lifetime bond. Once he is born, <laughs> he is no longer qualified. Yes. Because he was defiled mm -hmm. while he, is in, he was in his mother's yes. home. Yes. There are certain things your mother ate which makes you defiled, unfit yes. for the lifetime bond. All right. Yeah. All right, so let's listen to the angel in Judges chapter 13, verse 3. Yes. The angel speaks to Manoah's wife mm -hmm. to announce the birth of a born child. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto the woman. The angel of the Lord. Her. Someone is writing eunuch. No, this is not a eunuch. <laughs> Samson was not a eunuch. eunuch. <laughs> That's why he married so many Philistine women. He was yes. not a eunuch. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto the woman and said unto her, Behold, now thou art barren and bearest not, but thou shalt conceive and bear a son. Now therefore beware, I pray thee, and drink not wine nor strong drink, and eat not any unclean thing. For lo, thou shalt conceive and bear a son, and no razor shall come up shall come on his head, for the child shall be a Nazarite unto God from the womb, and he shall begin to deliver Israel out of the hand of the Philistines. Tell me from verse 4 and 5, Pastor, mm -hmm. what have you picked from yes. this bond issue? Yes. Why did we say you can't be bring your son to church mm -hmm. and put him under a lifetime bond? Yes. What have you learned so far? Yes, from verse 4 am I, uh, and verse 3 again, it shows the conception had not been done. She, she was not she yet was pregnant. Not pregnant. Yes. How going to work for six months? What do you want to do with her? Do you want to dedicate her? Yes. 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 It was before conception. Mm. And then in verse 4, they are now the conditions that we are being told of. Yes. Whose conditions in verse 4? That's God's conditions. Conditions for who? For, for the woman that will be carried. Aha. Mm -hmm. The pregnant woman yes. must carry pregnancy yes. according to God's, God's specifications. Yes. yes. What were the conditions for the woman? No wine. No. She mustn't drink wine. She mustn't drink strong She mustn't drink, drink beer. Yes. Yes. What else? There was no razor to be put on the sun. You, you have left a point oh, in verse okay. 4. Okay, I have left it. He must not eat any unclean thing. Yes. Samson's mother mm -hmm. was not to eat unclean animals mm -hmm. during her pregnancy. Yes. If Samson was going to be a born child. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Pastor Shuma, <laughs> what do you see in verse 5? Then now she can conceive. After fulfilling 
those uh, those conditions in verse four, then the the woman can now conceive and is going to be a son. Yes. And this son will have no razor on his head. The son will be a Nazarite ah, unto God. Ah, ah. Mm. Huh? Mm -hmm. And he's a Nazarite right from the womb. Right from, from the, the womb. womb. Mm. And do you now see that you can't be a Nazarite mm. if you are not a born child? Mm. Uh -huh. No, you can't. <laughs> yeah. 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 Can you see that? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. All right. I am sure everyone is imagining John the Baptist. Mm -hmm. He was born under the same Thank circumstances. Yes. Yeah. yes. But before we go into Luke chapter 1, mm -hmm. let us remember how Samson lived. Mm -hmm. He continued to interact with the Philistines. Mm -hmm. And it seemed like he fell in love yes. with their women. Yes. But the scripture was clear. Mm -hmm. God was seeking an occasion mm -hmm. to destroy the Philistines. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There is nothing useful in Samson's life to his parents. Nothing. There is nothing. Mm -hmm. Samson yes. was completely useless mm -hmm. to, his to his parents. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. But he was also completely useful to God. God. Amen. Mm -hmm. And this is why when you read the scripture, mm -hmm. the Bible talks about the death of Samson. Mm -hmm. Yes. How did Samson die? Akafase mm ko -hmm. Samsoni. Huh? Mm -hmm. Pastor Rengui, I... do you want to tell us how Samson died? Yes. Yes. The, if we may read from Judges chapter 16, 15. from verse 29. Yes. And Samson took hold of the two middle pillars upon which the house stood, mm -hmm. and on which it was borne up, mm -hmm. of the one with his right hand and of the other with his left. Mm -hmm. And Samson said, Let me die with the Philistines. And he bowed himself with all his might, mm. and the house fell upon the lords and upon all the people that were therein. Mm. So the dead which he slew at his death were more than they which he slew in his life. Yes. So when Samson spoke mm -hmm. in chapter 14, mm -hmm. he said to them, and said, I have seen a woman in Timnath of the daughters of the Philistines. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now therefore get ye for me to wife. Mm -hmm. But the father was not happy in verse 3. Yes. What yes. does verse 4 say? But, but, but his father and his mother knew not that it was of the Lord. Yes. <laughs> that he sought an occasion against the Philistines. For at that time the Philistines had dominion over Israel. It was of the Lord. Lord. Yes. Yes. The life that Samson lived was mm -hmm. for God. Yes. Amen. It was God who pushed Samson, Samson. Mm -hmm. to fall in love <laughs> with the Philistine women. Yes. Oh, yes. To find an opportunity mm -hmm. to fight, fight with the, the Philistines. Philistines. Yes. Mm. This is why the Bible says the dead which he slew at in his, his death, death. Yes. Yes. were more, more than, than they which he slew in his life. Yes. That's verse number 30b. Yes. Uh, Judges chapter 16. 16. Mm -hmm. Highlight that part. Mm -hmm. So the dead Philistines which he slew at his death yes. were more, more. than mm -hmm. the people he killed in his life, Samson. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is what. God wanted to achieve yes. mm -hmm. with Samson. Mm -hmm. Samson was supposed to kill more, more Philistines, Philistines on yes. his death mm -hmm. yes. than when he was alive. Mm -hmm. If you are not wise, you look at Samson, you say, how can a man live for women and then die and kill so many Philistines? Yes. He wasted his life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He never amounted to something useful. Yes. No, 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 no. Samson was useful to God. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. The birth of Samson Amen. What God, was God's strategy mm -hmm. to destroy yes. the Philistines. Yes. Yes. And God achieved what he wanted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Samson is not a child to Manoah and his wife. Mm -hmm. Samson is a child, child of God. God. Mm -hmm. 
So God said, he should not pour his hair. Mm -hmm. He must not allow a razor, a razor on to, his to shave his hair. Mm -hmm. He's a Nazarite. Yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. yes. This is what a vow mm -hmm. looks like. Mm -hmm. yes. So in the birth of Samson, mm -hmm. it's not his parents mm -hmm. who dedicated Samson to God. No. It is God, God who announced mm -hmm. and dedicated Samson to, to his service. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> Imond Zara Manae, Inan Guanzo Zara Mana and Zrayu, even Jim Jam Zara, as the Wang. I'm not Jam no better than I, a Jam waiter Manawang, Bondo Daini, waiters and Doda, Ovatova, Imongo Sara Murimum Kat, Makatarisan, Jamama Gatamas Vesa, Truth Waranere. Amen. So this is why when they tried to stop him from getting this timnat. It was not within their control to control the, they, their son. They, they felt like he's possessed with something. <laughs> How can you leave the daughters of Israel yes. fall in love yes. with the Philistine yes. women? Yes. What is wrong with you, our yes. son? Yes. <laughs> and imagine he was the only son there. Yes. Yes. <laughs> So he was under God's control. <laughs> Luke one fourteen says to Zakara the angel said, Thou shalt yes. have joy and gladness. Yes. And many shall rejoice at his birth, yes. for he shall be great in the sight of the, the Lord. Lord. Mm. And he shall drink neither wine mm -hmm. nor strong drink. Mm. He shall be filled with the Holy Spirit, even, even from, from mother's his mother's womb. womb. Mm. John the Baptist yes. was himself also a Nazarite. Right. He was a bond child. Mm -hmm. Verse number 8, Luke chapter 1. It says, and the child grew. John grew. And what's the strong in spirit? John grew and strong and grew strong and was the strong in spirit. And was in the uh, desert till the day of his showing unto Israel. Where was he living? In the, in desert. the desert. Why would the <laughs> son of the high priest live in the desert? Pastor Shuma? Yes. Muna anufononga chigara ku palace. Diyaru kunzaru kara ku desert. Yes. Indava. And what in the one He's a bond child. Mm. John was not a child of Zachariah. No. Yes. He was a bond child. Yes. Mm -hmm. And because, um, uh, uh, let me not talk this, uh, I will speak about it later. I want to ask you to, what is similar between the birth of John the Baptist and the birth of Samson? Mm -hmm. That proves that they were all bond children. Yes. Uh, I want to believe that what was instructed, Manoah's wife, was the same that was instructed to Elizabeth. And the way they came out from the womb, it is written that in, 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 in Judges chapter 13, verse 5, it says, For thou shalt conceive and bear a son, and no razor shall come on his end, for the child shall be a Nazarite unto God from the womb. We can juxtapose this, this part of the scripture with the same as what was said to 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 uh, to John the Baptist's birth in Luke chapter one verse fifteen. He will be filled from uh, his mother's womb. Yes, yes, mm. yes. Pastor Shuma, what are the similarities? Yeah, I've seen I've seen that uh, the 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 conditions. The conditions for for the mother that we saw in Judges chapter thirteen uh, that they shall be he shall not drink any strong drink yes neither wine no, neither one wine nor strong drink but it looks like in verse fifteen these are the conditions for the child yes not necessarily yes. for the mother for the mother mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. And also, we, in any case, we could say the mother was with the, with restrained from doing that mm -hmm. for the benefit of the, the child. child. For the benefit of the child, okay. Mm -hmm. Because yes. of the mm -hmm. umbilical cord transference. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. Let's go back to Numbers 30. Mm -hmm. So, um, there are two kinds of vows. Yes. 
Are you following believers? The first vow is a temporary vow. Mm -hmm. Yes. That lasts a specific period, period. of time. Mm -hmm. And then there is a lifetime vow. vow. We were discussing the lifetime vow. Yes. Mm -hmm. And this is the vow by which Samson was born. Mm -hmm. This is the vow by which John was born. Uh, John was born. Mm -hmm. Also concerning the lifetime vow, mm -hmm. there are also two aspects that should never be forgotten. Mm -hmm. okay. The person who goes into this bond mm -hmm. does not do anything. Yes. Either it's announced by God okay. or it's a vow taken by the parents yes. mm -hmm. of this child. Yes. So a lifetime bond is not something that you can enter into. Mm -hmm. So I get a pastor Rengut, right? Kutanga mangwana nda pinda mbond mm -hmm. ye kushumira mngari. Mm -hmm. Aji akuna shakadaro. Tuda mm -hmm. kushumira mngari kwa penyo wangu we say, mm -hmm. diri mu lifetime bond. Mm -hmm. Makato disqualify <laughs> udara. <laughs> In first Samuel chapter one, yes. Yes. we see a parent mm -hmm. taking a vow yes. that he puts his son into mm -hmm. a lifetime bond. bond. Mm -hmm. And this is Anna mm -hmm. yes. who made a vow yes. that made Samuel yes. a bond servant of God. Yes. So when we say bond servant, mm -hmm. don't love the description. Say, I am a bond servant of <laughs> God. You are not a bond servant of God. Yes. A bond servant is a servant in bond. Mm -hmm. yes. The word bond is what we are talking about. Yes. Mm -hmm. You have to have taken a vow. Mm -hmm. Someone must have taken a vow mm -hmm. that puts you into that bond. Into that yes. And the bond does not bind your body. Mm -hmm. It binds mm -hmm. a soul. Yes. Mm -hmm. First Samuel chapter 1. Let us see what Hannah said in verse 9. Mm -hmm. So Hannah rose up after they had eaten in Shiloh. It's about Hannah, yes. And after they had drunk. Yes. Now Eli, the priest, sat upon a seat by a post of the temple of the Lord. Yes. And she was in bitterness of soul and prayed unto the Lord and wept so. And she vowed a vow and said, O Lord of hosts, if thou wilt indeed look on the affliction of thine handmaid and remember me, and not forget thine handmaid, but will give unto thine handmaid a man-child. Then I will give him unto the Lord all the days of his life. Aha! Mm. Huh? Yes. She vowed a vow. Wow. Mm. Mm -hmm. Did she make a promise? It was it's a, a vow. vow. Pastor Chuma, is this a promise? It's a vow, it's not mm. a promise. It's not a promise. Mm -hmm. Believers. Yes. yes. Dedicated service yes. is not based on a promise. Mm -hmm. It's based on a, a vow. vow. Okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. She said, if you give me a son, mm -hmm. I'll bring him to the house of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I shall give him unto the Lord all the days, days of, of his life. life. What else shall happen to him? And there shall no, no razor so. come upon his head. Aha. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Can you see the similarity there, yes. Pastor Shuma? Yes. 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 Huh? Yes. yes. He's a Nazarite. Mm. He's a Nazarite? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> was not some, uh, Samuel a Nazarite? He was a Nazarite. He was a Nazarite. Yes. Let's see what he, uh, Hannah did mm -hmm. when uh, Samuel was born. Mm -hmm. mm. All right? Yes. Verse number 23. Mm -hmm. And Elkanah, her husband, said unto her, Do what seemeth thee good, tarry until thou have weaned him. Only the Lord establish his word. So the woman abode and gave her son suck until she weaned him. Yes. And when she had weaned him. When Anna had taken off Samuel, from the breast. She took him up with her. She took Samuel to come to the temple. Mm -hmm. 
with three bullocks with three bullocks and one ifa of flour and one ifa of flour and a bottle of wine a bottle of wine and brought him unto the house of the lord in shiloh aha and the child was young verse <laughs> 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 uh, 25 and they slew a bullock and brought the child to eli <laughs> and she said oh my lord is thou is thy soul liveth my lord i am the woman that stood by thee here praying unto the lord for this child i prayed and the lord has given me my petition which i asked of him therefore also i have lent him to the lord as long as he liveth he shall be lent to the lord and he worshiped the lord there <laughs> wow <laughs> uh, what have you learned pastor from hannah yes hannah fulfilled the vow that she had made in 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 verse 11 at first so when the child was born she had to go with the child to the priest and she fulfilled by giving the son to to the priest for in order for the son to save the lord is what she had said in her vow mm -hmm. it's a lifetime vow too because she said yes. all the days of his, his life, life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. do you think uh pastors this is a light matter no no <laughs> no it's not not at all am i especially in this case when hannah had never had a child before and then to give the son <laughs> totally <laughs> to God yeah. and surrender everything. Yeah. It's not a light thing that she did. Because it was another thing to make a vow and then another thing to fulfill it. Yes. And mm -hmm. it's not like she kept him at home no. and said that, yes, I won't be sending him to some errands or anything. Mm -hmm. But she had to take him to the, to, 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 to the Lord at Shiloh. Yes. To the house of the to Lord. To the house of the Lord. Mm -hmm. So you That's don't right. save a lifetime vow mm -hmm. in your house. No. You become an, a property no. of the temple. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, which means if we are going to have a, a child today mm -hmm. who is put into this lifetime bond, he must actually live among us. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, my. <laughs> and... Maybe something that I am seeing there, she had to win Samuel first. Yes. So that yes. Samuel won't be a burden to the house of God. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, I think. <laughs> but it's something that's interesting. That yes, yes, she yes. She had to win him, him first. Yeah. Uh, but beside the idea that Samson would give the priest a, a, a difficult time mm. when he starts yeah. to cry for milk. Yes. The other issue was that once he is given to the Lord, yes. the mother must disappear yeah. from the picture. Oh, yes. She can't continue to come to the temple mm. under the guise <laughs> that I want to breastfeed him. Uh -uh. <laughs> once you are it's dedicated to God, yes. no sight of it. Hannah anymore. So what is Hannah got on boy shallow with them prayers? Ano kuna to zogera kumba asina kuona Samson asi siri mwana wabo za Jose yes 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 huh this is serious it's serious it was serious am I my question believers is why was this never taught why are you hearing this for the first time yes for the first time for sure when you are in a bond. Mm -hmm. During the time, the tenure of that the bond, bond, you are totally unavailable mm -hmm. to everyone, including yourself. <laughs> you are unavailable to the world. You are unavailable even to yourself. Hey. 
So those rituals where parents want to meet with other parents yes. to celebrate the birth of a child, yes. mm -hmm. they never did those celebrations exactly. for Samson, for Samuel, mm -hmm. even for John, John the, Baptist. the Baptist. He's a yes. child of God, mm -hmm. a tite baby shower. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A born child, I threw a baby shower. You know the cheap pastor. <laughs> this was a baby shower. Welcome party. Yeah, a baby shower. Who came here to say pastor? Ne baby, welcome. Eh. Eh. Mne ngi chupa bere la kuya kwa mwana. Saka baby shower ni tu kumuka zaga shaka kura. Before eh. Muka zani kani pastor shaka shaka. Aku da kuno batsirwa. Ani gaji pua shower. Ani gaji pua shi. Jipo, je kuti aguno ba preparation ni mwana. Yes, I can. Yes, nego disa mai kubata mwana mche chika na chinga. Dio baby shower. Dio baby shower. Kuvuka zito kwa welcome part. Welcome, de kunge mwana hui. Hui ya mwana. Eh. Ah, we born the honey tree. I tree was just this. You don't do a baby shower or a welcome part for a born child. Eh, as when you ask. As when you. Mhm. Dio mwana. Mhm. Now. I hope you are taking these notes uh, seriously. The other aspect concerning the vow, mm -hmm. I said there's a lifetime bond yes. that is a product of a, a vow. Mm -hmm. You can make a vow mm -hmm. for a lifetime bond mm -hmm. and say from the, the child I'm going to give birth to, mm -hmm. I'm offering to God yes. as a gift. Mm -hmm. This child is going to be a bond child mm. every day of his life. Yes. Mm. As you know, Samuel married mm -hmm. and he had children. children yes. But because Samuel was a bond child, mm. all his children are also bond children. <laughs> all right. They are not free yes. <laughs> to do whatever they want. Yes. You get it? Yes. Mm -hmm. He eventually became the prophet of God, mm -hmm. the man who anointed Saul, the first king of Israel, yes. the man who anointed David, mm -hmm. the second king, king of Israel, Israel. Yes. the man who judged Israel mm -hmm. all the days of his life. Mm -hmm. That's Samuel for you. Yes. He was a born God child, child of God. Mm -hmm. So Samuel lived for God. Yes. yes. There's nothing that Samuel did for himself. Yes. If it was to happen today, mm -hmm. it was the priests at Shiloh mm -hmm. yes. who had to choose what education Samuel should go for. through. Yes. He yes. doesn't choose a degree for himself. Mm -hmm. He doesn't choose a school for himself. himself. All this was supposed to be done by the priests, mm -hmm. including Samuel's school fees mm -hmm. can never be paid mm -hmm. by Elkanah. Mm. It is the job of the church mm. to do that. Mm. So a bond child is not just an asset of the church. Mm -hmm. He is a liability, a responsibility of the church. Mm -hmm. To such an extent that at the time of Samuel's death, mm -hmm. it wasn't the family of Samuel that buried Samuel. Mm -hmm. Go into Israel right now. Samuel was not buried where his fathers were buried. Mm -hmm. right. Is a servant of God. Yes. Yeah. Wow. From birth to death, mm -hmm. it is God's church which handles everything Amazing. around Samuel's mm -hmm. life. But it must also be acknowledged that there were not many born children in mm -hmm. Israel. Mm -hmm. It's a tough call. Yes. Because like I said, this vow does not bind your, your life. Mm -hmm. It binds your soul. Yes. It is actually a tragedy for anyone to violate his vow to God. Mm. You put your soul eternally in debt to God. Mm. This is why Ecclesiastes chapter 5 mm -hmm. spoke about this in from verse number 4. Mm -hmm. Yes, it says, when thou vowest a vow unto God, yes. defer not to pay it. Do not fail mm -hmm. to pay whatever you vow to God. Yes. Why? For he has no pleasure in fools. Mm. 
pay that which thou hast vowed. What if I fail and I don't want to do it? Better is it that thou shouldest not vow than that thou shouldest vow and not pay. Six. Suffer not thy mouth to cause thy flesh to sin. Yes. Neither say thou before the angel that it was an error. When I vowed to give Samuel <laughs> to God, it was, it was an, an error. error. Wherefore should God be angry at thy voice and destroy the work of thine hands? This is what happens mm -hmm. when you violate a vow. Mm -hmm. We are still talking about the context of the law. Yes. The Old Testament. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is what a vow entailed. Mm -hmm. So there is also another aspect of this vow, believers. Like I said, there's a long term, a lifetime vow. Yes. That puts a child into a lifetime bond. Mm -hmm. But there are also short term vows. Okay. Yes. What are short term vows? Among the short term vows, you will find a long-term vow inside the short-term vow because outside the short-term vow, 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 there is a lifetime vow. Mm -hmm. okay. Like I said, the lifetime vow is made by a parent mm -hmm. on behalf of an unborn child. Mm -hmm. right. Or it is a declaration by God mm -hmm. concerning an coming child, mm -hmm. unborn child. Yes. Okay. God will say, there's a child coming. Yes. This is the life that he shall live. Yes. While I'm seated here right now, I wonder among us is if there is anyone who has already considered concerning a vow, Jesus Christ, our Lord, was a born child. <laughs> Our Lord Jesus Christ mm -hmm. was a born child. Mm -hmm. When we do our review, we want to see if ministers can guide you. What is the evidence mm -hmm. that shows that our Lord, Lord was a born child? child. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So you are not going to try and answer this one, right. pastors. <laughs> yes. Our Lord Jesus Christ yes. was, was a born child. child. Yes. You can't make a vow mm -hmm. and then turn around and say, it was an error. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it was a mistake. Yeah. I shouldn't have done that. Mm -hmm. I revoke my vow. Yes. I withdraw my vow. Wow. Mm. What should you vow and do, men of God? Because we have seen that a child who enters into a lifetime bond yes. is a servant of the church. church. Yes. So he comes to the church mm -hmm. and the church, the, the servants of God, the preachers, mm -hmm. they work with him. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. They, they tell him, this is what you want you to do. Mm -hmm. That is what you want you to do. Mm -hmm. So this one is a temple servant. Yes. yes. You understand? Mm -hmm. He is what? A temple, a temple servant. servant. He's a temple servant. Yes. Mm -hmm. He has no personal plans. Mm -hmm. You can't ask him, what do you want to do when you grow up? He has no <laughs> desires. <laughs> He's already arrived yes. where he wanted to be when he grows up. Mm -hmm. He shall be a, a temple servant mm -hmm. for the rest of, of his, his life. life. So there are two dimensions of vows. Okay. Mm -hmm. The first dimension of a vow is when you come and serve at the temple. Mm -hmm. It's a vow to serve God. Mm -hmm. So people would make a vow, for example, a two weeks vow. Mm -hmm. You go to the temple mm -hmm. and stay there yes. for two weeks. Mm -hmm. Are you getting this? Yes. yes. You go there for a month, you go there for three months, mm -hmm. you go there for the whole year, mm -hmm. you go there for the next three years, mm -hmm. you stay at the temple yes. and you serve God. Mm -hmm. Whatever the servants of God eat, they will allocate your own rations. Mm -hmm. You are going to get your own chambers where you are going to stay within the house of God. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
All these things I'm saying, they are going to require us to then explain why this burden. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Because we have not such a culture among us. Mm. Christianity doesn't understand this matter. No. People just come to church yes. and go home. Mm -hmm. home. Mm. And those who are said to be servants of God, in most cases, are just pastors. Mm. Yes. Pastors and overseers and bishops, they are all pastors. Remember, in Christianity, they don't know the difference <laughs> between a pastor and an overseer. Yes, yes. You can actually become a bishop and a pastor at the same, same time. time. Mm -hmm. And they promote pastors into bishops Bishop, yes. in other instances. <laughs> yes. They are so ignorant. Yes. You, you can't tell them that bishops are overseers. Yes. They are stewards. Mm -hmm. Pastors are ministers. Yes. They don't know about it. No. Yes. They love the word bishop. bishop. So they call themselves bishops. <laughs> I am Bishop T. D. Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> are you a pastor or are you a bishop? bishop? He says, I am both. Okay. It's the same thing. Uh, <laughs> we, we can't really spend the time on this one. Can spend the help archbishop. Ar Ar archbishop yeah. says. <laughs> so, this vow was not something that a specific tribe of Israel was required to take. Are you following? Yes. yes. Samuel was from the house of Levi. Yes. Samson was from the house of Dan. Jesus, our Lord, is pertaining to the flesh. Yes. He was from the house of, of Judah. Of Judah. Yes. Mm -hmm. All children of Israel were eligible to taking a vow. Mm -hmm. And similarly speaking, when you come to dedicated service, mm -hmm. all believers mm -hmm. are eligible for dedicated. coming to the dedicated, dedicated. service. Mm -hmm. The New Testament uh, uh, construction that replaced the vow mm -hmm. is dedicated, dedicated service. service. Mm -hmm. The second dimension under which a vow was taken was a vow was also an offering. Mm -hmm. okay. So when you we made a vow, you would come to the temple and speak to the priest yes. and say, for the next three farming seasons, mm -hmm. I commit half of my farm produce mm -hmm. to the house of God. Mm -hmm. Remember, a vow is made beforehand. Mm -hmm. yes. You don't come with money and say, I'm taking a vow, this is the money. Mm -mm. That's not a vow now. It's mm -hmm. just an offering. Mm -hmm. And I know Christians do what are called pledges. Mm. They are not what we are talking about. You realize the difference. You see, we used to, to make pledges in our church. No, a pledge is a promise. Mm -hmm. I promise to give money to church. The church is raising funds. I don't have it at the moment. I will bring it in the future. Yeah. When I get my salary, I will fulfill my pledge. A vow is not a pledge. Mm -hmm. A dedicated service is not a pledge. Yes. A pledge is a promise. Mm -hmm. A vow is a bond <laughs> that binds the soul. So, mm. hey. yeah. yes. You understand? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. So you can take a vow and say, for the following three months, all my salary shall be given to God. Mm. Yes. Hi. May God guide me here. Mm. Tell your neighbor, may God guide him. May, may God, God guide, guide him. him. Pastor Shuma, would, would you be free to share with us randomly yes. an amount that, that was your salary at some point yes. in, during your time when you were working in the out, out, outside the world? I want to use a, an amount of a salary to illustrate the difference between an offering and a vow. Yes. Yes. Let's say 2,000 US dollars. 2,000 US dollars. So let's say Pastor Chuma earns a net salary of mm. 2,000 dollars yes. mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. He decides that for the next three months, mm -hmm. yes. he is going to bring 500 dollars mm -hmm. from that 2,000 mm dollars. -hmm. Are you following? Yes. yes. It can never be a vow. Okay. Yes, it can't. 
<laughs> Pastor uh, Juma earns two thousand uh, dollars a month. Yes. Pastor Juma comes to church and says, "I want to give a dedicated amount mm -hmm. for the next three months. Oh, I'll be giving five hundred dollars mm -hmm. from my salary." Mm -hmm. I am saying today, it can never be a vow. I want to ask you two, mm -hmm. why does it not qualify to mm -hmm. be a vow? A fraction of your salary mm -hmm. can not make a vow. Why mm -hmm. is that? A, a, a vow requires the whole of yourself. <laughs> Which means <laughs> it, it, when it comes to... to because... As we were learning, Amai, you said you don't have control of yourself over anything when it's a vow, which All right. means... <laughs> All right, Pastor Chuma, you want to help here? Yeah? This, this, this qualifies to be a, a pledge, not a vow. And uh, if it was a vow, uh, what, what happens when you, you get fired from your job? or you retire or something like you that. You are arguing with yourself. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so. <laughs> you have presented an answer that you are arguing it. <laughs> yes. If you were following what I said, mm -hmm. I said whenever you took a vow, mm -hmm. you would be unavailable. Mm -hmm. Number one, to the world. Mm -hmm. Number two, to, to yourself. yourself. Mm -hmm. So... Taking so if Pastor Chuma earns two thousand, yes, and he gives five hundred to the to the Lord, mm. it means it means there's something for he you. has <laughs> set aside one thousand five hundred to you. himself. Mm. It actually means he is not available to God. Yes. Hey. Yeah. 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 That doesn't fit the criteria. It doesn't fit the criteria. <laughs> no. Yes. If Pastor Erengu is running a business mm -hmm. and after paying all his overhead expenses, mm -hmm. she ends up with $30,000 mm -hmm. as net profit yes. for the running month. Mm -hmm. She decides to give $20,000 to the Lord, Lord. Yes. Mm -hmm. and retains $10,000. Mm -hmm. She can't bring that as a vow. Mm -hmm. no. She is distributing... <laughs> To various <laughs> entities. <laughs> some money is going to God. God. Some, some money, money is going, going to some mm. other aspect yes. of mm. your personal life. Yes. It can so be an, an offering. offering. Yes. Mm. It can be a pledge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not a vow. It's not a vow. Mm. When she says, the next I'm taking a vow. Mm -hmm. Right now we are in January. Mm -hmm. If she says, I have a businessman of God. I want to take a vow. vow. Mm -hmm. Assuming we are still within the the, the confines of the vow system. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's now defunct. We now have a dedicated service. Yes. Mm -hmm. But we are still pursuing the vow the system. Vow system. Mm -hmm. I am making, I'm taking a vow mm -hmm. with my business. Mm -hmm. yes. How long is your vow? Mm -hmm. Pastor Rengui says, well, it's one month. Mm -hmm. She has taken a vow for one month. Mm -hmm. She is unavailable. Yes. The income from this business mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is unavailable to, to the whole world, mm -hmm. hey. even to herself. Yes. Yeah. Do you get the concept? Yes. 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 A vow, yes. it means unavailable yes. to mankind, yes. including yes. myself. Yes. Mm -hmm. Only available to, to God. God. Mm -hmm. Yes. So when when she takes a, in, a, a net profit, mm -hmm. All of it, including the cents. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If it is $30,000, 193 cents, 193 $31,000, 193 cents. A vow is made unto God. Mm. You don't take a vow to the church or to the men of God. No. No. That's why the scripture says it binds the soul. Mm -hmm. ah, yeah. Only God mm -hmm. can so put your soul so. into a bond. Yes. No man can do that. Mm -hmm. And you are going to discover also that the reason why shrines 
don't understand this. Mm -hmm. It is because they have no relationship with God. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. You yes. can't take a vow and take this money to a charlatan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These are not issues that are, are, can be done no. because uh, the consequences of violating a vow were dire. Mm -hmm. Judges chapter 11, mm -hmm. we are still pursuing this vow mm -hmm. in, in, in light of the Old Testament structure, mm -hmm. and we shall come back to the dedicated service. Yes. Jephthah is intending to go to war yes. um, to fight with the children of Ammon. Mm -hmm. What happens to Jephthah after he has prepared his armies? What happens in verse number 29? Then the Spirit of the Lord came upon Jephthah and passed over Gilead and Manasseh and over Mizpeh and, and, and of Gilead and, and, and Mizpeh of Gilead. Mm -hmm. He passed over unto the children of Ammon. And Jephthah vowed a vow unto Jephthah the Lord. Jephthah vowed a vow unto the Lord. And said, If thou shalt without fail deliver the children of Ammon into mine hands, then it shall be that whatsoever comes forth of the doors of my house to meet me when I return in peace from the children of Ammon shall surely be the Lord this, and I will offer it up for a bent offering. Can you see <laughs> that every time a vow is taken, mm. it is futuristic? Yes. 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 If you have $100,000 right now in your hands, mm. it can no mm. longer yes. be a vow. Mm. No. It's now an offering. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, hey. yeah. Take note of that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Every time a vow is taken, mm -hmm. it addresses what shall happen yes. in the future. Yes. yes. What about if I have a million dollars, men of God? Bring it mm -hmm. if you yes. want to bring it. Mm -hmm. It's an offering to God. Yes. Yes. We do have provisions, by the way, mm -hmm. yes. under which offerings are brought to God. Mm -hmm. This is a vow. This is mm -hmm. a vow. It concerns the time to come. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Vow, Baba, Dengua Zinoia. Yes. Yes. Can I read of Vono Gorot Marim Candy Babasa? Do not turn a vow with the salary and go raise it? No war on your room, my papa. I bore me a den would be she. Tos of Jack after two months, one of us. Why would I know? There's credit, Dagas, Dagas, Tingham bed, Quanda, who got a transport. Ah, Jephthah said, Whatever I shall meet coming from my house, I shall offer it unto the Lord. Yes. Verse 32. So, so Jephthah passed over unto the children of Ammon to fight against them, and the Lord delivered them into his hands. Yes. Mm -hmm. And he smote them from Aroah. Jephthah if, smote them from Aroah. Even till thou come to Minith. How many cities? Even twenty cities, and unto the plain of the vineyards, with a very great slaughter. Yes. Thus the children of Ammon were subdued before the children of Israel. The children of Ammon were defeated by the children of Israel under the leadership of Jephthah. Yes. What happened to the vow? And Jephthah came to Mizpeh unto his house. Yes. And behold, his daughter came out to meet him with timbrels and with dances. <laughs> so what was the vow? Whatever I meet first. Yes. yes. On my way back from the war, yes. if you give me victory, mm -hmm. I offer it to you yes. Yes. as a burnt sacrifice. Yes. And what does Jephthah meet mm -hmm. on his way back from the victory? His, his daughter. daughter. His daughter with the yeah. timbrels and dances. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. And she was his only child. She mm -hmm. was his only child. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Beside her, he had neither son nor daughter. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it came to pass, when he saw her, that he rent his clothes and said, Alas, my daughter, thou hast brought me very low, mm -hmm. and thou art one of them that trouble me. For I have opened my mouth unto the Lord, and I cannot go, go back. back. Hallelujah. Amen. Hey. I wish the whole of Ziklag mm -hmm. could imagine Jephthah right now. Yes. Mm. The only child that Jephthah had. Yes. 
I, I, I want to submit to you, church, that when Jephthah said, I will offer to God mm -hmm. whatever comes out of my house, mm -hmm. in his mind, he never imagined <laughs> that he was going to meet with his daughter. His daughter. No. Mm -hmm. he, he thought that he was going to meet with his oxen, yes. with his sheep, yes. with his gods. Yes. No, not with his servants. <laughs> there was never, never. before mm -hmm. a human sacrifice uh, okay. made okay. in Israel. Yeah. Yes. This is the, the first, first one. and last. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Outside the Jephthah the daughter, daughter, the only person offered on the altar we know mm -hmm. in the scriptures is mm -hmm. our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. 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 Why would God make and allow this daughter to make this mistake? In her mind, my father has brought his victory to the nation of Israel. Yes. Let me meet him yeah. mm. with the timbrels and the singing. Yes. Mm. Like we all know, we talked about, about this a few yes. days ago. Yeah. Women, Women come were... out to meet warriors yes. with the they dances and with the singing. Yes. Because they don't go to war. Yes. 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 She mm -hmm. doesn't know about this vow. She doesn't know about this vow. Mm -hmm. We will talk about it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. A vow is not publicized. Yes. <laughs> yes. People don't make their mm -hmm. vows to mm -hmm. God public. publicly. Once a vow is public, it is no, no longer, longer a vow. vow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. A vow is a secret mm -hmm. oath made unto God. God. That binds the soul. Amen. Mm. Amen. Hey. So the promise of Jephthah, according to verse number 31, mm. it shall be that whatsoever comes forth out of the doors of my, my house, house to, to meet me, me. Mm. when I return in peace from the children of Ammon mm. shall surely be the Lord's. Mm. And mm -hmm. I will we'll offer, offer it, it up, up for a bent bend offering. offering. It means Jephthah must build an altar, hey. take his daughter, daughter and bind her with the cords, mm -hmm. use a sword hey. to kill his daughter, yes. set her on fire, yes. <laughs> yes. and um. praise God <laughs> for that sacrifice. Hey. Hey. <laughs> that was so when Jephthah is met with his daughter, mm. he says to his daughter, Alas, my daughter, mm -hmm. thou hast bred me very low. Very low. Mm -hmm. mm. And thou hast be as one that troubles me, mm. for I have opened my mouth unto the Lord, Lord. and I mm -hmm. cannot go, go back. back. Mm. It is better for believers never to enter into the dedicated service until the Lord returns. Mm. And when the Lord comes, just like Paul, I'm going to say to the, to the, to the Lord on that day, Lord, I am innocent mm. of the blood of your people, mm. for I did not withhold mm. any mm. counsel mm. from you. I yes. taught them everything. Yes. This dedicated service, mm. I taught it. Mm -hmm. They couldn't do it. It's better mm -hmm. yeah. for you to make this vow mm -hmm. and fail to fulfill it. Ishano, we are Pamwea Wako Pagatris Kamunembo. Our Wakashiza Mari, Panish Query Javana Chukunamara. Acts chapter 20, yes. verse 26. Wherefore, I take you to record this day that I am pure from the blood of all men. I want to be pure from the blood of all men as I sit now. Mm -hmm. This is the reason why I am teaching this message. Yes. Yes. I want to be pure from all of your blood. Mm. How can I achieve that? For I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of God. Amen. If a preacher is taught by the Lord, mm -hmm. doctrinal issues, mm -hmm. secrets of the kingdom, mm -hmm. principles of the kingdom, yes. ordinances of the kingdom, mm -hmm. uh, 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 
judgments of the kingdom. Mm. And he withholds the truth. He doesn't preach it. He will be guilty. Yes. Because you can't do something that you are not taught. Mm. I have to teach it to you yes. for you to understand it. Mm -hmm. And when I teach you, you do it as we have taught you. Yes. Yes. Wow, 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 wow. wow. Jephthah said, I have made a vow unto the Lord. Mm -hmm. And I cannot yeah, go back. back. Mm. Of course, the daughter said, My father, if you have opened your mouth mm -hmm. unto the Lord, do mm -hmm. to me mm -hmm. according to that, that which proceeded. proceeded out of your mouth. Yes. For as much as the Lord has taken vengeance for you of your enemies, even of the children of, a, of, of wow. Ammon, mm -hmm. of course, she went. Mm -hmm. to be well with virginity for Two months. those months with their friends. Yes. Mm -hmm. Verse 39. And it came to pass at the end of two months that she returned unto her father, who did with her according to his vow, which he had vowed. Mm -hmm. And she knew no man. And it was a custom in Israel. What custom? That the, the daughters of Israel went yearly to lament the daughter of Jephthah the Gilead. Four days in a year. Four days for every year. Mm -hmm. The daughters of Israel With lamented one. the death the of Jephthah's Jephthah. daughter. It was something that became so popular. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the language of the scripture, mm -hmm. even the writers themselves were not comfortable. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. To describe how yeah. Jephthah offered his daughter yes. oh, yes. on the altar. Yes. <laughs> they just say yeah. according to. They, yeah. they, they circumvented <laughs> yes. the details. Yes. Yes. They yeah. simply said yeah. he did <laughs> according, according, to, uh, according, according to what to is written, yes. or what he had vowed mm -hmm. to the Lord. Mm -hmm. But Jephthah yes. sacrificed his daughter mm -hmm. to God. Yes. yes. Hmm. How many among us can imagine? Burning your daughter on the altar simply because you made a vow yeah, made to a God. Vow. And to God. <laughs> uh, wow. Right, right, right. I want to tell you, believers, either we must learn the true God mm -hmm. from the people who lived with him. Yes. Heard him speaking to them, yes. mm -hmm. operated under the counsel of his voice. Yes. <laughs> oh, we should agree that somehow God died along the way. There is no God at all. <laughs> Let's do whatever pleases us. Mm -hmm. yeah. There are two options for us. Mm -hmm. To live as though God no longer exists mm -hmm. or to come down and learn the manner of the true God. Mm. Yeah, am I? <laughs> I think... This is why at first you had to make the statement that do we really know God? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. When we learned before, I think even during the all night service when we were learning, we we then found out that death is not something fearful. As long as you know your God. Yeah. So yeah, to, yeah. to Jeff, that the people who lived according to God this way, uh, you can tell that they knew him. <laughs> but this is a scary God, pastor, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Am I? We, we want to understand mm. why mm. are the Gentiles so casual With. and non-committal, mm -hmm. non-challenged mm -hmm. towards God? It's Do you know, Kuti, to not generalize everything, yes. mm. everything is general yes. among the Gentiles. Yes. There are no specifics mm. and there are no certain strict yes. rules that need to be followed. Mm. Everything is based on what you think is right, mm. what you think is comfortable, mm. what you think is feasible. Don't stretch yourself... Our, 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 our religion is so comfortable. Mm. It's all based on, 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 on and convenience comfort. Yes. and comfort. Yes. Mm. Yes. Mm. Mm. How does a man yield a sword mm. 
over <laughs> an only daughter. <laughs> only daughter. <laughs> he had no son, no, no daughter beside child. this one. Yes. Mm. And we come back. Mm -hmm. We come back to the issue of the difference between the, the characters we find in the scriptures yes. mm -hmm. and yes. the character we have ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> Even when we look at our own children, yes. Yes. what kind of a child was Jephthah's daughter? Ah. Ah. Am I, Am I ah. <laughs> something else? You yes. tell your daughter, I want to kill you. Mm. I made a promise. Yes. I'm yes. now generalizing my language yes. to simplify it. Yes. I made a promise to God. Yes. The person or the item that I meet mm. first, mm. I'll offer it to God. Mm. Unfortunately, you are the first one, one. Yes. that I've met. Yes. I have to offer you my daughter. <laughs> yes. Your daughter says, if you have made a promise to God, yes. there is no way out. Yeah. Mm. yeah. <laughs> I ask you for two months yes. Yes. to mourn my virginity. Yes. And then I will come back. Mm -hmm. She goes into the mountains mm -hmm. with her friends. friends. <laughs> mm -hmm. Among those friends, friends. not mm -hmm. even mm -hmm. one suggested she skips the border no. to another country. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Imagine no. those friends of Jephthah's daughter yes. could have done a conte conte, yes. mm -hmm. bought there. A fake passport, yes. A, a, an a ticket. Yes. Mm -hmm. The next thing the scripture should say, Jephthah's daughter escaped. Yeah. She 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 sought for an asylum yes. in the kingdom of Assyria. Yeah. Yeah. She never returned. She is oh now oh, running a, a Twitter account, <laughs> and she's saying, "I ran away from a wicked, diabolic religion." Since when do people worship a God Which? who expects a human sacrifice? Hey. Nonsense. My rights were violated by that man, useless man. Yes. Can you imagine that? Hey. She, he didn't even consider that I was his only daughter. daughter. Mm. Mm -mm. Imagine the Jephthah's daughter mm. speaking on a live a broadcast <laughs> on YouTube. Hey. Explaining how he, her father <laughs> was an abuser of yeah. children. children. Jephthah yes. is a child abuser. Mm. Yeah. Jephthah and Gadea Shun Zadogu in this international court of justice. Yes. Yes. The society itself. Society, Pacheja, Egun, mm. Nurama Placard. Yes. Passina Jephthah. Passina Jephthah. <laughs> Passina Jephthah. Yes. President will announce how good it is. Banana church here, at the church here, yeah, yeah, Satan, Agada. And when the Satan is, ah, imi kai. The tower is here, kuti. Mukunda wa Jephthah, mu nu ere kara kuti giros. Kudoga kumbazo, kuchiziva kuti drugusque skwa pa choto. Don't buy wa kunamgar. Agadi kana zaro unguangaji itwe. Dino ziva kuta kuna kumwe kuri nani? Kudari kama mnuma Israel. Akuna kumwe kuna mngari. Kunze kwa mnuma Israel. Akuna mnuma Ruzi. Kuna ziva mngari. Kunze kwa Israel. Akuna mnuma mngari. Ano shanyira wa kafa. Sezwa keta mngari wa Israel. Dino kuna kuisikuwa pa arita na baba wangu. Asine kuzara kwe nguwa. Mngari ya chandira angari. Yes. Pano bere kavana titauri re kuti vana muruku zara ava iva ava na vinya vano bata mchuno ava titaura na ava hey okay let me ask my final question concerning the Jephthah story why did Jephthah not forget his vow you know when you go to war and you fight your enemy and you are victorious yes, you are so coming back big. home with so much energy and excitement mm -hmm. and zeal mm -hmm. and you are relieved you have redeemed the nation yes. from from being wiped out by an army mm -hmm. won't you forget your promises to god <laughs> uh, yeah let's remember ecclesiastes chapter 5 <laughs> verse 4 <laughs> there's no error <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Let's remember. Yeah. Yes. When thou vowest a vow unto God, mm. yes. defer not, not mm -hmm. to pay it, mm. yes. for he has no pleasure mm. in, in fools. fools. Yes. Pay that which thou hast vowed. Yes. Jephthah is a Gileadite. Mm. Yes. He is a child of Israel. Mm. These are the people who were taught the law from their infancy. Mm. Yes. 
they would never forget mm. such a great commitment yes. towards the God of heaven. Unokangana wavao ya ketu wakuna mwari. Unungu wajite yiko. Yes. Unga wako pembera, uji pembera, uviktiri. Se kunga unoko nakuru wa stereki. Magwara ano ti ishe akaesiva amu ni moko ma jefta. Saka jefta hai guna kupembera kushika kangani wavao. Ni kutu kwa haka ita vavao ndo kwa va victory ya jesu. You can't forget God. If you are a true child of God. Yes. Suffer not thy mouth to cause thy flesh to sin. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Neither say thou before the angel that it was an error. Wherefore should God be angry at thy voice? Mm. Hey. Pastor Chuma, yes. what do you want to say to our children concerning the daughter of Jephthah? Imagine if we had children who were half the caliber of the Jephthah's daughter. Yes. Mm -hmm. In yes. our homes. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Some of you, when believers are coming to do a sectional meeting at home, mm -hmm. you send your children away. Mm -hmm. They can't be around yeah. when people from church come to your yeah. house. Mm -hmm. You send them. You are not in Iwe nda unu ita mama umu iti kuneki do. Iwe nda unu sonza shibuwa shako kuna tailor. Muno sozo kwa kuma tukofu tukofu. Kana anu eche chivasi kwa. Ah, wana wapo. Wana wacho wana buda buda wana wana. Kwa wana zuno wanda. Ganti ite zedua hawa. Wana zozo kwa time time. Kuchika kunyazi iskwa. Ni mwana wawaka zara. Umwaka tukwa ni mwana akanzi. E, aka toru wa shukura akashati. Andi kwa nikuti tau. Mm -hmm. Asa itukwa, dimai wa chitukwa ni mwana. Mm -hmm. Inda kanga ndiri pamba ipapu. Mm -hmm. Mwana ye ya ni ngangaru kuma 21, 22. Dijibu vandamu tarisa ndikati. Ukazu itafuti ndiri panapa. Dichakurova zukuti. Mwana ye wa kwa hawa. Wajate zingi wa kufunga utinda pindi wana satani. <laughs> Nikuta unakumbora ilu wa upenyu wako wese. Hey. Andinga kute ndiri kutuka mae wako ndiri panapa. Mm -hmm. Ini ndino kurova. Awa satu wa mburu wa ziru kuhonega. Oba wako wana kukurova. Asi ndika kurova. Kana masemo na mburu wa teri la futi. Une wa utofungo yotu ndirimu nina wa satani. Uzambo shupamu. Mwana. Ajitaura mashoko. Ezi nyazi. Kuna mai waki. Ame wa chuo tuta. Ndoza hane itawu. He's very rude. Isu tineke jitaura muno mudishita. Aba na menyawa. Musawa rirere, mchikwama. Kadik, kadik, endai yuno teka chakati. Kadik, padik, padik, endai auti, muno tamba. Mwana anuda mbogaru wanae pasi. Uye mwana anuda kaucha. Kana shitaura ni wakuru, gagare pasi, ngafu gami. Yes. Wakuru wa shitaura nae. Shino wa jefu tao yu, ii, ii, ii. Kutu funge kuti munu. Alright. Baba wa jefta. Pando la tizotu mwana wawa wae mtrasta. Yes. Kumwende sa. Wendu hawa kutu kampandre. Kutano tenga kugrosari. Unoto dimanda mari sits. Kutu one kuta hapana. Shumwe shahitwa. Shawosina kutendera. Unofu kutu kamtendere kwa ita for two months. Yes. Two months guys. Ya kama. Wedu watiri kuzwara hawa. Aka shikiri wana seven zemanyi rasa tapinda mba. Ana nengaya kurova. Kutana kutizira ere. Abuda mba. Achenda kana utikubasa. Kana utikuchikoro. Unote sa mdemu kutina five nga nga mba. Niku ziva kutaha. Pansi sina wano. Sava hii mbuga zine gandare munu. Wa jefta aka puwa two months na baba wake. Jefta na kushewa ope. Agati ano zoka mwana wangu Ari mandara Aka mbude ari mandara Aka zoka ari mandara Two months Ina andini kukunye pera Anzati nda simba ushika ipapu So kutini kakunye pera Uti mwana nika mte nda hakune shamari zago For two months Ozo zoka Pasina hapo shu sacrifice kungwe ndoa haki Nchiru kwa hainda yiku Kwaizo zoka Andi kwa nisi Anzati nda tosu kwa nisi yesu Nekuti Type yeva na vachu watina. Yes. Hava siri yeva rumi magwara. It's true. 
When you mwana no after two, two months, Ari Ari Mandara. Yeah, Buddha ni kwete ni ma teacher kayo. Kwete na na teteva kayo. Aka Buddha ni shamari zake. Baba wakata uno zoka mfano I trust you, my daughter. You come back with your purity. Because if Jephthah's daughter had decided to sabotage her father, she was simply going to sleep with a boy and lose her purity and come back. Akate za mwoko mwongwe. Dara mdara da zoka. Taka zungu wana meet my boyfriend, Anon's Alex. Tati garatese. She would not be offered if she had defiled herself. She was going to be a filthy sacrifice. A sacrifice is needed to be pure mm -hmm. without a spot, yeah. without that, a wrinkle. Mm -hmm. So language. she played well for mm -hmm. those two months. Oh, yes. Yes. She never got herself drunk. Mm -hmm. She never allowed all the boys to touch her breasts mm -hmm. for those two, two months. months. For her to be accepted on the oh, altar. Okay. Pastor. Ah. <laughs> it's, 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 it's very grave. <laughs> Unita unita ngo shafu nzamari kuti dime re mara ina matuka na Jephthah ka taka pua mumwe. The God we worship is it the same with the ones that Jephthah worshipped in his time? Yeah yeah. Wako ane nda ujgoro mauzen. Aji zoka na four. Paka tupe maawa ziba. Ani gaba tu kwa zinga yote, ano tu mangu ma students ano mbata, ma teacher ane gaji mbata futi uchikoreko. Ano zoka cha achi pembele. Unozo wana ne raf, kuta asi siri inosendi mwanao. Ane zwa haku ziba zi siri zi zera raki. Mwari ngati ba siri. Tigore la rozi kwa chene kuna mwari. But this is an example of a vow. The Bible is clear. Jephthah did not make a promise unto God. Jephthah did not make a pledge unto God. Jephthah made a vow unto God. Tembimoyo says, So now we are seeing Christ who had to be crucified on the cross who was not defiled, whom God accepted. Kuzoka, ano zoka, haka asini mwana wakeo. Mwoy. Azi, azi na inoki, ano zoka ane mwana. Sezo, ziri two months, tongo tano zoka, two months pregnant. Chenet says, ah, haka buda hari mandara, o zoka hari mandara for two months. Shuno dadisa ezi. Eh, shuno dadisa, ziri kufunza wawe nyu imi. Ana brethren tembi kuti mi kura gati si ene zewe nyu i mi ma idzoka ere after two months muchi ziva kuti muda ku dead wa because you can't offer a living sacrifice it is put on the altar and then killed there this is why Abraham almost yielded the sword on Isaac in Mount Moriah he had to kill him first. Prince says, Avadzo, kivaka kwana, iyo vachiri shambadza, ni kujiani kapa social media. Elizabeth is clapping hands. Prince says, ya. Adonia says, ha, pane nyayap, pa generation ye du. Shadrick says, wenyu mwana anu zoka ere, ama, iya ini Facebook account, ini 100,000 followers. Mm-hmm. Ya. Prince says, Wanavano da kurai wa chokwadi. Sidney says, Hanzi ni umwe mkuru, Tukuraka asha kushika wati tas. Jeffrey says, So said though, We are learning people. Hanzi narudo, Aka chekirisa manjara kutawine wondo, Today's neighbors. 
e mane bazani ga kutukuchekeresa ai mbonzi sacrifice kuna mwari yeah it's amazing that we don't have that understanding also that sometimes even though we say everything should be based on scripture mm. there are times where god allows his servant mm -hmm. to do something on a sui generis basis okay yes on its own kind mm -hmm. something that has never, never happened before mm -hmm. it was the first time Mm -hmm. yes. for a son of Israel yes. to offer a, a human sacrifice mm -hmm. on the altar. But that's what God wanted. Yes. And God accepted it. Would you accept to see us doing something that has never been done before? <laughs> what are the questions that we could ask today? This is the vow according to the Old Testament yes. order. Mm -hmm. Let's finish reading Numbers chapter 30 mm -hmm. to explore the guidelines <coughs> concerning this vow. Yes. So there are two kinds of vows. Mm -hmm. A vow for service. Mm -hmm. I am coming with myself to the house of the Lord to serve God for a short period of time. Mm -hmm. Within the short period of, of time, it can be a very short period of time, or it can be longer. Mm -hmm. okay. You can save for two weeks, you can save for a month, you can save for two months, you can save for 10 months, mm -hmm. you can save for the whole year, you can save for more than one year. Remember, you don't just come to save, mm -hmm. you come first to make the, the vow. Mm -hmm. Okay. I am coming to take a vow for the service of the Lord beginning the month of March up to the end of December yes. 2024. Yes. This is when the vow is made mm -hmm. so that when you come for the service, you are already known because the house of the Lord must prepare mm -hmm. for the vow to be made good. Okay. They prepare. I think you remember what Hannah did mm -hmm. when she then brought Samuel mm -hmm. to, to the tent of, of, of congregation yeah. to the house, of the, house of the Lord. Let's read it again. Some may have forgotten. When you come to fulfill a vow, mm -hmm. the vow must not be unexpected. Mm -hmm. It must be known. Yes. There must be a preparation mm -hmm. when uh, you come to save. People must not say, what uh, what can we do for you? Mm -hmm. They must say, we were waiting for you. Yes. yes. Every time one comes to fulfill a vow, the house of the Lord must make ready. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because there are rituals, mm -hmm. there are ordinances mm -hmm. that are supposed to be done mm -hmm. yes. to dedicate you mm -hmm. to God. Hey. Hey. Aongo yonzi nono sakura panzap uto tiziku fulfila vau yangu ah ah akuzi kushandi siku ne church it's a it's an a bond unto God a bond of the soul unto God so let's see how Samuel was presented to God in the fulfillment of the vow verse twenty four again. And when she had wind him, when Hannah had wind Samuel, she took him up with her. She took Samuel to the temple with three bullocks. She brought three bullocks and one ephah of flour and one ephah of flour and a bottle of wine. A bottle of wine and brought him unto the house of the Lord in Shiloh, and the child was young. What did they do when Samuel arrived at the temple? And they slew a bullock. They slew a bullock. And brought the child to Eli. And brought the child to, to Eli. Eli. Yes. So the most senior servant of the Lord mm -hmm. must execute an ordinance of acceptation. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. 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 We will go into those finer details, maybe in the part two. Mm -hmm. Today we are just defining it. Mm -hmm. What is it? Yes. So they brought a bullock. Mm. 
So Samuel was not coming with a gift to God or an offering. Samuel was the offering. Mm -hmm. Yes. Remember, she was a bond child. Mm -hmm. It was a vow made by a mother, mother. Mm -hmm. to give him unto God mm -hmm. as a bond mm -hmm. child. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. But when you come to serve, to provide a service, mm -hmm. because there are two dimensions by which you make a vow. You make a vow for a service or you make a vow for an offering. Mm -hmm. yes. The vow for a service is also attached with a small offering mm -hmm. okay. by which this person who is serving is dedicated okay. to mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. In the case of the Old Testament, of course, she brought it through three bullocks yes. and one ephah of flour mm -hmm. and a bottle of wine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Imagine how what Tombo Pamunu Kunamari Samuel and dear Chipo Chirupo Kunamari. Anna Fan Otakurama Burma Tatu Foot. How long ago was Gosia Samuel Otto Zogagumba? Pano to Renema Rich was a new to Anna Sata Zogagumba. Yes. Equity Anna Pano Zokera Kumba. Anna Shika Jitty Choka de Mara Tambira Vauya. You don't just drop yes. Samuel and go home. Mm -hmm. This is why First Samuel chapter 1, mm -hmm. it says in verse number 25, they slew a bullock yes. and he brought the child to Eli. Eli had to receive Samuel yes. on God's behalf. Yes. Mm. yes. So the difference between whatever money you bring as an offering of everyday mm -hmm. church services mm -hmm. and this dedicated service offering, yes. we are going to look at replacing this vow system mm -hmm. we are exploring right now mm -hmm. is that you put your offering mm -hmm. into the offering basket. Mm -hmm. Isn't that we, what, what we do? Yes. You bring your money to the finance department mm -hmm. when you are giving your offerings. Yes. When we bring dedicated service, we don't use the basket. Wow. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't use the gun. Every time you bring an offering which is fulfilling a vow, Mm -hmm. Eli must be present. Hey. Hey. Mm -hmm. And then the, the ordinance is executed. Mm -hmm. I will demonstrate that. Mm -hmm. It's not for now. Mm -hmm. How do you present your man? Mm -hmm. This is my dedicated mm -hmm. service mm -hmm. unto God. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> What I am talking about right now mm -hmm. is the reason why Ananias and Sapphira died. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. It wasn't an offering. Mm -hmm. it, it was, was a dedicated vow. service mm -hmm. uh -huh. offering. This is why they were supposed to give all of it. it. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. What did I say about how you give it the difference between an offering and a vow offering? Yes. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's, it's, it's the whole of it because you are not available to the world or to your family yes. or yourself. to yourself. You are not available. Mm -hmm. You are not going to be considered. Mm -hmm. Are you getting this? Yes. 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 All right. Yes. Believers, are you still here? <laughs> <laughs> this is serious. So if you send your money, for example, you have got you, you, your vow is a lot of money. Mm -hmm. You can't bring it in, in cash. Mm -hmm. You are going to make a transfer. Mm -hmm. You don't make a transfer, then you call. Mm -hmm. I've, got, I've, I've made a vow and I fulfilled it. I fulfilled it. I don't owe God a dime anymore. I'm fine. <laughs> And man of God says, thank you, man of God, may God bless you. It doesn't happen like that. No. Yes. It has got its own ordinances. Mm -hmm. There has to be a proper meeting mm -hmm. between Hannah and Eli. Eli. Pando duwa msanga anu. Woku henda over samero kuna eri. Yes. Huh? Yeah. Yes. To the man of God. To the man of God. Mm. I wa. Aye wa murukuno noka. Luke chapter two. Mm -hmm. I just told you a few minutes ago mm -hmm. that our Lord was a bond child, child. Yes. and whenever a bond child mm -hmm. is now brought to God, God. he must be received. Yes. 
Yes. Just like Samuel mm -hmm. was received yes. by Eli. Yes. Jesus, our Lord, needed Lord, also to be received <laughs> at yes. the temple. Yes. <laughs> Mm. All right, all right, all right. Yes. Verse number 21, Luke chapter 2. <laughs> and when eight days were accomplished for the circumcising of the child, his name was called Jesus, which was so named of the angel before he was conceived in the womb. And when the days of a purification according to the law of Moses were accomplished. Yes. They brought him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. <laughs> 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 yes. They are going to say it's no longer practical. Mm. It's an Old Testament issue. Mm. It's a lie. Uh, yes. Is it not a lie, Pastor? It's a lie. <laughs> it's a lie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Why did they bring Jesus to the, the temple? temple? Huh? Verse 23. Verse 23 says, as it is written, no, no, no. Read verse twenty-two. Two, yes, and when the days of a purification according to the law of Moses were accomplished, yes, they brought him to Jerusalem. Why did they bring Jesus to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord? To present to him to, to the Lord. To, the Lord. to the Lord. <laughs> That's the bond child is presented to the Lord. Every time a bond child is mm -hmm. is is brought, mm -hmm. he must be presented. To the Lord. Yes. Let us see who received him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every male that opens the womb shall be called holy to the Lord. Yes. And to offer a sacrifice according to that which is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. Yes. And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon, and mm. the same man was just and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. First 27. And he came by the Spirit into the temple. Simon came by the Spirit into the temple. And when the parents brought in the child Jesus. When Joseph and Mary yes. brought in the child Jesus. To do for him after the custom of what the What did Simon do? Then took he him up in his arms and blessed God and said. <laughs> <laughs> what did Simon do? Yes. He, he took, said, give it to me. Yes. He paid him one out. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. This child is a bond child. Yes. yes. He doesn't belong to you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. He's not going to stay with you. Yes. He's a temple asset. Mm -hmm. Yes. And this is why when Jesus started his ministry, he never went back home. No. And people were wondering, why can't you go home? Mm -hmm. We know you are a pastor. Yes. We know you are a church man. Mm -hmm. But you have mother and father and brothers. Mm -hmm. Jesus needed to go home gradually, regularly. Yeah. After every few weeks, mm -hmm. he says, I miss my mom. Mm -hmm. And so Mother Mary will say, my son is back. He's a pastor. Mm. We are slaughtering chickens <laughs> to celebrate uh, the holidays mm. with my son. My mm. firstborn child is here. Yeah. He never went back home. Aye. Just like John, mm. he was in the desert mm. until yes. the showing of him to Israel. Mm. That's a born child. Mm. So he is presented to the, the Lord. Lord. But someone... Mm -hmm. representing God mm -hmm. in the temple yes. must receive him. Yes. 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 So Simon received Jesus mm -hmm. from a, yes. a Simeon. Yes. He said, give it to me. Yes. He blessed God. Yes. yes. So... Let's go to Numbers chapter 30. Let's start afresh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Moses spake unto the heads of the tribes concerning the children of Israel, saying, This is the thing which the Lord has commanded. If a man vow a vow unto the Lord, or swear an oath to bind his soul with a bond, he shall not break his word. He shall not break his word. Mm. Did Jephthah break his word? No. no. Jephthah did not. Did yes. not. Which means Jephthah exactly uh, followed yes. to the to the dot yes. Yes. requirements specified in yes. Numbers 30. Yes. yes. He shall not break his word. Yes. He shall do according to all that proceeds out of his mouth. Mm. Yes. Yes. 
If a woman also vow a vow unto the Lord. Now, I want you to remember that chapter 30, verse 2 begins by saying, if, if. a man, mm -hmm. which means the rules of the vow mm -hmm. are different. different. Mm -hmm. They don't apply to men and women the same, the same way, way, in the same church. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's where we are reading the whole chapter. Mm -hmm. The rules that govern the men, they are in verse number one. Mm -hmm. They are not difficult. Yeah. But let's see how it applies to women. To woman. If a woman also vow a vow unto the Lord mm. and bind herself by a bond. Mm. It's a bond. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Being in her father's house in her youth. She's a young woman. Yes. She's a virgin. Mm. She's not married. Yes. Yes. She is living in her father's house. Mm -hmm. Yes. What happens? And her father hear her vow. Her father may hear about this vow. Mm -hmm. And her bond wherewith she has bound her soul. Mm -hmm. And her father shall hold his peace at her. Mm -hmm. Then all her vows shall stand. And every bond wherewith she has bound her soul shall stand. But if her father disallow her in the day that he hears, not any of her vows or of her bonds wherewith she has bound her soul, shall stand mm. and the Lord shall forgive her because her father disallowed her. So a girl cannot make a valid vow mm -hmm. or she, can she cannot take a valid vow mm -hmm. or she cannot make a valid bond yes. by herself without a father's approval. Mm -hmm. The right thing is for a daughter to seek permission mm -hmm. from her father mm -hmm. before she comes yes. to take this vow. This vow. Yes. We are not going to be using the word vow when we apply this to the New Testament. Mm -hmm. yes. We are going to apply the word uh, dedicated, dedicated service. service. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um... So you say, I'm going to make, I'm going to commit to the dedicated service. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. yes. And whatever you are going to do is going to be described not as a vow. Mm -hmm. It is not going to be described as a vow. Mm -hmm. It is going to be called a bond of commitment. Mm -hmm. okay. It's still a bond, but it's not a bond based on the vow. Mm -hmm. It's a commitment. Okay. I dedicate myself, mm. and this is the commitment mm. I am going to make. Mm -hmm. And your commitment is as valid as a vow, mm. because we are not allowed to take an oath in the New Testament. Mm. But we can commit ourselves. Mm. And I'm going to read maybe two or three scriptures where such commitments were made without necessarily using the word vow. Okay. okay. Let's remember, it's not a promise. Mm -hmm. It's a bond. Yes. Mm -hmm. It means it's legally enforceable mm -hmm. by God. Mm -hmm. And the reason why it's superior to a promise, it is because, number one, it has consequences. Mm -hmm. Number two, your soul will be indebted to God mm -hmm. if you default yes. on this bond. Mm -hmm. So in the case of a woman, a young woman, who is not married. She has no power to make a valid vow, in brackets, commitment, because she's a woman. Her father must ratify mm. that bond. Yes. So she must ask people for permission before she comes to the house of the Lord yes. to make that commitment. Yes. If for some reason she finds herself having made this vow, mm without speaking to a father. Mm. When the father hears it, the father can reverse that vow mm -hmm. without consequences coming upon this girl. Mm. Yes. The Bible says, she, the Lord shall the forgive her yes. because her father hath yes. disallowed her. Yeah. God will forgive you if you made a vow and you are living with your father mm. But then your father hears about it mm. and your father disallow your vow. Mm. Your vow is now invalid. Yes. Mm. If it is a vow for service, you don't serve anymore. Mm -hmm. You stay in your father's house. Yes. Yes. If yes. it is a vow to give an offering, mm. you don't bring that offering anymore. Mm -hmm. It is no longer obligated. Are you following? Yes. 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 So 
I just want to answer a question before it comes. There, there, there are people who are going to say, what about those who no longer have living fathers? Mm -hmm. My father died. I now live with an uncle, my father's brother. Mm -hmm. I now live in, uh, with an uncle, my mother's brother. Mm -hmm. Well, the scripture is clear. Mm -hmm. The scripture knows about uncles mm -hmm. and aunties mm -hmm. and grandfathers and grandmothers. Mm -hmm. If your biological father is no longer alive, mm -hmm. your uncle cannot disallow your vow. Right. You understand? Mm -hmm. Your uncle cannot disallow your vow. Your your vow. vow. If your father died, you are living with an elder brother. Your elder brother can have a fatherly responsibility over you, but she cannot disallow your vow. Mm -hmm. And this applies also to those uh, uh, women who probably were married, but they come back to their father's houses. Yes. Mm -hmm. Verse number six. And if she had it all in husband. If a woman is married. When she vows. When she takes a vow. Or uttered what out of her lips. She binds her soul with words from her lips. Wherewith she bound her soul. Yes. And her husband heard it. Your husband hears it. You have made a vow to God. And he held his peace at her in the day that and he And your husband it. says nothing the day he hears you made a vow. Then her vows shall stand. Your vows shall stand. And her bonds wherewith she bound her soul shall stand. Okay. Mm -hmm. But if her husband disallowed her on the day that he had it, mm. then he shall make her vow which she vowed, and that which she uttered with her lips, wherewith she bound her soul, of none effect, mm -hmm. and the Lord shall forgive her. Mm -hmm. So a married woman mm -hmm. cannot take a vow or make mm -hmm. a vow mm -hmm. without the approval of her husband. Yes. Yes. Well, it's my money, I, it's my salary, <laughs> I, I, I work for myself. <laughs> God will never violate one principle to enforce another principle. No. We taught the principles that govern the marriage. The husband is the head of the family. Mm. And look at this scripture. Mm -hmm. It is God who appointed the man yes. to be the head of the family. Yes. God could have said, I'm senior to your husband. Mm -hmm. If it is concerning me, your mm -hmm. husband has no say. Mm -hmm. God is seemingly <laughs> submitting yes. to the rule that yes. governs the marriage. Yes. Yes. God still wants your husband to approve mm -hmm. the vow that a, a, a married woman can take. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. But there is a catch to verse number seven and eight. Mm -hmm. okay. If you tell your husband on Monday mm -hmm. that you made a vow mm -hmm. and your husband remains quiet on Monday, mm -hmm. then on Tuesday your husband says, I thought about it. it. I think I don't want you to do that which you vowed unto God. Mm -hmm. Your husband has lost what the is. room. Mm -hmm to decide whether the vow should stand or, or not. not. Mm -hmm. Because the scripture says, the In day, day yes, that he had but died. if a husband disallowed it on the day mm -hmm. that he, he had, had it, it. Mm -hmm. then he shall make that vow of none effect. Mm -hmm. Yes. Which means if your husband then talks about it a week after, mm -hmm. he no longer has authority. Nah. Mm -hmm. The day he hears it, is the, the day he must, must make a decision. Yes. Can the vow stand or not? Mazona. Mm -hmm. mm. Yes. Mazona, let's go verse 7, Pastor. Yes. 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 So, yes. like we said, the vow is in two dimensions. Mm -hmm. It is a vow of a service mm -hmm. or it's a vow of an offering. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the vow. Yes. Mm. Mm. My married women, oh yeah! My na Lord, Sisurdo. Lord, in today we talk about that we mono shumira we tell me we come and we say, then this popano. Now God wants the men to know mm -hmm. because some of the wife duties require the woman to be available to her husband on a daily basis, yes. mm -hmm. and if she commits. To go and serve at the temple, mm -hmm. she won't be coming back mm -hmm. 
-hmm. every day to prepare mm -hmm. meals mm -hmm. for this man. Mm -hmm. The woman is not going to be available. Mm -hmm. Remember, the vow is, it means available only to God. Mm -hmm. So the husband can call, where are my gray socks? Mm -hmm. The woman will say, hold yourself. I am not available. <laughs> find your socks. If you can't find them, buy when? new ones. <laughs> I will only answer these questions <laughs> when I am done with my vow. Yes. You understand? Yes. Mm -hmm. If it is your salary, remember, if it is a vow, you have to take all of it. Mm -hmm. And your husband can't tell you that he won't be giving you bus fare to work mm -hmm. after you fulfill your vow. Mm -hmm. There are responsibilities mm -hmm. associated with the fulfilling a vow. Mm -hmm. And a woman has little room to maneuver herself mm -hmm. because she is under the authority of the man. That's the doctrine of Christ. You are the one who goes to work, it's your money. But when you are a married woman, you are not entirely in charge mm. of what happens to your salary without your husband's uh, approval. Mm. A proper man will not use a, his, his wife's money because he is the head of the family. But a proper woman cannot also claim to be having full autonomy over those affairs because she is married and she knows what the word marriage means yes. from a doctrinal perspective. Mm. So this is how a married woman Amen. approaches this vow. Mm -hmm. Verse 9. But every vow of a widow and of Every her, vow that a widow makes. Yes. And of her that is divorced. And her that is divorced. Wherewith they have bound their souls. They shall stand. Against her. Because they are not bound. Yes. Mm -hmm. A divorced woman. Mm -hmm. Or a widow. A widow. A widow. Yes is not bound by any man's authority. She is mm -hmm. on her own. Mm -hmm. She is no longer a child living under her, husband, her father's house. Mm -hmm. She is no longer a wife right. who lives under her husband's law. Mm -hmm. She can make a valid vow which does not need validation mm -hmm. yes. from either the father or the husband. Mm -hmm. Verse 10. And if she vowed in her husband's house, or bound her soul by a bond with an oath, and her husband had it, and held his peace at her, and disallowed her not, then all her vows shall stand, and every bond way with she bound her soul shall stand. Yes. But if her husband has utterly made them void on the day he had them. Take note mm -hmm. of the language. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The husband can say, you have made a vow, Without seeking my approval, mm -hmm. I disallow this vow yes. the day I hear about it. Mm -hmm. What shall happen? Then whatsoever proceeds out of her lips concerning her vows or concerning the bond of her soul shall not stand. Her husband has made them void and the Lord shall forgive her. Yes. Mm -hmm. Every vow and every binding oath to afflict the soul, her husband may establish it or her husband may make it void. Mm -hmm. But if her husband altogether holds his peace at her from day to day, then he establishes all her vows or all her bonds which are upon her. He confirms them because he held his peace at her in the day that he had them. But if he shall anyways make them void after that he has had them, then he shall bear her iniquity. Do you hear that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the husband was quiet mm -hmm. when you told him on Monday. Yes. And then on Tuesday, your husband comes back from work. Mm -hmm. He says, I have thought about it again. Mm -hmm. I disallowed that vow mm -hmm. that I had approved yesterday. Mm -hmm. The woman is now bound by the law of God yes. mm -hmm. to fulfill that vow. Mm -hmm. yeah. If she doesn't, she shall carry her yeah, iniquity. iniquity. Why doesn't God want a man to change position? Mm -hmm. Because he is an unstable soul mm -hmm. who can't make a decision mm -hmm. which he can stand by mm -hmm. for more than two days. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So God doesn't want unstable souls. Mm -hmm. To make vows. Yes. Sometimes we meet such situation yeah. where a person comes to you and says, I want to give this. And then he comes later and says, 
I think that was an overreaction. You are an unstable soul. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says, if you make a vow and then start to try and say, I want to revoke it, it was an error. Ecclesiastes chapter, chapter 5, five says, mm -hmm. go to destroy the work of your hands. Yes. You can't say it was an error mm -hmm. because it is actually foolish yes. to try and revoke even a pledge or a promise or a vow mm. that is done to God. Mm. Whatever you say you want to do for God, mm. you can't say you are reversing it. No. It doesn't apply only to vows. It applies to everything that people commit to give to God. Mm -hmm. Yes. But if he shall anyways make them void after that he had them, then it shall be a iniquity. These are the statutes which the Lord commanded Moses between a man and his wife, mm. between the father and his daughter, yes. being yet in a youth, in a father's, father's house. house. Mm -hmm. So we have read Numbers chapter 31. Chapter 30. Chapter, chapter 30, sorry, from verse number 16 mm. to mm -hmm. define the vow mm -hmm. from the law of Moses mm -hmm. perspective. Mm -hmm. Now remember the law of Moses bound only the Jews to follow it. Yes. Mm -hmm. And this is why we kept on telling you the New Testament version of the vow mm -hmm. is dedicated service. Mm -hmm. Pastor Shuma, yes. what have you understood about the particularity of God in distinguishing the applicability of this vow to men and women? Why is God so particular to say, the men approach this vow this way, mm. but the vow applies to women this way. Mm. Why do you see it like that? I, 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 I'm seeing order. God is a God of order. He is not a God of disorder. And the, the, the order has always been that the man is the, is the head of the family. Yes. And so the woman reports to the man. She cannot ma make a vow. Uh, if she makes a, 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 a vow by herself, she has to run it by the husband to seek approval from the husband. But if she, 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 she's, a, if she's a girl or she, she, she hasn't got a husband, she's not married, she's under the, the guidance uh, of or, or, or the keep of the of her father, then the role of the husband is taken by the father. So this girl has got to get authority uh, or approval from her father. But when it's a widow or a divorced woman, then there's no man involved there. They they can make their their, their vow and have a bond of their soul with God without any man approving of it. Yes, yes. Thank you, Pastor. Pastor uh, Erengui. Yes. Why do you think even the charlatans who preach the prosperity gospel and collect tithes, mm -hmm. they never tried to take money using the vow? I think it's it's because they they don't even know the system. They are ignorant of these things because if they knew it, uh, if I consider the way they love money, <laughs> they could have used this maybe as an advantage to, to them, collect all your salary. To collect yes, yes. <laughs> the scripture is itself complicated. Yes, ah, it complicated. is complicated. It's complicated. Yes. It needs prior knowledge. Oh yes, yes. to delve yes. into all the scriptures mm -hmm. which we have opened so far. Yes. yes, believers, we hope you are enjoying. One may ask, we are Gentiles. Mm -hmm. Why are you showing us a scripture concerning vows mm -hmm. which only Israel yes. was going to follow? Is there any scripture where God talked about Gentiles mm -hmm. also taking this vow? Mm -hmm. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Let's read Isaiah chapter 19. Verse 19 to 21. In that day, there shall be an altar 
to mm. the Lord yes. in the midst of the land of Egypt mm -hmm. and a pillar at the border thereof to the Lord. Mm. What is God saying there? He wants to set up an altar mm -hmm. in Egypt. Mm -hmm. Huh? Pastor Shuma? Yes. <laughs> Why would God want to put an altar okay, in Egypt? In, Egypt? Yes. in a gentle land. Are mm. not Egyptians Gentiles. Gentiles? They are Gentiles. Yes, they are Gentiles. Mm. You understand, Pastor? Yes. yes. The setting up of an altar in Egypt mm -hmm. is a commitment by God mm. to right. bring the temple, temple. in Egypt. Egypt. Right. Yes. Because the altar is a temple instrument. Yes. Yes. You find an altar inside the, the temple. temple. Yes. You understand? Yes. Mm -hmm. What God was simply saying there was, I'm going to bring the gospel mm -hmm. to the Gentiles. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. You understand? Yes. Mm -hmm. So when you look at Galatians 3, verse number 28, it tells us that there is neither Jew nor Greek, Greek. Mm -hmm. there is neither bond nor no free, free. Yes. there is neither male, male nor female, female. Yes. for you are all one, one in, Christ in Christ Jesus, Jesus. Yes. Yes. which means we are the Gentiles mm -hmm. that Isaiah prophesied about. Yes. Amen. God was going to bring the altar mm -hmm. of the blood of Jesus yes. to the Gentiles. Yes. Yes. Verse 20. Yes. Now a mediator. We, we are already in Isaiah chapter oh, 19. Isaiah pastor. Chapter. <laughs> and it shall be for a sign. The and altar. For a witness. Mm. The altar of God. Mm. Mm -hmm. The altar. Remember, verse 19 was talking about, about the, the altar. altar. Yes. Yes. God shall put an altar in Egypt. Yes. Yes. So verse 20 says, That altar mm -hmm. shall be a sign. Yes. Mm. And for a witness yes. mm. unto the Lord of hosts. Mm. Where? Yes. In the land of Egypt. Egypt. Yes. For they shall cry unto the Lord because of the oppressors, and he shall send them a savior and a great one, wow. and he shall deliver them. Yes, yes. And the <laughs> Let's continue. And the Lord shall be known to Egypt. The Lord shall be known in Egypt. Did you know that? <laughs> Did you know Egypt that God shall, shall be, be known, known in, in Egypt? Egypt. Yes. yes. And the Egyptians shall know the Lord in that day. The Gentiles shall Amen. know the Lord in that day. Amen. And shall do sacrifice and oblation. The Egyptians. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, la, la. Yeah. Pastor, Am I? what shall the Egyptians do? <laughs> they shall do sacrifice and The Egyptians and oblation. shall do sacrifice and, and oblation. oblation. Yes. Yes. Yeah, they shall vow a vow <laughs> unto the Lord and perform it. Ah, la, la. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Pastor, what do you pastor you tell us? Yeah. How do you feel about Isaiah 19? Apostle, uh -huh. I, <laughs> I just want to thank God for this because it has brought out that uh, question that we had posed to say, why uh, uh, was this meant for the Jews only? Because generally we have learned that the law was never meant for the Gentiles. Yes. It was for the Jews. Mm. And then uh, to say, how does this apply to the New Testament, mm. to the Gentiles? Uh, do we have this law again? especially the law that we are learning about of making vows. Mm. And it is clear in the scripture, yes. especially in verse 21, 21, where the Lord is saying, it shall be known to Egypt, and the Egyptians shall know the Lord in that mm. day, and shall do sacrifice and oblation. Mm. Yea, they shall vow a vow unto the Lord and, and perform it. it. Aha. And a vow ah, shall be performed. Ah, popa performer. Yes. Marari kuti, mm. kana vangeri rainda kuwa eden. Mm. Eh. Vacha fanyi wa foot wa eden. Mm -hmm. Kuita vow wow. kuna mngari. Vago izadzi sa. Yes. Ha? Yes. Huh? Perform it. Hey. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. But perfect. now the Gentiles, they all talk about the daf daf. They are doing back to sender. <laughs> Nobody has taught them about the vow. Well, mm. But Isaiah saw it happening. Mm. The Lord shall be known to Egypt. Egypt. The Egyptians shall know the Lord. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
How come you walk around saying you know God, God. and yet you have never, never known God. about the vow? Hey. You have seen? Hey. 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 Bano ziva je Christmas. Chesa ka zvaro obzwa 25 December. Ah zvimo manje magware zvo. Zviri magwaro ndizvo zvizvo. Zviri pa pa izvo. Hey. So I read this scripture at the right time. Before we cross over to address the vow, its application to the New Testament church. Because it is much more and majorly populated by Gentiles. All right. Who have a, 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 a preponderance, a, 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 a desire to always cite the law ended card? Murewakapera, the vow zakapera. Yes, the vow no longer functions. Yes, but the doctrine still applies. Yes. Mm -hmm. Look at us right now. Mm -hmm. We talk about the priesthood of Christ, mm -hmm. which means. Even though the priesthood of Aaron ended, yes. but the priesthood it did not still, end. Yes. The doctrine of the priesthood mm -hmm. continues. Yes. 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 We say we no longer offer the blood of animals, mm -hmm. the blood of bulls, mm -hmm. the blood of heifers, yes. the blood of pigeons. Yes. No. It is true yes. that era ended, yes. but the but doctrine this. of the blood is yes. still around. Amen. Amen. We still use the blood. Yes. We still need the, the blood. blood. Yes. The scripture is clear. Yes. We have an altar mm -hmm. whereupon they have no right to eat, to eat that it. safe tabernacles. Yes. For the the bodies of the animals which is, whose blood is brought into the sanctuary by the high priest for sin mm -hmm. are burned it without the camp. Yes. Yes. So you look at Hebrews chapter 9, mm -hmm. verse 13 to 15, yes. it talks about redemption. redemption. Through mm -hmm. the blood of Christ. Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. So the priesthood of Aaron ended, ended. Mm -hmm. but the doctrine of the priesthood, priesthood. Did, did not end. end. Yes. In the New Testament, we have the priesthood, priesthood. not of Aaron, no. but, but of Melchizedek. Yes. Mm -hmm. The doctrine of the blood, yes. redemption yes. by blood, yes. did it not did end. end. No. What mm -hmm. ended was the blood of animals. of animals. Here we have the blood of Christ. Yes. Amen. The testam the 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 testatorship of Moses ended, but, but the doctrine of testatorship yeah. did not, not end. end. Christ is the, the testator, testator of, of the new, new covenant. Testament. Amen. You understand? Yes. The law of Moses ended. Mm -hmm. The law of God of continues. Amen. Yes. God gave promises to Israel. They are in Deuteronomy 28. Mm -hmm. I'll give rain. Mm -hmm. yes. There will be abundant food. Yes. You'll be victorious in your battles mm -hmm. against your enemies. Yes. Mm -hmm. When you get sick, I will heal you. Mm -hmm. You have many sons yes. mm -hmm. in your families. Mm -hmm. Those are the promises of God mm -hmm. according to the law of Moses. Yes. They ended, yes. but the promises of God continue. Yes. The promises of yes. God are there. Yes. Mm -hmm. In the New Testament, mm -hmm. according to Titus it's chapter 1, one. Mm -hmm. the same the first promise we can talk about is eternal, eternal life. life. Amen. Yes. According to Galatians chapter 3, verse number 13, mm -hmm. the promise of salvation yes. continues. Yes. The promises of the law ended, mm -hmm. but the doctrine of promises did, did not, not end. end. No. Mm. You understand? Yes. 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 Amen. yes. So, I just wanted to make it clear so that our people may not say, why, why are you going back to scriptures of the law? Mm -hmm. We thought you said the law ended. Mm -hmm. The law ended. It did end, yes. But there are principles in the law mm -hmm. that never ended. Yes. Mm -hmm. And those principles existed before the law. The law tried to achieve the desires of those principles mm -hmm. and, failed. and failed. But the principles continue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have atonement right now. In Israel, people had the Day of, of atonement. atonement. Yes. Why did they do the, the Day of Atonement? Mm -hmm. To seek forgiveness of sins. Yes. Mm -hmm. So there is Yom Kapeh every once a yes. year in Israel. Yes. In the New Testament, mm -hmm. 
We have atonement. Yes. But we don't have the day of atonement. Of atonement. atonement yes. We have atonement. Yes. The doctrine of atonement still, still exists. exists. We still need forgiveness yes. of sins. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Forgiveness of sins was an issue in the law. Yes. Forgiveness, forgiveness of, of sins, sins is an issue, issue in the, in New, the Testament. New Testament. Yes. How these testaments deal mm -hmm. with these doctrines is what, what differs. differs. Uh -huh. yes. According to the law of Moses, you yes. must offer the blood of animals mm -hmm. to find the forgiveness of sins. Yes. Mm -hmm. According to the New Testament the principle, the blood of Jesus yes. atones for our yes. sins. Yes. Amen. But the principle of atonement mm -hmm. is Amen. there mm -hmm. in both Testaments. Yes. Mm -hmm. You can't say, stop talking of atonement because you said there's no more atonement of sins mm -hmm. by the blood of animals. In the law of Moses, yes, we must clarify that. Yes, yes. Is this yes. clear, Pastor? Yes, am I? Huh? Yes, Zaka Jeka. Tirgunya tota na ngurirwa amadzangu zaka naga utitinzu isi se mutsako ripo pakati pe mura wamari ne mura wakanga ina Moses. Uye kuti kuguma kwe mura iro kurukurewe. Ngati. Doctrine uh, seven verse five. Yeah, uh, Christ is our Passover lamb. So that Tasia na chirukupirwa ne chi ne Asinya ye uprisita, ino rambairi kwa shakari mu mm. New Testament. Yes. Asi uprisita wacho wasiana. Mm. Wa aro ne wa merekize deki wata kuita mu Testament. Yes, yes. Yes. Mm. yes. All right, believers. Ephesians chapter 6, <laughs> verse number 18 It says, praying, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit, and watching there to there unto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. And for me pray for me. Why should we pray for Paul? That utterance may be given that unto utterance me. That utterance may be given to Paul. That I may open my mouth boldly. That Paul may open his mouth boldly. So I'm not the first one to ask you to pray for me. Yes. Paul was asking the Ephesus church yes. to pray for him. Yes. Yes. To make known the mystery of the gospel. Mm. What why are you preaching the gospel? For which I am an ambassador in bonds. Again. For which I am an ambassador in bonds. Again. For which I am an ambassador in bonds. That therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. Let's see the end of this. So this is how it ends. Mm -hmm. Believers, I want to tell you right now that Paul is as far as I am concerned, the only person I have found in the scriptures mm -hmm. who was in the situation of a bond child. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Paul was a bond child mm -hmm. in the house of God. Mm -hmm. And this may confuse you because he was a Pharisee before. Mm -hmm. yes. And then he later became an apostle. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter where he was coming from. Mm -hmm. But the life of Paul is visibly, clearly, mm -hmm. the life of someone mm -hmm. who was born for the service of God yes. and nothing else. Yes. Paul did not have a personal life. No. People like me, I have a personal life. Mm -hmm. Paul did not have yes. a personal life. Mm -hmm. are, you, are you understanding this? Yes. <laughs> we are yes. going to explore... Two scriptures mm -hmm. that shows that will show you that there was nothing else about Paul mm -hmm. except that which he did <laughs> as a minister of the gospel. He didn't have life outside the ministry. <laughs> it's not just about absence of a family. Mm -hmm. 
He never got married. Yes. He was not divorced. Mm -hmm. He was not widowed. He never got married his entire life. Yes. And there is no other scripture mm -hmm. you can find mm -hmm. that will tell you that he struggled to sustain relationships. Yes. He ended up <laughs> sulking and giving up <laughs> on marriage. He was like that. Yes. He was born without interest mm -hmm. towards mm -hmm. that area. <laughs> He was a bond servant. Mm -hmm. yes. And this is why sometimes he described himself as a prisoner of Christ. Yes. As much as the word prisoner applies to all servants of God. Mm -hmm. But when Paul spoke about it, mm -hmm. he also addressed the absence of okay. a personal yes. life. Yes. Well, let's read 1 Corinthians chapter 9, mm -hmm. verse 16. Yes. For though I preach the gospel, though you preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of. You don't want to be gloating, you don't want to be proud. For necessity is laid upon me. Yes. Yeah, woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel. Mm. Woe is me. Necessity is laid upon me. Yes. Yea, woe is me. Mm -hmm. Woe comes to me mm -hmm. if I preach not the gospel. Mm. Yes. I am doomed. Mm. Yes. I have no relevance. Yes. yes. I have no other choice. Mm -hmm. I have nothing else to do. Yes. If I don't preach, preach the, the gospel. gospel. The yes. word war is unto me, <laughs> it means I am doomed. Yes. I am finished. Mm -hmm. I am destroyed. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. First Corinthians chapter 7 mm -hmm. will show you that Paul understood yes. that God had given him an instruction mm -hmm. not to get married. Yes. Verse number 7. Mm -hmm. Verse number 7. Chapter 7. First for, Corinthians. For I would that all men were even as I myself. You are not married. Mm -hmm. You desire that everyone would be <laughs> a celibate. Mm. So why can't we all be celibate now? But every man has his proper gift of God. Mm. One after this manner and another after that. Did you hear that? Yes. 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 That yes. Paul was not married, mm -hmm. was not a yes. personal yes. choice. No. Hey. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> What was it? It was a gift of God. A it was a gift. gift. Yes. A proper gift <laughs> of God. God. Yes. Ah. <laughs> now, can you encourage me to live a celibate life? No. no. Not Are at you all. God? No. Because you want to give me this gift. Are you God? No. Pastor Juma, no. did he not say it's a gift from God? Yes. Saka, you were No. 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 Tazoka, no panada of Chaga, Tadako to Jiribunere. We said yes. a bond child, child. Mm -hmm. is not something that is later decided. No. Mm -hmm. no. no. Do you still need another scripture <laughs> to prove that Paul was a bond child? Yes. Huh? Yeah, we may as well have it. Am I? <laughs> you can spoil us. Am yeah, I? spoil us. <laughs> <laughs> Acts 22, mm -hmm. Paul was talking. Yes. He stood up on the stairs mm -hmm. and beckoned with the hand unto the people. Yes. And when there was a great silence, mm -hmm. he spake unto them in the Hebrew tongue, saying, yes. I was reading chapter 21, 22. verse 40. Because chapter 22 doesn't tell us who was talking. All right, I was all establishing right. the setting. All right. The setting... The media team could not find the scripture. <laughs> <laughs> the setting is in chapter 21, One, verse 40. 40. Yes. That's what tells us who was talking. Yes. Mm -hmm. He was speaking yes. in the Hebrew tongue. Yes. Mm -hmm. I want to read this scripture mm -hmm. to prove to you mm -hmm. that Paul, just like Jesus, mm -hmm. just like John the Baptist, yes. just like Samson, yes. Yes. was a born child. <laughs> Let's hear Paul speaking, chapter 22, verse 1. Men, brethren, and fathers, yes. hear my defense which I make now unto you. Yes. And when they heard that he spake in the Hebrew tongue to them, yes. they kept the more silent. We just want to read verse number three. Mm -hmm. I am verily a man which am a Jew, born in Tarsus. Right. Already the fact that he is a Jew mm -hmm. shows us that 
His parents know numbers Number 30. 30. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 They know how a born child is raised. Mm -hmm. They know how Samuel was dedicated. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. He is a Jew born in Tarsus. Mm -hmm. Where is Tarsus? A city in Cilicia. Mm -hmm. So how did you grow up? Yet brought up in this city at the feet of Gamaliel. Mm -hmm. and taught according to the perfect manner of the law of the fathers mm -hmm. and was zealous toward God <laughs> as you all are this day. <laughs> Who brought up Paul? Gamaliel. Was Paul brought up by his father? No. Akarela Paul, yeah? Gamaliel. Yes, yes. Uh, what did I say about a dedicated <laughs> a, a, a bond child? Yes. yes. He, he, he is he brought to, to the, the Lord, Lord. Yes. yes, and is received by the men of God. Yes, yeah. someone will That's say, Who was Gamaliel? Gamaliel. <laughs> Let's find out who is Gamaliel. Yes, we are going to read Acts chapter 4. Yes, uh, chapter 5. Chapter 5. We four. are going to find out mm -hmm. who is Gamaliel. Yes, Acts chapter 5, okay. verse 35. Mm, I'm not sure. Let me start. 34. The 34. Mm. Then stood there up one in the council of a Pharisee. Yes, you are right. You are right. Yes. A Pharisee named Gamaliel. Who is Gamaliel? A Pharisee. doctor of the law. A doctor of the law. Mm. He had in reputation among all the people and commanded to put the apostles forth a little space. He was a Pharisee mm -hmm. and a doctor, doctor of the law. I'm not going to go to <laughs> it simply means he was the most learned person among them. Mm -hmm. He knew the law inside out. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's find out where Paul was. While Gamaliel was teaching, mm -hmm. verse 3 again. Yes. I am verily a man which am a Jew born in Tarsus, mm -hmm. a city in Cilicia. Yes. yes. Yet brought up in this city. How did you grow up in Jerusalem? At the feet of Gamaliel. At the feet oh. of oh. Gamaliel. Gamaliel. And that's a teacher student position. Yes. Mm -hmm. In Israel, when students come to the synagogue, yes. they don't sit on the benches, mm -hmm. they don't sit on the chairs, mm -hmm. they sit on, on the, the floor. floor. Mm -hmm. To learn from their teacher, the teacher is the one who sits at a higher altitude. Yeah. The, the students are on the ground. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is why Mary was sitting at the feet of, of our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In the book of Luke. Mm -hmm. Yes. na mm -hmm. Gamariel. Baba mm -hmm. Paulo. Andivo wa karera Paulo. Paul was not raised by his father. Mm -hmm. He was raised by Gamariel. <laughs> hey. Yeah. You understand? Yes. 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 Look at verse number five. Mm -hmm. He said, as also the high priest that mm. bear me witness, yes. and all the estate of the elders, mm. from whom also I received letters unto the brethren, yes. and went to Damascus yes. to bring them which were there bound unto Jerusalem for oh, to, to be, be punished. punished. Mm. Look at Paul. Mm -hmm. Does he look like someone who is busy with something important? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> he works with the chief priests. Yes, yes. He also works with the Pharisees. Mm -hmm. The chief priests are the ones who can bear him witness. Mm -hmm. They are the ones who wrote him letters, mm -hmm. sent him as far as Syria mm -hmm. to bring prisoners back to Jerusalem. Yes. yes. That was his life, mm -hmm. Pastor Shuma. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yes. Paul was yes. not someone with another commitment. No. No. His life was dedicated in the law <laughs> of Moses. Yes. And for further reading, you can also read Galatians chapter 1, verse 13, mm -hmm. where he spoke about being superior mm -hmm. to his equals yes. concerning his, his articulation of Judaism. Yes. For you have heard, heard of my... Yes. yes. 
for you have heard of my con- conversation in time past in the Jews' religion, how that beyond measure I persecuted the church of God yes. and wasted it. Wasted it. Yes. Yes. And profited in the Jews' religion above many my equals in my own nation, being more exceedingly zealous of the traditions of my fathers. He mm-hmm. profited above his equals mm-hmm. because he had all the time. Yes. Mm-hmm. Paul could not find a job mm-hmm. so that he could earn a living. No. Hey. He lived by the synagogue. Maritza, we are never in the synagogue. Those are Paul. Mm-hmm. Of course, they used to also learn some crafting. This is why he ended up learning how to make tents. Yes. But his full-time job was Pharisee responsibilities. Mm -hmm. He went as far as Syria with letters from the chief priests. Yes. Mm -hmm. He was a bond a bond child. What went wrong with Paul's life was that God took long to identify Paul or to tell Paul Mm -hmm. that he was not made a bond child Mm -hmm. to do the job of a Pharisee. He was meant to be an apostle. Yes. That's why the synagogue (laughs) used him Mm -hmm. because the Lord had not yet manifested his his assignment to him. Who are you, Paul? You are an apostle. Mm-hmm. You are not a Pharisee. Mm-hmm. Take off the robes of, uh, of Pharisees. Pharisee. Put down the books of the law. Yes. Let's go and preach grace. Mm-hmm. Talk about the death of Christ. Yes. Talk about the finished works of the cross. Yes. Talk about Calvary. Don't talk about the deeds of the law. Mm-hmm. No flesh mm-hmm. shall be justified mm-hmm. by the deeds of the law. Mm-hmm. He had to learn that yes. from the Lord. Mm. So he is a dedicated son of God Amen. who was hijacked by the overzealous Pharisees, mm. trained to persecute the church, mm. and he had all the time to persecute the church. Mm. Yes. So I told you that he is so far the only person I know in the New Testament mm. who is a true dedicated child, mm-hmm. true bond child mm-hmm. from the understanding of the bond children of the Old Testament. Yes. So we want you to understand that the vow is something that was used before. It was a, 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 a system of serving God mm-hmm. in the Old Testament. Yes. In the New Testament, mm-hmm. people do not make or take vows. Mm-hmm. But we have a culture, a tradition, Mm -hmm. a doctrine Mm -hmm. of dedicated service. Yes. Yes. Uh, I I think I want us to do a -a tete-a-tete. Okay. And come back to finish this. The part two is the one that shall explain how dedicated service is done, done in the New Testament. Mm-hmm. The, the practical aspect of implementing dedicated service. Mm-hmm. We want to finish today by just telling you why did God give this ordinance? Mm-hmm. Okay. What is its purpose? Okay. Yes. So that you understand that a believer who doesn't participate in dedicated service mm-hmm. is an, a, a, a deprived a believer. Uri mutendi akara sikiriwa, akashota. Wakafane muna, akafeka kumusoro kuzasau na kufeka. Let us read Luke chapter 2 and find out what Anna mm-hmm. was doing in the temple oh, yes. if it was not <laughs> a vow. Yes. Verse <laughs> 36. Yes. And there was one Anna, a prophetess. Now, before you do that, yes. Pastor Chuma has a job mm-hmm. to yes. tell us which part of Numbers 30 mm-hmm. Anna applied mm-hmm. okay. to make a vow unto God. Yes. All right. So you are not going to explain anything. 
You will simply read the scripture. Mm -hmm. Pastor Irengu will say you got it right or not. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Verse 36. <laughs> and there was one Anna, a prophetess. She was a prophetess. Mm -hmm. The daughter of Fanuel, of the tribe of Asher. She was of a great age. She was now an old woman. Mm -hmm. And had lived with her husband seven years from her virginity. But she is now a widow. And she was a widow of about four score and four years. What happened? Which departed not from the temple. She departed not from, from the, the temple. temple. But saved God with fastings and prayers night and day. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Is yeah. she not a widow? She, she is a widow. A widow. <laughs> How can she be in the temple night and <laughs> <Today>. day? <laughs> Read us the scripture in Numbers. Numbers chapter 30, mm -hmm. verse 9. Yes. Verse 9. But every vow of a widow and of her that is divorced, wherewith they have bound their souls, shall stand and against her. Sense. Thank you. Yes. Does she need the husband's approval? No. no. Why? She's a widow. She's a widow. She doesn't have a, a husband. Her husband no. yes. Why can't she ask a father for that <laughs> a, a, a approval? No, that's not a requirement of the law. That's mm. not a requirement of the law. Yes. Thank you, Pastor. Mm. So can you see, Pastors, that Anna mm. had taken a vow? Yes. Oh, yes. She has. Pastor Erengu, your job is to mm. show us Mm -hmm. a word or a phrase in Luke chapter 2 mm -hmm. that proves mm -hmm. that this was not just someone who loves to be in the temple, mm -hmm. but it was a vow. <laughs> Which departed not from the temple. Aha. Yes. But saved God with the fastings and prayers night she and day. She departed. Hakuna <laughs> prayer, Kadar. Kana Prayer warrior. Hawite prayer warrior. Cheku gara pa church. Isuva chenge tewe church. Toko na toko. Buri sot. Ibozo kena kumba. Yes. Trombo chaira church. Yes. Yes. So, are you telling me, pastors, that Anna was only praying and fasting? Do you think mm. that's all she did at the temple? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Why are you saying no? Apostle, they say, Lord, that is done on the temple. Yes, you yes. are right. Mm -hmm. And the temple is not always open Ten for, for prayers. prayers and fasting. Mm -hmm. There are other activities. Mm -hmm. The scripture focused on what, what made the highlights of your yes. day, yes. fastings and prayer, yes. day and night. Mm -hmm. But Anna was not just a prophetess. Mm -hmm. She became a servant, servant. Yes. of the temple. Amen. Yes. Whatever the priest wanted to yes. do, mm -hmm. yes. she was part of that. Yes, yes. yes. That's a vow. Yeah, That's it a was vow. a vow. So let's do a tete a tete, brethren. We will come back for a very short time. Mm -hmm. I'm now left with a component that introduces the dedicated service. All right. The, the introduction, the part one, was to introduce dedicated service. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we spent more than three hours now describing the law, mm -hmm. looking at the law yes. mm -hmm. that teaches the vow. Mm -hmm. And now we are going to start with reading Matthew chapter 5 that forbids us mm -hmm. from taking a vow. Mm -hmm. And then we apply the dedicated service and show you scriptures where people in the New Testament dedicated themselves to the service of God mm -hmm. with a bond to the soul. Mm -hmm. We can't go home, we can't dismiss without knowing why should we take part in the vow? Mm -hmm. Why should we take part in the dedicated service? Mm -hmm. What is the relevance? Stay mm -hmm. with us.
All right. Um, let me start by talking about what I consider to be a very important uh, construction and pillar to this doctrine of the vow, the doctrine of dedicated service. Uh, if you look at the design of nature, you will realize that there is nothing that God designed that he did not uh, instruct to go through what is called a sampling exercise. Everything that God designed must be sampled. Mm -hmm. uh, an example is what happened in Numbers chapter 13. What happened in Numbers chapter 13. Mm -hmm. People are not yet in the promised land. Yes. But God wants them to know mm -hmm. the certainty of the existence of the promised land. Yes. Is there a land called the land of Canaan? Mm -hmm. Is it a good land? Mm -hmm. Is it habitable? Yes. Is it hospitable mm -hmm. to the children of Israel? Mm -hmm. Are we not on a good wild, wild goose chase? Mm -hmm. Is God true? that there is heaven. Has anyone ever entered heaven? Is God himself uh, existing? Is he alive? Hmm. So after asking them to walk with him for a certain distance, he then decided to sample the promised land. Mm -hmm. Let's read verse 1. Yes. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, yes. Send thou men, that they may search the land of Canaan. Let which them I go give, and search yes. the land of Canaan, yes. Which I give unto the children of Israel. What is the purpose of just, uh, searching the land of Canaan? Of every tribe of their fathers shall you send a man, everyone, a ruler among them. And Moses, Verse number 21. Let's skip, skip, skip scriptures for time. So, Let's find out if they searched it. Yes. So they went up and searched the land from the wilderness of Zin unto Rehob. Yes. And men come to Hamath. And they ascended by the south and came unto Hebron, where Ahiman, Sheshai, and Taumai, the children of Anak, were now Hebron was built seven years before Zoan in Egypt. Yes. And they came in unto the brook of Eshkol and cut down from thence a branch with one cluster of grapes, and they bear it between two upon a staff, and they brought of the pomegranates and of the figs. The place was called the brook of the brook Eshko because of the cluster of grapes which the children of Israel cut down from then. Did they come back? Yes. And, Read verse 25. And they returned from searching of the land after 40 days. Did they tell the people what they saw? And they went and came to Moses and to Aaron and to all the congregation of the children of Israel unto the wilderness of Paran to Kadesh and brought back word unto them and unto all the congregation and showed them the fruit of the land. This is when God decided to allow some of the children of Israel, yes. one from every tribe, mm -hmm. to go and search mm -hmm. The promised land. Yes. To go and what? And search. And the search. Promised the, promised land. Land. the promised land. Mm -hmm. To sample it. Yes. The Bible says they didn't just come back. Mm -hmm. They came back with fruits. fruits. Yes. Mm -hmm. As evidence. Mm -hmm. Yes. That there is the, <coughs> the promised land. <coughs> yes. So we want to 
I want you to remember that. Hapana mm-hmm. chaka etuwa na mngari, mm-hmm. chaka promisa, mm-hmm. chisina kutanga, chasempliwa. Yes. Mm-hmm. God always samples yes. his promise. Yes. Mm-hmm. Everyone who receives a promise from God, God must give you a sample. Mm-hmm. You understand? Yes. yes. All right? Mm-hmm. This is what Hebrews chapter 6 says about sampling heaven. Yes. Right now, we are here, and what are we here doing? We are not just going to heaven. Mm-hmm. We are going to sample heaven. Mm-hmm. Hebrews chapter 6, mm-hmm. verse 4 and 5. For it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and have tested of the heavenly gift and were made partakers of the Holy Spirit and have tested the good word of God and the powers of the world to come. Did you hear that? Mm-hmm. Pastor Irene, I... read verse number five and tell us what is in verse number five mm-hmm. that to prove the simply. Yes. Yes. And they have tested the good word of God. They have tested the good word of God, yes. Yes, and the powers of the world to come. Yes. So today they have tested it, but it's a future thing that they are looking forward to, which means it's a sample. When you say they have tested. It's like someone comes to Zimbabwe. Yes. And brings you probably Turkish or Italian coffee mm-hmm. from Italy. Yes. And he says, you are coming to Italy next winter. Mm-hmm. I've brought you the coffee we drink in, 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 in Italy. Yes. To sample it mm-hmm. so that you won't be surprised when you visit. Mm-hmm. You are sampling the coffee of the country to come. Yes. Now the Bible says believers are testing the good word of God. Yes. And the, the powers, powers of, of the, the world, world to, to come. come. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. Right now people cannot explain how did you believe? I am struggling to believe. <laughs> Yes. It's something that happened in me and I couldn't hide it. I couldn't ignore it. Mm-hmm. I had to respond to the gospel. gospel. Men and brethren, mm-hmm. what shall we do? Mm-hmm. We have been pricked in our yes. hearts. But how many among us can say, I can explain how my heart was pricked? Can you explain that to us, Pastor Chuma? It's hard to explain. Mm-hmm. I think it's impossible. It's yes, impossible. Yes. If you say it's hard, it, it means you are saying it's possible. <laughs> I don't think I can explain mm-hmm. how my heart was pricked. Can yes. you explain, Pastor Rengui? No, I can't. That's the power mm-hmm. of the world to come. Yes. It influences Amen. the Amen. cosmos, Amen. the physical world. Amen. You yes. can't see it. Yes. Amen. We have tested, mm-hmm. in other words, sampled. sampled. Mm-hmm. The powers Hallelujah. of the, the world, world to come. come. Yes. Mm. Before we enter heaven, yes. God has given us something mm-hmm. from heaven. Yes. So that we don't just say, perhaps there is yeah, heaven. Yeah, yeah. Perhaps we shall go to heaven. No. Perhaps there is God in heaven. Mm-hmm. Yes. Look at Holy Spirit. Yes. Who has ever visited a shop? Where you find Holy Spirit lying in the shelf, (laughs) the shop is selling Holy Spirit. You can't. You can't. Holy Spirit Mm -hmm. is a sample of the powers powers of the world to come. come. Amen. 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 Look at 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 2, 12. Mm -hmm. Verse 12, start from verse uh, uh, 11. Searching what or what manner of time the Spirit of Christ which was in them did signify mm. when it testified beforehand the sufferings of Christ and the glory that should follow. The sufferings of Christ and the glory that should follow. And to the whom prophets it, were searching. Yes. Yes. Unto whom it was revealed. Unto the prophets it was revealed. That not unto themselves. That it is not to themselves. But unto us they, they did minister the things. They were ministering these things to us. Which are now reported unto you by the them. The things are now reported to us by who? Yeah, by them that have preached the gospel unto you. How are they preaching the gospel to us? With the Holy Spirit sent down from heaven. Which things the angels desire to look into. So the gospel is preached by them, them. Mm-hmm. with the Holy Spirit, Spirit. Yes. which came down from, from heaven. heaven. Yes. 
So Holy Spirit is one of the grapes mm -hmm. that came from the promised <laughs> land. Amen. We are going to heaven. Yes. How sure are we yes. that there is heaven? heaven. <laughs> so the Bible says... Two they men carried, were carrying a rod. Yes. On that road were clusters of, of grapes. grapes. Yes. Yes. Where are you going? We are going to the wilderness. Yes. <laughs> Why are you leaving this good land mm -hmm. to go to the wilderness? Mm -hmm. Well, that's where the people are. Yes. Mm -hmm. The people are coming to the land, land. Yes. the mm -hmm. promised land. Mm -hmm. But the people are still in the wilderness. Yes. Yes. So why are you carrying grapes? It's a well, sample. it's a sample. <laughs> we want to show them. Yes. Yes. There is true Yes. Uh, there is truth yes. to what God said. Yes. God said, come out of Egypt. Yes. I will take you to the land that yes. flows with milk, milk and, honey. and honey. This is evidence. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. yes. So, <laughs> when you come to the church, mm -hmm. we preach the gospel. Amen. Yes. And when you ask, how are you preaching the gospel? <clears throat> we say, well, the gospel is a cluster of grapes. Mm -hmm. Amen. But it's carried on a road. Yes. <laughs> thy road and thy, thy staff, staff. Yes. they comfort me. me. I will pray the Father yes. to give you and another I comforter. Comfort. The Holy Spirit yes. is the comforter. <laughs> they were the carrying yes. the grapes Amen. on a road. Yes. The cluster of grapes. Amen. Mm -hmm. And figs mm. and pomegranates. Yes, yes. These are now spiritual gifts. Mm -hmm. We are blessed with all spiritual wow. gifts wow. in yes. heavenly places, places. In, in Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Yes. According to Ephesians yes. chapter, chapter 1, one, verse mm. three. one, You understand? Yes. 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 <laughs> That's the scripture there. Yes. Blessed with the all God. spiritual mm. blessings. Yes. In heavenly Heaven places, places. In, in Christ, Christ. Jesus. Mm. So when you read Revelation chapter 1 up to chapter 22, mm -hmm. John says, I heard a voice calling unto me. Mm -hmm. I saw heaven opened. Mm -hmm. I was in the spirit. Mm -hmm. Immediately mm -hmm. I saw heaven opened. Yes. I saw a throne being set up mm -hmm. and one yes, that sat set on, on the, the throne. throne. Yes. Why is John seeing all this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, John is one of the 12 princes of Amen. Judah, Amen. princes Amen. of Israel, yes. Amen. whom God has revealed. Yes. The land yes, of yes. Canaan. Amen. So yes. that those who are losing energy, mm. those who are fainting, mm. those who are stumbling, mm. all right? Yes. They are going to say, let us revive ourselves. Amen. Let us get encouraged. Yes. These are the grapes yes. from the promised land. Yes. These are the pomegranates yes. from the promised land. Yes. These are the figs mm -hmm. from the promised land. Yes. The land is there. Yes. Let's march on. Yes. Mm. We shouldn't turn away. Yes. We shouldn't turn back. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't backslide. Yes. Yes. Let's continue to march yes. Yes. to the promised land. Mm -hmm. Are you getting this? Yes. 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 So, one thing now that happened to the children of Israel on their way to the promised land, mm -hmm. that is why we, uh, we, which we do not have ourselves. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is why God introduced the doctrine of the vow. Mm -hmm. The road that God took them through mm. from Egypt mm. to the promised land mm -hmm. was not a, a, an already existing road. Mm -hmm. okay. They went through the desert, the forest. They were not following a pathway, mm -hmm. a tired road. Mm -hmm. no. A gravel dead road. Mm -hmm. No. The Bible says they were led by a cloud in the night, mm -hmm. in the day, a pillar of fire, fire in the night, in the yes. night, which means God was leading them. Yes. That cloud that, that covered them during the day in the desert mm -hmm. was another sample yes. of, of, of heaven, heaven where God provides you rest yes. to avoid the intense heat of the desert. Amen. Jesus is going to cover Amen. you. Amen. But what we do not have yes. that they had yes. was seclusion. Okay. Mm. The Israelites did not have neighbors. Mm. They were alone. Mm -hmm. For 40 years and 40 nights. <laughs> they traveled this journey yes, alone. alone. Mm. <laughs> and they were permanently yes. under God's instructions. Mm -hmm. When he said walk, Throughout. they walked. Yes. Yes. When he said stop, they, they stopped. stopped. When they said go to that mountain, mm -hmm. they went yes. to that mountain. Yes. 
They were not distracted mm -hmm. by the affairs mm -hmm. of this of world. This world. Mm -hmm. yes. The Mount Sinai incident in Exodus mm -hmm. chapter 19 mm -hmm. is a prime example yes. Yes. of a meeting between man and God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. It wasn't difficult mm -hmm. for Moses to stand up and say, I was in the mountain. Mm -hmm. The Lord spoke to me. Mm -hmm. They would say, we know him. Yes. We heard his voice mm -hmm. in Mount Sinai. Mm -hmm. Remember, the earth, the earth was trembling. Yes. Yes. The mountain was trembling. Yes. Mm. There was a smoke mm. billowing up. Yes. There was mighty thunderings, Thunder. mighty lightnings, mm. and there was a thickness and blackness yes. and darkness. Mm. That is a sample yes. of the cozy life. We are supposed to live mm -hmm. as children of God. So the Israelites woke up in the morning mm. and they are yawning and stretching. <laughs> no one was going to work mm -hmm. for those 40 years. Yes. <laughs> there was no plan to go to the agricultural show. There was no, no agricultural show. No. 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 There was no television broadcast. There was no political rally to no, attend. No, no. There was no football match to go and watch. <laughs> For 40 years, yes. the Bible says they were under the cloud and mm. under the, 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 the guidance of God. Mm. Look at 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 1. Yes. I just want verse 1 and 2. Yes. Moreover, brethren, I would not that you should be ignorant how that all our fathers were under the cloud yes. and all passed through the sea and were all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea. They were under the cloud. Yes. They were with God mm -hmm. throughout the day yes. and throughout the night. Mm -hmm. There were not people who had their own homes yes. and, their own, and their own jobs and businesses. No. And every Sunday, like today, mm -hmm. they come to church. Mm -hmm. No, they were not coming to church. Mm -hmm. The children of Israel were not going, going to, church. to church. They were the church. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine a 40 years yes, old uh, church, church service. service. <laughs> Pastor, Am I? imagine uh, a 40, 40 years old, old mm -hmm. 40 years old, old church, church service, service, day and night. Yes. 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 Right now, some people are looking at their watches. When is he going to stop? stop. <laughs> the children of Israel had a service that lasted 40, 40 years. years. <laughs> From day one. No break. No break. Yeah, yeah. Anytime Moses would, would, would shout, shout. blow move. the trumpet, let's yeah. move. Yeah. The cloud is on the move. Yes. 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 No one could say, I am busy. Mm. No. no one had anything to be busy with. Ah, yeah, yeah. So the doctrine of the vow mm. is God's attempt after him throwing down and showing us and handing down a taste of heaven. Mm -hmm. He sends the gospel. Mm -hmm. He sends the grace. Mm -hmm. He sends the spiritual Amen. gifts. He sends faith. Mm -hmm. He sends the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And he sends testimonies of experiences mm -hmm. that our fellow believers go through. Yes. The apostles go through experiences. Is there any heaven? Daniel will say, I had an experience. Yes. I saw heaven. Yes. I'm a, 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 witness. a witness. I can testify there is heaven. Mm -hmm. Sit down, uh, 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 Daniel. Uh, Daniel. Mm -hmm. Let's find if there's a collaboration to your mm -hmm. testimony. Mm -hmm. What if you are making things up? Mm -hmm. Anyone else? Isaiah mm -hmm. says, in the year Uzziah yeah, died, died, I, I saw know. the throne of God, <laughs> God sitting on his throne. Sit, Sit down, down, Isaiah. Yes. You have a sample of heaven. Mm -hmm. Anyone else? <laughs> Micaiah says, yes, mm -hmm. the heaven opened, yes. and mm -hmm. I saw God seated on his throne, yes. mm -hmm. and the armies of God on his right, mm -hmm. and the other armies of God on his left, mm -hmm. and God asked, who shall lure heir up to the battle that he should die? Mm -hmm. Sit down, uh, Micaiah, mm -hmm. you have a testimony of God. Yes. Let's ask someone else who is not a Jew. Mm -hmm. Nebuchadnezzar says, I'm here. Mm -hmm. hey. I saw the Son of God. Yes. I saw the Son of God in a, in a, in a, in a pit. Oh, yes. And I asked, 
did I not you throw three, three men <laughs> in the furnace of fire? <laughs> Why can I see? see Why, how can I see the man fourth man? man? Yes. Sit down, Nebuchadnezzar. <laughs> we don't trust you. We don't trust you. <laughs> so, how many testimonies do we have? Mm -hmm. Endless. Yes. And the conclusion is Romans, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1. Mm -hmm. I don't want to forget uh, you to forget this. Yes. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1 yes. is the conclusion. Yes. There is no doubt mm -hmm. to the existence of God, mm -hmm. the existence of heaven, mm -hmm. and the, the, the veracity of the promises of God yes. and their attainability. It's possible that we shall rest in God. Yes. Yes. We are not going to end with this world. No. There is a world to come. Mm. There is a life to come. Yes. Yes. There is a kingdom to yes. come. Oh, yes. 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 You understand? Yes. yes. Let's read verse 1 of Hebrews 12. Mm -hmm. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed with our what? With our how small? About with so great. So great what? A cloud of witnesses. A cloud a of witnesses. witnesses. Yes. Not clouds it's, of witnesses. Uh -uh. No. It's a cloud, a cloud of, of witnesses. witnesses. Yes. You yes. see? Mm -hmm. So these are witnesses. Mm -hmm. The Bible tells us witnesses yes. are preachers. Yes. Yes. If you don't believe me, mm -hmm. go and read uh, Luke 24, verse 46 to mm -hmm. 48. Mm -hmm. You are witnesses of mm -hmm. these things. Yes. Did he yeah. not say that? Yes. He said that in verse 46, he says, and said unto them, Thus it is written, and thus it behoved Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead mm. the third day. And that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations, mm. beginning at Jerusalem. 48. And you are witnesses of these things. Amen. You. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. You. Yes. We are witnesses. Yes. Paul was a witness. Mm -hmm. Titus was, was a, a witness. witness. Yes. Timothy was a witness. Yes. Mm. Tromphemus was, was a witness. A witness. Mm. You understand? Mm. Yes. Peter was a witness. Mm -hmm. yes. John was a witness. Mm. Yes. Uh, Barnabas. Uh, 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 Barnabas was a witness. Mm -hmm. James was a witness. Yes. Stephen was, was a, witness. a witness. Philip was a witness. Yes. yes. Epaphras was a witness. Mm -hmm. Erastus was a witness. Yes. Mm -hmm. These are servants of God. Amen. Hebrews 12 says, you we are, are compassed round about mm -hmm. with the so great yes. a, a cloud, cloud of, of witnesses. witnesses. Mm -hmm. Every witness testifies mm -hmm. about the same thing. Mm -hmm. There is God in heaven. Yes. This life will end mm -hmm. very soon. People shall attend your funeral. Mm. Very soon, people shall look at your body, mm. useless and lifeless, oh, yes. in a coffin. Mm. And they shall bury you in the ground. Mm. And when people turn their backs on your grave, mm -hmm. they will not come back. Yes. Hey. Yes. 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 No one will remember you, my dear. Yes. This world is going to run without you. Yes. yes. At that particular moment, mm -hmm. Those who are timid are going to come to the witnesses. Mm. Can you pray for this man mm -hmm. that God may receive him? Mm. Mm -hmm. God, we have buried this body mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. We know you are there in heaven. Mm -hmm. Receive your child. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. God will ask you, since when do people recommend a man to children? children. Well. Hey. Are you saying I am a reprobate, irresponsible father mm -hmm. who doesn't know how to take care of his children? Mm -hmm. Since when do I not care about my children? Mm -hmm. Why are you recommending these people to me? I know my children. Yes. They know my voice. Yes. Our relationship does not start with their death. Oh, yes, mm. yes, yes. The death of a person mm -hmm. is not the beginning of a relationship yeah, with no. God. No. <laughs> no. No. That, that, that can't be. That can't be, Pastor. No. Yes. Can that be? No, it, it can't can be. be. It can't be. No. Mm. No. So the dedicated service and the vow mm -hmm. is a sample. Mm -hmm. God designed it that people may mm. learn mm -hmm. To spend time with God. Amen. Yes. Amen. You may learn to be with God. Yes. Mm -hmm. Without any distraction. Mm. You are not rushing anywhere. Mm. You are not planning after the service mm -hmm. to go somewhere. Mm -hmm. You are at the service full time. Mm -hmm. 
you are spending time with God. Yes. Mm -hmm. I have nowhere else to go. I'm going to be with God mm -hmm. forever yes. and ever. Amen. Yes. When you go to heaven, you don't come to earth on vacation. Mm -hmm. When you enter heaven, the doors of, of heaven are not opened for you to come to earth and vote. You don't attend elections on earth. You stay there forever. Amen. Kuna kai mbakati, kuna tudaku vunza mngari kuti wana wangu, wano sara nani kana ndaenda. Au mboshika kudenga, uka shika ikoko, uchitaura kutune mngana. Hakuna ano shika kudenga, haka shika ikoko kwa inevana. Hakuna. The question is, if God, look at me, if God wants us to go to heaven mm -hmm. so much that he gives us a sample of heaven mm -hmm. for us to see the reality of heaven before we enter heaven. Mm -hmm. yeah. The Bible says God has given us an opportunity, a privilege to test mm -hmm. the powers mm -hmm of the world to come. Yes. He wants us to be ready. Yes. When we go there, we are not surprised by everything. At least we know something mm -hmm. because heaven is our home. Yes. Yes. You can't come home and not, not know anything mm -hmm. in your father's house. Mm -hmm. What is this? What is that? Are you a visitor? Are you a child of yes. this household? Yes. You must hey. at least know something yes. by the time you yes. enter heaven. Yes. That is Holy Spirit. Yes. You understand? Yes. Those are the 24 elders. Yes. Those are the four beasts. Yes. You shouldn't be <laughs> aloof and, 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 and wondering and, and looking your eyes yes. everywhere. Don't you go, 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 don't you go. So God wants us to test the powers of the world to, to come. come. The question is, are we also interested <laughs> in, in testing <laughs> the life of, of the, the world, world to come? Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. The vow is a situation where you leave home. Mm -hmm. You say to your father and mama, I'm going to the temple mm -hmm. to commit my service to God. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be a bond servant of God mm -hmm. for a period of three months. Mm -hmm. When you come to the temple, God sees your arrival mm -hmm. as a picture of your arrival in heaven. Amen. You see the problem? What about the problem? Ashika kudenga, ashika irekwa, we are smoking la ashika. Mama, I'm sorry, I'm going to put a foot. Pane mana ufuna fanyi kama. Masamba asku zika ronza. Haripa inda siya endi sina utawara pane masamba. Can we enter heaven and ask for an excuse? No. We have not really... Imagine you enter into heaven and then you realize you didn't leave a good house. Mm -hmm. You were renting an apartment. Mm -hmm. And then you say to God, excuse me, mm -hmm. I have to at least buy a stand yes. for these children to find a starting point. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen a dead person coming back no. to solve the events no. or the problems no. No. concerning those who are alive? No. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 4 says, mm -hmm. For to him that is joined to the living, mm. yes. to all the living, there is hope. Yes. For a living dog is better than a dead lion. <laughs> yes. For the living know that they shall die, yes. but the dead know not anything. Yes. Neither have they any more no, a reward, reward, for the memory the of, of them, them is forgotten. Also their love, their love and their hatred, their hatred and their envy, and their is, envy now perished. is now perished. Yes. Do you know that, Pastor, even among our own people, mm -hmm. there are people who think that the dead love them. <laughs> yes. oh dear. <laughs> I, I saw a post on Facebook. Somebody was graduating mm -hmm. and, and somebody commented on the graduation picture. Mm -hmm. She said, your mother should be proud of you. you. May her soul rest in peace. Uh, 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 uh. 
Your mother died before you graduated. Now you have graduated. Mm -hmm. You think wherever she, she is, is, she is, she is proud of you. <laughs> Look at Ecclesiastes 9.6. Mm. Yes. Their love is buried. <laughs> what is it saying? Read again. Also their love and their hatred and their envy is now perished. perished. Let's, let's all say perished. 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 The word perish means expired. Oh, yes. No more. The, the dead slave towards us, is no it more. perished the day they left. Yes, <laughs> yes. They don't miss us. Mm. <laughs> we are missing them, them. Yes. and we are allowed to miss, miss them, them. Yes. but they don't miss us. Ah, they Where they are mm -hmm. is more convenient. Yeah. Some more serious stuff is happening there. <laughs> imagine, imagine that a person who is in hell mm -hmm. has no time to think about their children which they left. Mm -hmm. What happens in hell is too serious yeah. mm -hmm. to find a moment yeah. to oh, spare okay. a thought for your surviving <laughs> children. Uh, yeah. Are you getting this? Mm -hmm. yes. Even those that are in paradise, they are mm -hmm. too, too busy, busy. Mm -hmm. with the genuine issues yes. of eternal life yes. to think about the elections, mm -hmm. to ah. think about <laughs> your, 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 your daughter's marriage. Ah. No. I wish my mom attended the day I was married. Ah. But wherever she is, she, she must be proud of me. It. <laughs> it's good to comfort yourself when you are grieving. Mm -hmm. But yes. it's terrible to comfort yourself with lies and heresy. Mm. Your mother is not missing you. Mm. Your mother is not uh, proud of you mm. or disappointed in you. Mm. She knows nothing, nothing. Mm -hmm. about you at the moment. Yeah. Yes. Her love towards you expired yes. mm -hmm. the day they left. Yeah. Yes. I'm not saying to you this to hate you. Mm -mm. You may have some people you are so fond of mm -hmm. who were taken out of this world. Mm -hmm. We are sorry about that. Yes. But we can't comfort you with lies. Yes. The Bible says the love of the dead mm -hmm. is perished. Yes. The hatred and the envy of the dead mm -hmm. is also it's perished. perished. Mm -hmm. Do they have any, any portion? No. no. <laughs> Read it. <laughs> also their love and their hatred and their envy is now perished. Yes. Neither have they any more a portion forever in anything that is done under the sun. Hey. Do they have a portion? <laughs> they no. don't have. Do they have a part to play? No. no. And the dead must be turning in their graves. It's a lie. <laughs> there is no one turning in his graves. Go and visit the tombs. Dig them out yeah. and see if there are skeletons that turn. It's just a proverb yeah. that seems that seeks to uh, uh, sensationalize mm. uh, some incredible, strange things that people are doing and their disapproval of those things. Mm. The dead do not turn in their graves, Pastor Chuma. Mm. No. You understand? They do not. The Bible says they have no part to play. Yes. Forever. Mm -hmm. Look at the words forever. forever. Mm. In anything, yes. in anything mm. that under, is done under the sun. Under the sun. Under the sun. Mm. So look at you now. Assuming that God does not claim your soul after death, say your soul is wandering somewhere in the galaxies, mm -hmm. your body is in, is in the grave, the pastor must pray to God, mm -hmm. asking God to redeem your wandering spirit. Lord, we have his, bo his body here, we buried it. Mm -hmm. There is no way for this person to go. Please have mercy, just take this soul and put it somewhere. God will say, I can't live with him. Mm -hmm. We have never been together. Mm -hmm. The principle of a marriage is that we must know each other first mm -hmm. yes. before we stay together. Yes. 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 Are you getting this? Tofani, what would I say? Tofani, what would I say? First. Iyo na uyari beke ya tata ura na aisa kama kuseni pae. Yes, yes. Murukura angari reyre kuti erieza. Aka tombo spend a time na ribeka. Yes. Wari pazime. Yes. Achitza na nguri wakamu sika na uyo. Neshe mkomana. Mm-hmm. 
Mm. Kwa nditi eleza ndi akatumwa na baba, baba. Mm. kutagogara ne msikana kushikira chikomba cha uya. Yes. The Lord did not abandon his mm. wife to be. Mm. He didn't leave us yes. as 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 uh, vagabonds and street kids. Mm. He said I will not leave you comfortless. Yes. He gave us a comforter mm -hmm. so that we may spend time with, with him. him. Yes. So your time spent listening to the word, coming to church, yes, it's good time. You are still learning about God. <laughs> but the issue of a vow is not about learning God. It's about spending time with Amen. God. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Spending time with, with what? God. Amen. Those who want to go to heaven, they want to go to heaven as asylum seekers and refugees, <laughs> running away from the pains and the troubles of hell. We are stranded, Lord, nowhere else to go. Kunyika wa kutakabata shirikwele tikafa kwa desa kuite tawia kuno tungo wana upe kutono na maroti ah iwe iwe une time nenere wakanga nwere kuti uri busy and they go go kuwanga uri busy ko so the dedicated service is a doctrine that it trains people mm -hmm. to stay with god mm -hmm. amen not to ne, to know about god to garana mwari chaiko because muda uno garana ya kudenga ask kuda kuti muzotangira kudenga kugara naye ada kuti mutangire pana Muzati maimba ati ja taura nae. Umbo tanga mataura nae muripana. <laughs> if yes. he is willing yes. to send down samples mm. of heavenly gifts, mm. why are you unwilling to also offer him a sample mm -hmm. of your time to stay with him? Amen. Mm -hmm. If God sent down samples of the powers mm -hmm. Of the world to come yes. as a token of his intention mm. to receive you into heaven mm. where we shall forever be with the Lord. Mm. Why do you think that the time he allowed you to stay on earth, mm. you are supposed to squander every minute, minute of every hour of this life? Mm. Hey. God gave you this time. But it's going to come to an end. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so heaven is treated by Christians as a dumping site mm -hmm. for expelled souls from the earth. Mm -hmm. The earth expels you out of it because that's how death comes. Mm -hmm. Death comes unwillingly. Mm -hmm. Very few people welcome death with both hands. Yes. Most people are, they are caught unawares by death. Unaita shoku food kwa. Unungu ilikaru wawo kutonzu ni kenza. Utu tanga kukamfort kwa kunzashu. Nwa nika. Wanu waka wanda wanu batu kwa ni kenza. Unu tinga itese kuronga kwa mngari. Less than 99.9% of people. More than 99.9% of the people. They die with resistance. Including Christians. Yes, yes. How many people smiled on their deathbed mm -hmm. and, and bid farewell to their relatives? Mosara Jaganaka, the Aquenta Guna Baba, Quandru and the Coca Nakawina, Sarah in a Zesa, Muchitambra and Oma Geza, Agadano, Agadan, and in the Aquenta was singing to a Zesa, Langani Vagada, Langani Vacaoneca, but in your murder. We hear people screaming yes. and goring. Yes. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Some are even tied to the hospital oh, beds yes. with the straps and yes. handcuffs yes. because the hospital realizes other mm. patients may be armed. Yes. This patient is now going, mm. but he doesn't want to go. Mm. So your death is a place where you are forced to come out of the earth. Mm. It's an eviction. Yes. So heaven appears to be a place where you are Desperately going to say to as a second choice. Mm. Mm. I didn't want, want to, to come. Mm -hmm. I was comfortable with my family. Mm -hmm. Out of his hatred and cruelty, <laughs> God evicted me <laughs> out of the death. earth. Hey. This is what death is mm. to most of us. Mm. 
God will not receive such people mm. who settle for heaven mm. as a second option mm -hmm. because they were unwillingly mm -hmm. evicted out of the earth. Yes. The desire of God mm -hmm. is that we start to enjoy, mm -hmm. to live with him mm -hmm. before that moment comes. Yes. And so every time you spend quality time of dedicated service mm -hmm. in the house of God, mm -hmm. God sees that as your sample mm -hmm. of desire to stay with him. Yes. How much do you want to live with God? How much time have you dedicated to live in the godly environment? Mm -hmm. The dedicated service, the vow, it's not God living with you. It's a godly environment. Mm -hmm. Environment here, mm -hmm. It's a sample of heavenly life. Mm -hmm. There is not God there. There is the presence of God. That's, that, those two things are different. Mm -hmm. At the house of the Lord, there is not God. Mm -hmm. There is the presence of God. Yes. It's a godly environment. Mm -hmm. It's an environment of godliness. Mm -hmm. You stay with the people who know God more than you, who hear God more than, than you, you. Mm -hmm. who have been instructed more by God mm -hmm. than you. Mm -hmm. So they are going to contaminate you yes. with godliness. Amen. Yes. So staying yes. around yes. such people yes. teaches you more about God. Mm -hmm. Some things that people are reading in the scriptures, mm -hmm. some people are experiencing them now. Mm -hmm. You are far away from the house of the Lord. That is why you think those, pe those things are legend mm -hmm. and fictitious. Mm -hmm. When you hear that God talks, you wonder whether it's mm -hmm. true or not. Mm -hmm. You are far away right. from mm -hmm. the epicenter of godliness, yes. mm -hmm. the house of the Lord. Yes. yes. So the vow was a special occasion. Mm -hmm. Actually, history records that the priests took themselves to task yes. to regulate the children of Israel yes. so that they may not be commotion mm -hmm. at the Beit HaMikdash. Mm -hmm. Everyone wanted, wanted to take a vow. Right. They started mm -hmm. saying, no, let's do it orderly. Mm -hmm. We are going to take only 300 people mm -hmm. at a time. Mm -hmm. That's why the temple area was always garnished, mm -hmm. well flowered, yeah. well, well maintained, and well, well, well orderly. Mm -hmm. Everything was fine. Yes. They never ran short of people, people. Mm -hmm. to maintain the temple area, yes. the temple palace, yes. as it was called in those days. Amen. There was so much people mm -hmm. willing to come. Yes. God said, come and stay in the house of God. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that you may invest in the life to come. Amen. Are you coming to heaven? Yes, Lord. Do you know that there is no Netflix in heaven? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know that there is no Facebook in heaven? Yes. How are we going to live together? Mm -hmm. Imagine you staying in heaven and God asks you, why are you looking so sad? <laughs> and then you say, I miss Twitter. <laughs> I miss Instagram. Can you imagine? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is why David said we have we have we have separated ourselves at least yes. from, from women. women. The word at least mm. meant that they needed to quarantine themselves from mm. everything yes. that 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 distracts their attention from yes. God. Mm -hmm. Women was the least they could do. Imagine if David had a business, mm. could he have attended a board meeting no. during those three days? No. The Bible says they had separated themselves uh, at, at least, least, least from, from women. women. At least mm -hmm. from women. Mm -hmm. At least from, from women. women. Mm. So this is the dedicated service. It's a training to live with God. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's a training to live with God. To live with God. Mm -hmm. People are going to leave your body in the grave mm -hmm. and walk away. Mm -hmm. What is going to be left in that coffin is a darkness. There's no light in the wow. grave. Yes. No There's so much darkness yes. there. Yes. You are going to be on your own. Mm -hmm. yes. At that time, God will be laughing and smiling on his high chair. Let <laughs> us see <laughs> if he's going to go into that board yeah. meeting again. Yes. How many times did I invite you? 
mm. how many times did I call you to me? Mm. Look at you now. Yes. That world you argued had so much need of you. Mm -hmm. It's going to continue without yes. you. Yes. Yes. Have the yes. president. The nation can't, can't go, without, go without, me. without me. Wait and see. Mm -hmm. They are going to be jostling and shoving each other. Yes. For a meal after burying you. Mm -hmm. After burying you. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a fight of meat yes. over meat at your funeral. Mm -hmm. And you are wondering if these people are so much in pain over my death, why yeah, are they, they arguing fight. about meat, <laughs> pushing and shoving each other for a piece of meat? Uh, yeah. They will leave the hero's acre with, mm -hmm. with the noise and singing in the buses. Mm -hmm. Oh! Mm -hmm. <laughs> You know, I was asked by the Lord, and I said, how, I, how can I answer this question? Mm -hmm. This is too hard. Mm -hmm. That if, if you attend a funeral of a married person mm -hmm. who has died, yes. after burying them and covering the coffin with the soil, mm -hmm. everyone turns their back. Yes. And the Lord said, do you know the meaning of that incident? People don't walk from the grave on their back. Mm -hmm. They turn their back on the grave yes. to go home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but those boys who who grew up around my time, Pastor Juma may remember it. Okay. If you go to see your girlfriend in the village, yes. maybe at the well or at the bowl, yes. When you say bye bye to each other, mm. do you remember Pastor Shuma every time mm. you walked on your back? Yes. yes. Every time. Yes. Every time. Yes. 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 Stand up, That's... the two of you. I want you to demo. Every time. Kangoshi Boruna Muskano, Wango Singango Pira goes. You see, so this is what happened yes. in those days. Yes. yes. He is seeing his girlfriend, yes. and they are now beating each other. Fail. Yes. Start to go past her. <laughs> you see, you 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 turn your back after <laughs> some strides. <laughs> wow, don't 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 do now. You can take a seat. <laughs> Every time you walk away from your loved one, yes. you don't turn you yes. don't turn you your back immediately. Begin. Yes. You walk on your back. Yeah. You want to continue to see them. Yes. But when you walk away from the grave, <laughs> yes. you turn your back <laughs> immediately. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> you don't want to see it. Yes. Even the wife or the husband <laughs> of the dead mm -hmm. does not say to the family, you can you go. go. Mm. I want to sit mm -hmm. by my wife's grave yes. for some moments mm -hmm. so yes. that I can say my... My, my, my emotions. Yes. I'm not going to see you, my wife, again. Mm. This is the end. Mm -hmm. This is painful. Mm. The husband does not remain. No. Probably he's the he's first, first one, one to, to walk leave. away. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> All the time. Yes. All the time. <laughs> Think about it. Is this the time for God to say, it's now my time to spend time with you? The world is burying you because the world no longer wants you. Yeah. Once your spirit leaves the body, mm -hmm. they will be quick yes. to find a grave for you. They don't mm. want you. Mm. They will be asking, let's expedite the burial. Oh, yes. They don't want you anymore. Mm. And so the world no longer wants you. Mm -hmm. Is that the time for God to receive you? <laughs> when the world has rejected you. When the world has rejected you. <laughs> and then you think God now. No. no. <laughs> now you must remember also Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 1 will be our last scripture. Mm -hmm. Remember what it says. Remember now thy creator, creator. Mm -hmm. yes. in the days of, of thy the youth. Yes. 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 Most of us we die when we are expended. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like a spent chewing gum. Mm -hmm. Like the peel of an orange, mm -hmm. you have lived your life to the full, 85, 90 years, 68 years, mm -hmm. 59 years. Mm -hmm. You catch up with the disease mm -hmm. and age, experience plus disease, mm -hmm. it is equal to 
a useless body. Yeah. You are no longer useful. Mm. And look at the retirement age in all economies. 60 mm. years. In most cases, 65 years. Yes. Mm -hmm. In those that are more exploitative. Mm. Mm. They make sure they let you go into retirement when, you're when you are no longer useful <laughs> to them. Yes. After you are retired, then... You catch up with the tuberculosis, blood yeah. pressure, yeah. sugar diabetes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And these three will eat the rest of what is left on yes. you. Yes. Ah, when sugar, when you think chop chop. When you finally die, the whole world will have agreed it's better for, for him, him to, to go. Death. There's nothing useful <laughs> left. <laughs> is that the time <laughs> for God to say? Chindpai kuno. Chindpai won't be there. Apa sina chasara. Remember now. Yes. Thy creator. Thy creator. What does the Ecclesiastes say? Remember, Remember now. now. Thy creator. Yes. The days of thy youth. Wow. While the evil days come not. I was talking about being expanded by this world. Mm -hmm. Being used by mm -hmm. this world. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. No, the years draw nigh. Yes. Which years? When thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in There thee. are days coming when you have no pleasure. <laughs> yes. Right now, ask Maja, what are your plans for tomorrow? <laughs> Maja will tell you, I have no, no plans, plans for tomorrow. <laughs> I have no pleasure. Mm. In the you get old until yes. you have no enjoyment. Okay. You don't yeah. have any plans or any desires. Mm -hmm. Right now, when we talk to you about your 2024 plans, mm -hmm. I want to buy this, I want to pay this, I want mm -hmm. to acquire this, I want to get this. Mm -hmm. Do not forget, all oh, these yes, plans yes. are there because there is still strength in mm -hmm. your body. Yes. Yes. You are going to get no strength yes. at some stage mm -hmm. in your life. Mm -hmm. And there will be no expectation except to say, we thank God for this day, we are still alive. That would be any everything mm -hmm. to your name. Mm -hmm. My question is, is that the time, time. for God to say, mm -hmm. How is God, how desperate do you think God is for souls? Hey. That when everyone else and everything else has used you, mm -hmm. God is willing all the time mm -hmm. to receive the garbage that is left, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. the junk that is left. Mm -hmm. The leftovers that are left, that's God, that's what God will get. Mm -hmm. Now, this doctrine is deep, my dear. There is no end to, to the confusion we find ourselves in. Our people are entangled mm -hmm. into a lot of carnal things. Mm -hmm. But the doctrine of the vow was designed by God to curtail the extremism in our carnal pursuits. Mm -hmm. After every short while, the children of Israel took a vow. Mm -hmm. Let me go to the temple and dedicate a significant number of days. So every time they came to dedicate themselves to God, mm -hmm. they came back from the temple invigorated yes. in their spiritual selves. So coming to stay at the house of God, mm -hmm. it revived their spirituality. Mm -hmm. Coming to the world, yes. it revived their yes. carnality. Yes. You understand? Yes. Yes. So the dedicated service is like a deep tank. Mm. It always reinvigorates, revitalizes. Mm. It awakens mm -hmm. your sensitivity to your spiritual life. Yes. It awakens your, divi your divine desires. Mm. The divinity in you it grows with the amount of time you spend in the house of God, in the house of God. Yes. Yes. So it's not a matter of coming to church to attend the service and go home. Mm -mm. When you say we are going to go home after the church service, mm -hmm. you are saying this is where your mind is. Mm -hmm. The church service is just a miniature program. <laughs> the big deal is in going home. Amen. Amen. The vow was not something that you could do on that same day and come back home. You would stay at the house, the house of the Lord. Lord. 
for a significant period of time. Yes. There is no going home. There is no answering calls. There is no attending funerals. When you were taking a vow mm. of providing a service at the temple, mm. even if your father died, he would not go home to hey. attend your father's funeral. Hey. Mm -hmm. They considered it a, a blasphemy. Mm -hmm. No one is greater than God. Amen. I can't stop the death of my father. Yes. I can't end anything mm -hmm. to the death of my father. Mm -hmm. Let them do it in my absence. Mm -hmm. I took a vow. Yes. Yes. I am here at the house of God. Mm -hmm. I'm spending time with God. Yes. Amen. Do you know that there are pastors who spend more time at people's homes when the home owner himself has died? The time he had never spent before the, the member of the church died. Imagine, pastor, that yes. I've never visited your house. Yes. But when you die, yes. I'll be in your house the whole night. Yes. And people will be saying, oh, his pastor is affected. He couldn't even sleep. He was awake the whole night. <laughs> that is carnality at its highest. Yes. <laughs> Whether I spend the whole funeral or, or not, not, it yes. doesn't add to your destination. Oh, yes. yes. God will not add anything to you. Mm. Nothing. If I love Pastor Chuma, mm. I must spend time with him now. Yes. Because if I visit your house, Pastor Chuma, yes. I can give you a spiritual benefit, yes. Yes. which if you take your flight after that, mm. you will take it with you yes. mm -hmm. to your destination. Yes. Yes. Are you understanding this? Yes, mm -hmm. amen. And now, the Christian churches has, has, has developed a system of visiting the church members' houses and asking <laughs> them to prepare great meals. <laughs> So, was What if this church member, mm -hmm. instead of the pastor visiting his house, yes. what if the church member had come to stay mm -hmm. at, at the, the house, house of, of the Lord? Lord? Yes, yes, yes. Because if you come yourself to the house of the Lord, mm -hmm. you benefit more. Yes. But if the man of God comes, he may benefit you for a few minutes, mm -hmm. but he also leaves you with some losses. Yeah. You are going to pay those chickens you cooked for him. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. Wow. The pastor spends the whole night at your funeral with your body. This night the pastor is spending. <laughs> he is not spending with you. Yes. He is spending with an empty, empty shell, shell, with a body. Mm -hmm. He never spent this night with your spirit. Imagine mm. the cruelty. Aye. I never spent a night with you alone, mm -hmm. speaking the word of life, yes. the word of God, yes. sharing with you the experiences, experiences that I've had in the life of faith mm -hmm. because we are a cloud Lord of, of witnesses, witnesses from which to get strength, strength. and establishment yes. to the hope of eternal life. Mm. So this is the vow. We, we don't call it a vow in the New Testament. Mm -hmm. It's dedicated service. Yes, yes. It's in two dimensions, mm -hmm. just yes, as it yes, was yes. in the days of the law, mm -hmm. according to Numbers chapter 30. Yes. It starts with serving, serving as in coming to serve mm -hmm. with your person, yes. with your body. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter how rich you think you are. Uh, yes. Yes. You cannot replace your presence with a million dollars. No. 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 And God is going to ask when you die, say, Lord, please find me a place in heaven. Mm -hmm. God will say, why don't you send your million and <laughs> go to hell yourself, bring your millions. I can yeah. find a place for your money yeah. and not for you. Yeah. Did you not blaspheme me mm. instead of you to come to me? You, you sent your, your money. money. <laughs> so you are going to come yourself. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. And we are going to organize it in a very orderly manner. Mm -hmm. You don't just come haphazardly. Yes. There's going to be a leadership protocol mm -hmm. to follow. Mm -hmm. You spend time. Mm -hmm. 
you are not going to be told what to spend. Yes. Is it going to be a, a month? Mm -hmm. Are you going to come for the whole year? Yeah. Are you going to be around for three years? Mm -hmm. There is nothing you are pursuing. Mm -hmm. You are just here to spend time in the house of the Lord mm -hmm. for your own spiritual edification. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. David says something ex exciting in Psalm 84. We have read this scripture uh, so many times. Verse number 10. For a day in thy courts yes. is better yeah. than a thousand. Mm -hmm. I'd rather be a doorkeeper in the, in the house, house of, of my God, God than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. Mm -hmm. Which house is better, mm -hmm. your house or the, the house, house of, of the Lord? Lord? How come every time you walk into the house of God, you will be planning to leave already? What David called the tents of wickedness was his palace. Wow. He was a king. Yes. And look at verse number 10. Yes. He's asking for a job to be an usher. Yes. He said, I'd rather, rather be, be a doorkeeper. A doorkeeper door 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 is an usher. usher. Mm. A president yes. is asking for an ushering job yes. at the house of the Lord. Yes. 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 Huh? yes. But a vendor mm -hmm. is refusing to do ushering. How's <laughs> a oh. vendor? Mm. The difference between the palace of David and the temple is not the beauty of the building. No. Palaces were also built immac immaculately yes. with expensive materials. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. The difference between the palace of David mm. and the temple was not the value of the building no. or the beauty of the building. No. It was the name presence of God. Hallelujah. When you come to the house of yes. God, you are going to find a greater concentration of the presence of God. Yes. Amen. That's the epicenter of holiness and godliness. Amen. Amen. God manifests himself mm. inside in, the in house himself. of God. Yes. You understand? Yes. yes. So he says, a day. Mm. Do you hear this? Yes. A day in the yes. house of God is worth a thousand, thousand days, days in the palace. Mm. Amen. Where are you rushing to look at your house? Some of you, it's not even your house. You are a tenant. As you know, Kia Muri is this. You know, when I was Chicago, I changed one. I told you, I'm going to go to the machine. 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 I'm going to go to the God guide you to understand that. If this teaching does not find itself manifesting in your life, mm. that's a reason, that's enough evidence that you are not going to heaven. Wow. You are not going to heaven for the simple reason that heaven has never made contact with you. Mm. How are you going to live with God? Pastor. <laughs> Munotanga <laughs> Doku saka uchinzi, pota uchuya iwewe. Yeah. Kutimwenje, wako kana wako pera uri kumba. Yes. Ozoka kutembele, wabatizwa. Mwenje, wako urambo wachifuta, yes. ozoka kera kumba kudai. Yes. Yes. But as he tike, shirisha, kungwa ya kusevisi, ovo waenda. Mangwa na kungwa ya kusevisi, ovo waenda. Right now when you die, your relatives surrender your body to us. They say, it's up to you, men of God. He was your church member. <laughs> all organizations and all <laughs> programs <laughs> are in your hands. Yes. We are going to follow behind you. Yes. Your family is going we to surrender your body to us. 
Your f- mm. family is going to do something mm. that you have never done yourself yeah. while you were alive. Yes. Have you ever surrendered Did yourself? yourself. <laughs> Imagine that we come to go out and sing a mate. We are going to surrender our tears. So we are going to be there. We will 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 be there. We Kutozono kutora kumocharu kukubati kwa kwaone kwa hituwa nye rufu. <laughs> rufu runo nko kuti mba. Rufu rata wana kwa ochenda. Tika kuzoona. Tika kuzoona. Tika kuzipatila. Wa isi kwa mfiriji wati kanga ngaiko. Mm-hmm. Tutu tanga kuru nko ta hakana zwada ya asisi ribisi. Mm-hmm. Hapana kwa hakuna kana msanga na wanuma hatenda. Hakuna <laughs> phone ya hacha daira. Chire gaiti. Indemi nwe samoto mcheke makabiji. <laughs> Tozo kuzia utozo shwa msase mangwane. Yes. Tuta kubenda kumidu wiki service. Mm-hmm. To Zoronga with Munano Viguarin. Mm-hmm. Saka Akusukudaman Arika Itika, Kubat Kwako Waita. Yes. And it? Mm-hmm. Timungua no Borwara, Umbenda Pambeda, Quemwed Wesse. Mm-hmm. Mungarajida Kukuranga is the Uti. Samanye! Mm-hmm. Imbo we are Kwandi. Umbo spend a time in N. Yes. Dopono zumbuona temi utera masemo ni zaka nyanya ipapo. Haunto mbutere ipapo unungu jitera afti jiri. Zine chimpazo mkati ne chikapi sira. Unungu itipa mwini chapora pani semo ni anichangu nzuko mwirongu kunyara razo. Dutu no pupura kuchaji. He paid inotuma wangu venyu utera masemo. Then the other aspect of the dedicated service as we said was about working but dedicating the fruits of your labor mm-hmm. to God. Just like Israel, mm-hmm. they made a vow by coming to save or they brought offerings. Mm-hmm. And the difference between a free will offering and a dedicated service offering or a bond offering mm-hmm. is that this offering binds your soul. Yes. yes. It binds your soul. Yes. Your soul is attached to whatever you commit to bring. Mm. And this is why you can't take something from that. that. Mm-hmm. If it is your income, you have to bring all of it yes. mm-hmm. for that determined period. Mm-hmm. We don't tell you, is it going to be a monthly salary? Is it going to be a business profit or a project profit? It's up to you. This is based on your commitment towards coming closer to God. So if you are going to give your month's salary, that month is dedicated to God. Yes. Mm-hmm. The whole month. Yes. You have said to God, I commit my month's laboring mm-hmm. to you. Mushando wangu, wemwe zuno we se, dino uunza kwa muri mngari. Problem in not as Omuka and Ekuti. Let's say you are earning $2,000, like Pastor Chuma indicated. Yes. But you owe a debt to Edgar's. Mm-hmm. You are paying $100 every month for the clothes you borrowed. Mm-hmm. And you are also paying a debt you borrowed from, say, TV sales and higher. Mm-hmm. You bought some television set from there. Yes. After you, you take your net salary, mm-hmm. there are deductions of credit sales, mm-hmm. you credit purchases you made. Mm-hmm. The problem is all the deductions from your debts are a part of you. <laughs> 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 Because you were earning $2,000, but because you borrowed clothes mm-hmm. from Edgar's, yes. they took $200, mm-hmm. which means you are now going to get 1.8 in your account. Mm-hmm. You also bought a TV on sale, mm-hmm. on credit. Mm-hmm. They are taking $100 a month. Mm-hmm. So instead of taking $2,000 from your, uh, from your account, you are now getting $1.7. Okay. This $1.7 is not your salary. You have already used some of your salary Mm. to settle your debts. Mm. What constitutes your net salary is your, after taking gross expenses Mm. that the company must deduct, which have nothing to do with your nominal 
uh, liabilities and your nominal yeah. Yeah. expenses yes. and your nominal yes. uh, needs mm. in your personal life. Mm. Yeah. Which means if that happens, you have to also take money from somewhere mm -hmm. to cover mm -hmm. up for your personal debts, mm -hmm. which in which add into your salary. Wa kuto tora one hundred and fifty three Edgars we dosa. O tora Maria ku ye ku TV sales and high we dosa. Yo zoke ra palevo ya yo ye net salary. O zote ndio dedicated service ya. Ukango go ana chete iwe na mngari ya tova blasphemy. Why would God be angry with you and and destroy the works of your hands? My last words to you are. The phrase, the bond to the soul, mm. bond to the soul. Mm. God used it for the simple reason that this is what he is going to receive mm. at the end of your life. Yes. Wow. It's a bond to your soul. It simply means it's an investment yes. Yes. to your yes, soul. Yes. Amen. I am doing this for my soul. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My soul is the one that shall be with God, Amen. Mm -hmm. not my body. No. Amen. So when I come to dedicate my service to God, like Samuel, he has invested mm -hmm. for his soul. Yes. Can I change the bond to the soul? Should you ever put a debt to the soul yes. or an investment to your soul? To your soul. Your soul. So you are taking yourself to the temple to save. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm is a bond yes. to the soul. Yes. Let's read the part that says the bond to the soul, verse 3 and 4. Yes. Yes. If a woman also vow a vow unto the Lord and bind herself by a bond, being in her father's house in her youth, yes. and her father hear her vow, and her bond wherewith she shall has, she has bound her soul, Bound her soul. Yes. And I, l l let's leave it. Mm -hmm. They can read it for themselves. We have read it so many times. Yes. It's a bond yes. that it binds, binds the soul. soul. Mm -hmm. You see? It's, yes. a, it's, a, it's binding your soul to mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. Bound your soul. Pastor, what does the phrase soulmate mean? <laughs> Huh? <laughs> Can you see that that statement is also blasphemous yes. if we apply it in the flesh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. If we apply it in the flesh, the flesh. Mm -hmm. yes. in, 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 without understanding mm -hmm. the true ramifications of this matter, mm -hmm. uh, It's a binding of yes, the soul. The soul. Mm. So God is not going to find your soul as a stranger mm -hmm. to God. Yes. God is going to say, I know this is so. so yes. Are you seeing this? Yes. I know what? This so. I know this is so. I have lived with your soul. I have dealt with your soul before. Yes. I have spent time with your soul. Your soul. Your soul is not strange to me. Yes. It's true. We have been together, together at before. the house of the yes. Lord. All right? Yes. All right. I want you to go in your own time and read First Samuel 20. And I hope then that by so doing, you are going to understand the relationship that occurred or that existed between mm -hmm. David, David and Saul, and Jonathan, sorry. Yes. David and Jonathan. And Jonathan. Jonathan. Mm -hmm. All right. Verse number 17 says, And Jonathan caused David to swear again yes. because he loved him. Mm. For he loved him as he loved his, his own soul. soul. You will realize that there was also something that I do not want to teach. Uh, 
but it happened in Israel that people could also bind themselves with a vow mm -hmm. in the presence of God mm -hmm. to establish a brotherhood. Okay. Like David and Jonathan did. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. They bowed, they vowed and bound, bound themselves them. to a brotherhood, brotherhood that was also ratified with an oath. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is what Paul was discussing in mm -hmm. uh in Hebrews chapter six. Mm -hmm. You can read that in your own time. But you you must know that this is part one. Part two is coming. Yes. In part two, we are going to speak about the modalities. And I will also share with you many scriptures, which I couldn't do tonight, where we see people uh, functioning in, in the dedicated service mm -hmm. in the New Testament. Mm -hmm. There are so many people in the New Testament which worked in the in the dedicated service. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes, 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 yes. I will give you a hint. One of them is Epaphroditus. Yes. Okay. You will find the story in Philippians chapter 2 mm -hmm. from verse 25. Epaphroditus had bound himself with a commitment, a bond of commitment mm -hmm. to serve God mm -hmm. for the rest of his life. remaining life. Mm -hmm. But he did not qualify to be a bond child. Mm -hmm. Because Epaphroditus had already matured and grown up in idolatry. He got saved later in his life. But soon after he got saved, he became a servant of the church. Mm -hmm. And he never faltered. Mm -hmm. He literally lived for the service of God. Amen. This is now what I said. It's a short term, but within the short term, it's a long term. Mm -hmm. a, a bond yes. Yes. where you say, I will save my, my God mm -hmm. for the remainder of my life, yes. for whatever is left of my life. Mm -hmm. I cannot qualify to be a bond child mm -hmm. because a bond child must become a bond child before he is conceived mm -hmm. in his mother's womb. Yes. Mm -hmm. So Epaphroditus, after being saved, mm -hmm. he became a servant of the house of God. Mm -hmm. So I got up a church, Epaphroditus, mm. Achita Basaramgar. I had distract we Munaripa dedicated service. Yes. Mm. You don't distract him. Mm. This is why most of you cannot do the, the this mm. thing uh, the Epaphroditus way. Mm -hmm. You must only follow the teachings we are going to give to you. Yes. Okay. But Epaphroditus had addicted himself to the service of God. Yes. Read it from verse 25 up to the end. Mm. Up to the end. My question to you is, you are going to heaven. Mm. You are going to paradise. Mm. And your first time to stay with God without you going anywhere, it's only because you have been evicted from the earth. That's the only reason why you are going to heaven. <laughs> if God was to ask you right now how long you would like to stay on earth, mm -hmm. some of you would say, until further notice. <laughs> Leave me. When I'm tired, <laughs> I will tell you. <laughs> you are dying unwillingly. Mm -hmm. And so heaven or paradise is a place where you are desperate to go. It's desperation mm. that is taking you to God. Mm. You don't love God no. because you have never spent time with God. Mm -hmm. mm. The house of God is where the work of God is done. Yes. You see God in action every day, mm. yeah. sending his servants to different uh, errands. Like the queen of Sheba came to the palace of Solomon. Mm -hmm. She saw the servants of Solomon yes. executing the work yes. of God. Mm -hmm. Solomon ascending to the temple. Mm -hmm. Solomon ascending to the throne room. Yes. Everyone there is doing the king's business. Mm -hmm. So you understand the work of God. Mm -hmm. Because Solomon was a servant of God. Yes. Anyone who wants to see God at work mm -hmm. must come to the house of God. Mm -hmm. See the servants of God at work. Mm -hmm. Participate. 
yes. in those works. Yes. Spend some time. Mm -hmm. Look at you. If we are to ask you to write a, a, a diary right now of how you spent last year, 2023, the other year, 2022, the previous year, 2021, mm -hmm. most of you were doing nothing. <laughs> Most of you, what you did in these three years, from 2021 mm -hmm. to 2023, mm -hmm. someone can do that in six months. Yes. Mm -hmm. It took you three years. Mm -hmm. How much time have you wasted? Mm -hmm. Why don't you invest in the life to come? Huh? After mm -hmm. the apostles became apostles, Pastor Chuma, Yes. Do you know that they never went back home? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Peter was not coming to church, and at the end of the day, he goes back home. No, no go, go and read the scriptures. Actually, at one point, they said to him, to whom shall we go? Mm -hmm. Thou hast the words of life. Mm -hmm. In John chapter 6. Mm -hmm. He said, if you want to go, you can go. Oh, yes. She has to for Peter. Every day, why got up a church? They became the most used servants of God throughout history. They stayed with him. It was a dedicated service. Yes. Was indeed the pastor. It was a Yes. 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 Ishe ndia ni mashuke upenye. Amen. Manje, iso atisikuti itasha kaitu kwa na Peter. Usie muri yako. Ayuwa. Tirikuti, dedicate a significant, special portion of your time. Every now and again. Don't live like a beast of the forest, which doesn't know its owner, which doesn't know how to come back home. Finally, my words are these. Going to paradise when you die, you will be going home. Yes. Kutobuda amunya maso. Nungo tu fano wisa bachikera wakabu. Nda wenda kumba. Paradise is not a new place for you. It is supposed to be your home. So every time you come to the house of God, you are sampling your journey to paradise. Yes. Yes. Every time you come to the house of God, you are coming home. Yeah. <laughs> so true. whether you love to come home or you and don't, we don't know. Mm. But I'm telling you, yeah. you are coming yeah. home. <laughs> your soul, Pastor, yes. Pastor Chuma, your soul. Yes, my soul. Your soul. Yes. Do you know that it is your soul that causes you to come here? Mm -hmm. Right. When your soul is thirsty mm -hmm. for the word of God, yes. mm -hmm. your soul will bother you and you say, I miss church. Yes. Let me go to church. Mm -hmm. Let me come and, and hear the word of God. Yes. Let me attend the live service. Mm -hmm. It's your soul which longs for home. Mm -hmm. You see? Yes. The purpose of this teaching was to ask you, if you mature more than you have right now, mm -hmm. you will realize that it's more prudent for your soul to desire to spend more time home mm -hmm. than to go back to the tent of wickedness. Kumba kwa kwa ku tent of wickedness. Moyo wako, mwea wako. Uno mifanyiri wako ita se nondo ino shuvira wa wazemvula. Kuwia ku imba ya mngari. Kana washika mimba ya mngari, mwea wako zorora. Mhmm. Kutandisi kubuda, dawia kumbo spenda time, mimba ya mngari. Toso zokira shangu kupi, kutendo of wickedness. Kupala si kwa David. 
David aicho gabasi rekuita Asha. Achiti kana ndika wana basi rekuita Asha ka. Avachandi dzinga because pane Asha ringine ichangura mba ichidiwa. Urikuona kuti zvine nipisa kwake. Kuti kunyika ndi president ku church ndi Asha. Because ku church kunotori nevakuru vego. Vanotonga ikoko. Unga kuenda president ku church uta president kunyikera. Ari si bawa kai. Imba ya mwari. Yes. Tingadai zve zvima president akapfeka chi Asha ringi taki pana yes. achitoga muchira vaenzi vachipinda yes. mimba ya mwari hey. mm. this is a territory of god Amen. the almighty Amen. sit down Amen. slow down Amen. humble yourself yes. if you are never going to practice this teaching i am mm. sorry to tell you this it's a sign that there is no seed planted in you from god amuna mm-hmm. mbeu ya mwari mauri patukadzamisa pfungo cha zvivunza kuti patichokwadiwe ini ningakoshika kuti inga first time ndoto ndoto gara mwari wacho ni sina mbo gara onaye sina mbo handi zoboye kanere because pamba pa usina kumbogara pasta ka usina kujera hunu wepo panonetsa panonetsa mai ndozopano mvunza vano saka tino nwangu vai chono zvanzi ndiya 11 apo kwenyu wine mwana 10 kana na 9 college zonza pana lunch mm-hmm. sapa inotorwa kuma 8 utanga <laughs> kuti hey kubana 11 kana 8 <laughs> ko tv zonza ah pana apa wani kwe tv mm-hmm. kushika 5 dza kwana mm-hmm. pano pane mabasa akawanda kune garden kune kumunda unotoona kuti mm-hmm. upenyu wangu wandi omera mm-hmm. mara miro miro e pano mm-hmm. nekwandiri kubva mm-hmm. azvina kusanga yes. saka chinangwe changwa riche kuti uchiri munyama utrenwe yes. kurarama mu environment yes. iri holy yes. yes. inotaurwa language iri holy mm. inodzidzwa kurarama zviri holy yes. brother yes. love atiri kuti kuti gai continue mm-hmm. pa temberi pa mba ya mwari ndo paunona brother love pakati pevana va aron yes. va, vari mu environment ye nzvimbo tsene ya mwari odzidza mm-hmm. zvi yes. mm-hmm. kana wa kubuda imomo waita zvako zvimazuva zvishoma odzokera kutendere kuti Regular Maria, the tender of wickedness. Was she can uri charged in a righteousness, man? Uruto betas must watch your ambas and wishes. Snabasa, Limon Marini, one as I go in your old soga food. Oh, no one among no charges. What? Yes, Madame Bochi, cool up a mea walk. Amen. Quite a good serum to be your Buddha. Ta Gunzi Taja, no, no. Kurwadza kwa zvinaita. Yes, Zvino rwadza izvozvo. Mwari kuti a anditambire zvakadai. Anditambire zvakadai munhu yakandiramba kare kare ndakashewa kana one day zvarora ndakaspenda naye. Anga achimhanya ngai ndi kwai mhanya ariko. Saka magwara anoti isha achati handi kuzivei. Yes. Endai My... kunoita kwa maitira mabasa enyu. Mm. Zvino kana kawaitira mabasa ako konga kuri kumba kwake. Unongoti ndiko kwacho kwa ndaitira mabasa angu kwa ndawo yakuno. Mm. Dimi imba yenyu ndo pandaitira mabasa angu. You are the place that raised me to be what I am. Amen. I have come home. This is our home. The house of God. So this teaching takes you away from visiting the house of God mm-hmm. to treating the house of God as your real home. Yes. It's your home. Yes. It's the home of your soul. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. The part two shall dwell, dwell much into the application of the dedicated service in the New Testament church together with the relevant examples. Mm-hmm. I will show you not less than seven examples mm-hmm. of people who lived a dedicated service life yes. in the new testament yes. some did it for a short while mm-hmm. some did it on a longer term mm-hmm. but it was not a bond child scenario that is no longer available to us kana mwara achida kumutsa mwanano zvarwa nenzira iyoyo harambidzwe but i see doctrine ati chagona kuparidza iyoyo chikonzero chacho ndiche kuti tiri vaheden yes. takazorwa tinotanga tato zvarwa tiri kure na mwari mm-hmm. saka mm-hmm. atigwe nekupinda mu bond child mm-hmm. but mu dedicated service dedicated service tinopinda 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 aisa ndo zvatudza 
Isaiah Taura kuti vai dini vachatora haufauka. Isaiah 1921. It was clear. He said they shall vow a vow unto the Lord and perform it for me. Yes. Now it would be dangerous for you to make a vow and not perform it. Yes. He that's dangerous. Mhm. We don't expect you to be made to that level. Sasa penga kushika ipa. God has no pleasure in fools. If you enjoyed this message brethren it's an introduction dedicated service yes I think the most important thing on this doctrine is that it is not based on 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 um compulsion mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we are not going to call you mm -hmm. and say sister When was the last time, the time you you, you took part in the dedicated <laughs> service? No. Once the spirit of God enters you, it will tell you what is being taught is true. Mm -hmm. Do it if you want to make it to heaven. Mm -hmm. How can you expect to stay with God in heaven mm -hmm. when you ever spend time with him in the house of God? Yes. How does it make sense to you? Is this how you got married? Inga kuma elections je kuba chinyepa zvavasano mbosangana nemimombo munombo itirana ma elections mombo campaigner mombo nyeperwa zvenyu asi munotombo spenda time mese na politician ngono vota shua from nowhere tozivane raskan saka you are going to introduce yourself to god i just want to introduce myself my name is thompson you may not know me <laughs> Remember thy creator in the days of thy youth. When you still have strength. Yes. That's when you start to do dedicated service. Yes. We want pastor Chuma for us to get to a place where when we are 60 years old, 70 years old, we say to the young ones What you are doing we did it when we were your age. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God blessed us and we served him during the days of our strength. Yes. It's now your turn. Yes. Mm -hmm. Our job right now is to guide you. Yes. Is to strengthen you yes. and also to encourage you. Mm -hmm. We are now going to do the limited we can do mm -hmm. with the strength we have. Yes. yes. But we are proud of how we served God mm -hmm. when we still had the strength. Mm -hmm. that's worshiping god yes and there is so much blessing in this ordinance as well mm -hmm. the time you are going to spend in the house of god mm -hmm. in the dedicated service mm -hmm. is not going to cost your profits or to cost your business mm -hmm. god is going to give you more grace mm -hmm. that no one would tell by your profits that you are sometimes unavailable mm -hmm. because you are attending your spiritual needs at the house of god mm, amen amen this is the message brethren we have come to the end of our service um reminders don't forget about the anniversary on the 3rd of february yes which shall happen from 10 o'clock central african time mm. am don't forget about the indonesia outreach yes which is happening this week mm. starting from the 19th yes 19 january up to 21 january we are going to be bar in bali indonesia mm. this week do not forget to attend it's a three day of fireworks mm. the lord shall bless us so yes. much there yes don't miss out don't miss out mm. i will not continue with this message in indonesia mm -hmm. we will come back and preach it from here we are going to have part 2 of mm -hmm. dedicated service mm -hmm. and the part 3 shall be based on questions mm -hmm. okay. we are going to have three parts of the dedicated service okay. we do not want to bury you before you take part mm -hmm. <laughs> in the dedicated service yes. we are throwing you into the mud yes. get to acquaint yourself with god so that you are sure 
God is not going to ask me, who are you? Mm -hmm. Like Isaac asked Esau. He said, who are you? Esau said, it's Esau, your son. Mm -hmm. And Isaac said, which Esau? <laughs> <laughs> which Esau are you talking about? Uh, How many Esau's do I have in this house? Mm -hmm. We don't want God to disown you. <laughs> we don't want God to disown you. Unless we will agree that these men who spent these considerable fractions of their lives in the house of God were dull. They had a low IQ. They were not wise. Mm -hmm. Unless we can agree that David had lost his mind when he said one day at the house of God mm -hmm. is worth 10,000 days, mm -hmm. a thousand days at his company. Mm -hmm. Pastor, oh unless we agree Mm -hmm. unless we acknowledge and agree among ourselves mm -hmm. that David had lost his mental faculty mm -hmm. when he said one day, yes. one full day yeah. spent like at the house of God is worth more than three, three years. years. Yes, Three years at his company, <laughs> at his palace. Yes. If we can't say amen to that, mm -hmm. that means these guys were wiser than we are. Yes. They knew something we did not know. Yes. Oh, Why was it honorable for Hannah to surrender her only mm, child yes. then at the temple? Yes. yes. How did Jephthah yes. commit to or sacrifice his daughter? daughter? What did they understand I, that we did We don't it? understand the now. Is, yeah. The only child. Mm. How did Zachariah yes, and Elizabeth, Elizabeth. Mm. surrender their child, child to the deserts, desert. yes. to the service of God? Yes. Just like that. Mm. Is there something we do not know? Mm. It is there. It is the vow. Amen. The dedicated service. Amen. Amen. It should be an exciting moment to spend time in the house of God. Amen. You shouldn't groan about it. Hey, they want me to spend time at the church. Thank you, believers. It was a high charged message. I warned you that we were going to have a long flight. <laughs> we have come to the landing. I hope we landed well today. Mm. Yes. It wasn't a crash landing. <laughs> no, it wasn't. No. Let's meet in Bali. Spy for now.